is the Jess song. Welcome, 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 guys, to the fifth round of Candidates 2024. How are you all? What is the mood today? Everyone in the chat is saying, let's go, VD. We are going to have our guests joining soon. Maza aane wala hai. How do you like the song, by the way? Because uh, it it brings back the nostalgia. Bohat hi sahi hai. Kaisa lag hai? VD rocks. Himang says hello everyone. If you like that, there's another song I would really, really, really love to play. Are, thank you, Abhijit, Mishra.
Okay, how is this one, guys? How is this song? Nahi, can't understand. What is this song? This one's not that good. Not bad either. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, this is the AI song. But guys, also not just a song. But if you could see it, it is the song where we had a edit for today's round. The pairings you could understand from the sound. Then you also saw some uh, nice videos of the uh, previous round. So it's a, you know, Abhira worked a lot on the editing stuff so that you guys, guys actually get to know what's happening right now. Samai Raid. Oh, is Samai on, is Samai streaming? I didn't know that. Is Samai streaming? Let's see that. What was he streaming? Oh, 22 seconds ago, that was. So, uh, I don't know what he was doing, but I think now he must be preparing for candidates <laughs> right now. That's all I know. But thank you, Samai, for reading. Hey, are you so fast? Guys, tell me something. How does this guy... Abhi gaya tha ye. Abhi. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. What's up, what's up? You raided the stream. 20, 22 seconds. I was just 24 pe aara tha, bhai. I was just ailing pe kholi ke aagaya, bhai. I was just ailing pe kholi ke aagaya, bhai. I was just ailing pe kholi ke aagaya. नहीं नहीं जाने देंगे समय नहीं मैं तेरे तेरे पास ही आता हूँ मैं गया यहाँ पे लिंक खोली तेरे लिंक पे आ गया मैं अरे बाप रे हाँ ठीक है चल मैं आता हूँ and that was of course समय रहे ना blunder master guys मैं यहाँ भी blunder मारा मेरे भाई आया आया मैं यहाँ मिलता हूँ तुम्हें yes yes आना तो पड़ेगा समय वरना C B I chat तेरे को पकड़ के मार � So that was it, guys. And even Harshit is going to join us very soon. I think his professor has found out that he is bunking the class. So maybe it's not going to be very easy for him. But he's going to join us. And then we will also say Harshit OP. Mazaiga. But guys, uh, I, I like both the songs. Of course, Shatranj. Bevafa Samai, we should put it. I mean, Bevafa to. Theek hai. Kari leta hai usko Bevafa. Three weeks mein mera exam hai, but year for VD. Yeah, guys, did you see the uh, wonderful show? By the way, I have prepared something else until we have the guests uh, with us. One moment. I'll just have something which makes us feel a bit more livelier. So, kuch chalte raega either abhi ke liye, jab tak, until we have guests. But after that, Oops, it's gone. Yeah, now it's back. So this is just so that we have some uh, something moving there. Sagar gone to the tournament hall. This is uh, earlier videos, but he's edited it and we'll see the players and all that. So why not? And right now it's 12.05. We have 10 minutes to go. We have to do a poll. But it's very difficult. I was thinking that kaise kare? Because today's pairings, if I have to show you, here we have Nepo versus Prague. Nepo versus Prague. That would be a very important one. Just give me a moment because so that the video doesn't hang. Yeah, that would be a very important one. Then we have Nakamura Firuza. Okay, we don't have an Indian on this board. Then we have Gukesh White playing against Nijat. And here we have Vidit versus Karwana. So all of them are having the white pieces today. So, which game would you like to do a poll today? Or shall we wait and see which is the opening of the day and uske baad you guys will remind me for the poll. Prag, Guki, Fabi, Prag Nepo, Prag Nepo. Okay, Nepo is the sole leader, so we have to, uh, I don't know if you know the standard reserve pairings. Let's also look at the pairings, in fact. Maybe I'll take you to this. 
too many windows open so that's why it's a little bit confusing but it will be all okay very 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 soon and here we will have yeah so here we have the pairings for today uh piruza versus nakamura gukesh versus nijata as right now we were discussing and in the women's section we have litingji versus katerina lano vaishali versus anna muzichuk uh humpy versus goriachkina and tan versus nurgul by the way all of them are white today as yesterday was observed by our chat so everybody is having the white pieces which means we might see a very good score today we had a very tough day a uh, while uh, yes uh, yesterday was a rest day but before that we had a very tough day and i'm believing that today would definitely be different it won't be the same they will all come back they will all strike back and also guys if you if i must show you for a moment mm, let me just get this over here here we have the pide official store which they have launched after 100 years uh you can check out karuana with it you can check out their collections and you can use in the pin message on this live chat you can also use the code chessbase to get 10% discount so definitely do check that out because it's really a nice nice store and if you also know that we sagar by the way had uh, an interview with arjun you all know about his performance in menorca he won the tournament he's been he did phenomenally there and he is world number 7th so do check that out as well yep that's about it how is your mood yes we do have harshit today from his phone let me just have him here oh ho oh, harshit where are you wait i can't hear you ah you are muted you are muted oh yes hello 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 harshit is this in college or are you on a vacation No, no, no. I am in my college. I'm just waiting for my class to start. So I thought I'll just quickly join and say hi, see what is happening. Oh, that is so cool, so cool. Harshit O P in the chat. Harshit uh, <laughs> Chikna, Harshit Bhai. Harshit, are, are, this are. doesn't seem like your college at all. In fact, uh, you know, like how Samay entered. Wow, this is so beautiful. Ye to, yes. this is like a park, Harshit. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So my college is like my building is two five minutes away. So, uh, my class starts in twenty minutes. So I still have ah. some time. So all your professors are running behind you, yeah, and you're you're playing hide and seek right now. Arey arey arey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not get there. But uh, great that you've joined us. Uh, and let me just show you very quickly that taking you yeah. on this uh moment over your. just mm -hmm. one second yeah let me have this and let me have you also on the screen in a second yes because i think we have we are going to see some exciting matches today as uh, we had a rest day so people have you know uh, taken rest and are ready to uh, play some more exciting and fighting chess exactly today's pairings nepo prag versus nepo then we have wow oops uh, prag versus nepo over here we have then we have uh -huh. vidit wait which round okay i think it just refreshed here let me quickly take you through the yeah prag nepo then there is nakamura firuza then we have gukesh versus nijat and we have vidit versus karuana what's your guess wow. which will be the most interesting game of today in the men's section i have to go with prag versus nepo both the players are playing such fiery chess that um, i would be i would be very surprised if we don't see any more um, creative opening ideas 
Okay, cool. So Prag Nepo, guys, most probably this will be the game of the day and we'll also have voting on that. And for the women's section, Harishit, we have uh, Salima, Salimova versus Tan, Tan who is leading. Then we have Lano leading. versus wow. Uh, Lano versus Lurting G. Then we have mm -hmm. Anna Vaishali versus Anna Muzichuk. And oh, that's we, a big match. Big one, yeah. Vaishali is white, yeah. playing with the white pieces. Yep. And we also have Koneru Hampi versus Alexandra Goriachkina. That's going to be so. I think that after you know two Indian players, Vidit and um, Hampi, they both did not do well before the rest day. So they're kind of you know going to uh, take some rest, go over what went wrong, and I guess strategize and try to come back stronger because um, we are saying that it's a long event, Amruta, but four rounds are already over. I can't believe first dress day is gone. It's na fata fat. Kabi kabi time nikal jata hai na. So then we don't even know when we'll be reaching the last day and we will be having some maybe Indian yeah. winner. Yeah, at least let's <laughs> hope so. Year on chess with India. Let's hope that. But for sure, I mean. Yeah. I mean, we still have so many chances. I mean, we still have, um, how much is it? Like 10 more rounds and uh, we still have a lot of people in contention. I mean, almost everyone is in contention, Amruta. So, um, even Vidit, who's currently at minus one, you know, with just one win, he's back to 50% and, uh, and then he's back in the race. So, I think Indian fans can still be here. I mean, it's like Vidit two games, but all you need is like two good games, Amruta, and then you're back. So true, yeah. In Isle of Man, that is what happened with Vidit. Like, he lost the first game, then he also drew, but then he was back. So, it's about not losing anymore, which is possible. We will be able to see yeah. whether he is recovered because sometimes, you know, something is very, very painful. Just, you know, you yeah. feel like you've played an amazing game for a while. Like, most of the game, it's amazing. And then suddenly, you make yeah. a mistake. Of course, it has been, he has been under pressure. He was under pressure there. But still, he played very good chess and if you see the shots guys very uh, uh, Abhida has made these shots you can see his emotions and you feel so sad to look at that yeah of course I mean it means a lot it means a lot for him it means a lot for everyone you, we know, we all know that cast take pair um, so it's going to be you know definitely very uh, nerve wracking uh, if you don't do well but I'm sure that now after the rest of Amurta the energy is back and uh, Awesome. So, Prag versus Nepo. Do you think we are going to see somewhere F4 like we saw F5? <laughs> I'm hoping for E4, E5, F4. E4, E5, F4. Oh, that would be epic if Prag plays some. That too with Nepo. But um, even Scotch could be a possibility because Prag has played Scotch before. So, yeah. even Nepo yeah. plays Scotch a lot. So, that is something I'm wondering in candidates whether we'll see one Scotch or not. Guys, the game is about to begin 12-15. So, we will Amruta, be having the first my many prediction. Moments. Yes. Very quickly, I'm going to give all my predictions for all the games. Okay. And then I will uh, join you guys after a bit, after my class. So, Prague Nepo, I'm predicting a result. Okay. Um, and... It's going to be very exciting chess, that's for sure, because both players, you know, are playing very aggressive. So, I'm predicting a result in this game. Hopefully, uh, Prag uh, is the one who wins. Got it. And what for uh, Gukesh Nijat? Gukesh Nijat. I mean, I think Gukesh is the only Indian player currently who's at plus one. Um, right? Oh, no. Am I wrong? He's on to end no, out of four. Nepo on three. Yeah, Gukesh on two and a half, I believe. Yeah, so he's he's doing he's currently the, the highest uh, performer, right? Indian performer. Yes, yes. So he's on he will be three. trying to he will be trying to uh, catch up on that uh, Amruta because Nijat, I mean, is currently at minus one and he's the lowest rated player. So I think that oh, we have e four e five. No, but nine f three. Gukesh, but this no, is Gukesh's game. Uh, Prague's game is yet to start with the moves, but we had e four e five. No Sicilian yet. Uh, so I'm also predicting a Gukesh win. I'm predicting oh. four. I'm predicting three three results today out of four. I don't know which one will be draw, but three out of four will results. Amazing! And we have E4 on the board of Prag versus Nepo. E4, E5. F4. Please. F4. Touch F4. the F1. Touch it. <laughs> no, Prague is no. like, guys, what are you doing? This is candidates. F5 ek bar ho jata hai. Oh, but Petrov. Oh, again, same opening. Petrov. 
do we have two petrovs in this in the same round uh one second ah nijad also played petrov wow i mean they can get up and uh, see each other's boards <laughs> <laughs> opening preparation with it karuan also let me check oh we have sicilian here karuan has gone for sicilian against with it hmm the thing is amrut after bishop b5 if you go bishop b5 now which uh, is what was a huge discussion in the rosolimo yeah um there has been this very new line pawn to e5 and it's a very like very new move but it seems to be one of the trendy moves and uh, i okay he goes for knight this is knight he goes knight f6 yeah attacking this interesting i also a slightly rare move but um, what is the main uh, move then here uh, according to you e6 and g6 i are the main two main moves um and after g6 we had a huge like we've seen a lot of games even in world championship i think uh, where carlson was playing it uh, g6 bishop c6 and he was taking with the d pawn um and there's a huge theoretical battle there um but knight f6 is also playable it seems if abi uh, something new i think it's not that common for sure amruta yeah because with it is taking some seconds so that is why i think karwana has maybe a little bit of a surprise there yeah very quickly for moving sure. to uh, also women's opening uh, we will see vaishali mm -hmm. versus anna they have had e4 e5 knight of 3 knight c6 bishop c4 italian by vaishali and yeah. oh bishop g5 she develops it pretty early so bishop g5 so the point is that after uh, you know what black sometimes does uh, in these positions is goes back bishop e7 amruta um and basically he, what he says is that if i go like what white says is if you go d6 now uh whenever you castle let's say just make a move like let's say knight c3 castle amruta okay. castle i go castle or okay knight d5 is a move but okay let's say castle h6 bishop h4 g5 the problem is that knight takes g5 is going to be a huge problem now um and h5 bishop g5 and the point is that the bishop on c5 cannot no longer go back to e7 Mm, um, nice. So we always have like some sort of like you know some sort of <laughs> deep ideas. Of course, we are, whenever people play in the candidates, they prepare for months and months, Amruta. And whatever we are seeing now is a collective group effort of a whole team uh, that's putting forward these moves. So true, Harshit. Very well said. And I really already like the idea of Bishop G five because D six has been played, and Vaishali continues and with C three. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the opening for Vaishali Ayana and going to Hampi versus Goryachkina. This game has started with D four. So among all the five Indian games, I think this is the only D four game we are having. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Knight C three C five. We've seen this so many times in this uh, in this tournament. So uh -huh. what Black is basically trying to do is like play with an isolated pawn, but say that I'm going to have enough. Um, initiative that white wouldn't be able to consolidate into a better position the point is amruta everyone is going e3 because the line is c if you go c takes d5 oh uh, yeah yeah instead um then c takes d4 this was the move that was kind of um, annoying white queen takes d4 e takes d5 e4 um and now d takes e4 and queen d8 king d8 Knight g5, bishop e6, and the thing is, white is like very marginally better. But there have been so many games. Even Carlson versus Vidit was one game yeah. from the Meltwater Championship. Many games in this line, and uh, basically what Black says is that I'm marginally worse, but because it's an end game um, with good preparation, I'm going to be able to hold. Yeah, this we have so seen white, very commonly. Absolutely. Yeah. Remember this. So then so she white, avoided, yeah, everything. Yes. If I go e3 and says that okay, I don't want to you know go in your preparation, just play a game, and uh, say that is okay. D c4 and we might see some uh, isolated pawn position now. Cool. So that's about Hampi versus Goryachkina. So if we go yeah. back right now again until your you know your prof professor has not caught you and <laughs> yes, I will. all of that. So uh, going to this. Maybe we start with oh lot of moves in Prague versus Nepo. They are very pre well prepared in Petrov. So D four was yeah. played. D five, Bishop D three, Bishop D six, short castle. Yes. 
And bishop e6, um, bishop takes e6, queen yes. takes g5. Ah, that's what I was saying. This pawn looks so weak. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this has been played by Anish Kiri as well. Knight f3 back. Okay. And if you go like queen a5, I can go queen b3, and white is supposed to be like marginally better. Wow, this is such a cool move, Harshil. This is amazing yes. because. Yeah, but I nice. think very often black is well prepared and is able to hold off the pressure. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if you know black is very well prepared. Oh, queen, but but you know, this yeah. is all happening. Then, yeah, have, yeah, yeah. then have you played this like in your games after knight h4 and yeah, this position played... happened? Is it drawish or is it like white does have some chances for slight? I mean, edge? white is playing for two results. Um, so that's why I really like these positions for white. Oh great! And by the way, we have Srinath Narayan in the chat. He says maybe Abbas have just decided to copy Nepo. <laughs> yes. Smart choice, note, Amrita, I should say. That's what I am said. almost yes. about to start my class, so I will take a leave but, and I'll join you guys. Definitely. Soon. Which which subject is it right now? Uh, it's uh, finance. Wow! We are going to learn a lot of finance from Harshit once are, he are, joins are. back. Harshit. तभी तो पता चलेगा ना बट यू कुड इवन ट्राई लाइक समय टेकिंग द फोन म्यूट करके ऑलरेडी क्लास में फेल हो रहा हूं ऐसा करूंगा तो निकाल ही देंगे ओके बट थैंक यू बाय गाइस दैट वाज हर्षित ओपी गो टू अटेंड अ लेक्चर फाइनेंस का लेक्चर Yeah, there we go. And how do you? Oops, my uh, one second. I have to get the bars also. I have to get the. How do you like the layout today? We have changed a lot of things so that you guys are gonna have fun over here. So yes, I'll bring the live board. I'll fix the live board, and I'll also start with um. Yeah, this one. so something is live over there moving over there and just fixing it but and until now which has been which do you think will be the opening of the day where we will be able to see some uh, you know mess happening on the board Yes, so there we have the live boards are updated. All four boards. In between, I'll also get some uh, women's boards. So this will be there working. Also, I have to get the bars. So let me do that as well. Okay, there we go for women's bars. And time for to get the other bars. Yes. Oof. Cool. All set. I think. पेशेंस से सब शांति में हो गया है आई बिलीव आई डोंट नो आई यू एबल टू रीड द नेम्स ऑफ द प्लेयर्स ऑन द बार्स ओवर देयर बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट साइज वुड बी अ लिटिल वेरी वेरी स्लाइट चेंज देन एवरी डे नॉट टू मच बट 
we have the boats we have the bars uh, we have all the round up beautifully shown and we have everything working guys and all of you by the way nikhil kumar roshan thank you for your help chess contribution of well, yesterday which was a rest day we have 1093 believers 21 big believers who donated more than 10000 rupees so thank you guys this looks perfect now yes this one actually yesterday we did one sh very short live stream to get the opinion from the chat and actually 700 800 people really helped to get this uh, done in a better way with their opinion so thank you all of you I'm very excited we'll have more news from canada i believe i'm hoping sagar will join shall we now look at the opening chalo let's go so bishop e6 uh, harshit had mentioned to us some ideas here queen g5 in prag's game they both are very well prepared no doubt about it knight f3 queen went to a5 and at this point we were looking at queen b3 idea by you know which harshit had mentioned but prag played another move so do you have any guesses those who have not seen the move only those right here what move prag played he did not go for the move queen b3 which was tactical defending this also keeping the bishop hanging so that he can re he can collect the d6 bishop yes absolutely he went he went bishop h3 oh the the video is going on video i think i should stop maybe that i will take it away let's have the thumbnail for now bishop h3 he played and now he's given the c3 pawn which nepo says i am very happy to grab that chop it off so queen c3 what's prag's idea why has he played bishop h3 firstly is this a novelty high chances which we will be checking then the second thing is after queen c3 what is prag's next move let me just look at if we have our chat chess moves working because that would be great yeah that's working everything is set everything is working perfectly kya hi din hai yes jeevans anand you guys have guessed right prag went for rook b1 continuing with the counter attack on the b7 pawn how did nepo answer for this one he said no i want to save my pawn so he goes a move b6 he saves his pawn once he pushes this he is weakened the c6 pawn which at some point is very happy to go c5 now once again prag is a pawn down if you count the material he has this isolated pawn this is isolated so what is the compensation here how does he continue can we can we try can we continue prag's next move guys some ideas people are giving there is d5 there is rook c1 rook b3 all of the d5 looks very tempting because we want to open the file but at the end of it you really don't have a threat because for takes you feel you are attacking this the queen can defend but rook can also come here and when once you take here oof this would be a deadly disco time for actual disco so that's why maybe not d5 but yes yes rook b3 that's the right move prak continued with this move rook b3 the queen is attacked the queen went back to a5 can you believe the queen has moved to a5 then g5 then a5 then c3 then again a5 matlab queen a5 is like like its home the a5 square is its home baki sab it is uh, going to canada toronto uzbekistan and all that now prag played a move which actually i was saying yeah how is it different because i am so surprised with this move first question let me ask to the chat what happens if queen d5 it's a huge blunder a very simple question warm up right now guys what happens for queen d5 
Obi says, just want some good chess after some ice cream. I mean, what happened there? We have a lot of good chess here. I don't know what happened there, but wow. That is very, very quick answers here. If I must show you, we have got more than 30 people. Ajay, Shesha, Mayank, Ravindra, Aharshi, Adil, Gandhar, Ajish, GD and Beradia. You guys have found it. The chat is full of energy today. Rook goes to d3 and that's an x-ray attack. The d6 bishop is weak. So this is why Nepo cannot capture with the queen. He will have to capture with the pawn if he wants to take. But he can take this pawn. He can in fact take another pawn and be so greedy. So what is this line which Prague has played is very interesting. We're going to check this in our database as well. Because this game is moving very fast. 19 moves already in like in like a totally 12-13 minutes. 15 minutes. In 15 minutes they already have 19 moves. So lots to analyze. Queen, we'll leave it here at this moment with these choices of C takes D5. Queen takes A2. Rook D8 as well. Going to the game of Gukesh who is white. This also was Petrov, but they had a different line than what happened versus Nijad. Uh, sorry, what happened in Prague Nepo. D5 was played here. He is not taken on. Now D takes E5. So Knight went to C5. He went back with his bishop, says, I really want this bishop in the game. Bishop E7, short castle. If you see one of the biggest imbalance in this position after c6, knight bd2 doesn't seem like a very common position, very different. But what is the main imbalance in the position? Can you guys let me know? It's not a move. It's one of, it's the, it's in text. Can you tell me what is the main imbalance here? center yes aditya very good pawn structure you can see the pawn structure after d5 happened you can see that white has a king side pawn majority and black is having a queen side pawn majority so this is the imbalance which we are having uh, rest of the things of course development and all has to be completed but white will try to play on the king side so knight b d2 has been played by Gukesh and I feel he's going to go for an attack. <laughs> In which way that's what Gukesh is going to show us. But that is something which he will manage to do it by retaining his pieces and having such a nice pawn on e5 which takes away the f6 square of the knight which normally defends that 7 point. So I am expecting something where at some point a bishop will come on this diagonal and there will be threats on the king's side. The rook could lift. So lots can happen here. Going to the next game which is Vidit versus Karuana. Which is very important for Vidit actually that he has to stay solid. It's not about winning or anything but he has to go solid with the white pieces. He goes d3. Bishop comes to g4. Pins the knight. Simply, simply h3. He goes back. And with it is thinking, six moves are done. With it has 20 minutes less. He's thinking at like, why did he? Ah, as Harshit had mentioned to us, knight f6 is not at all a very common move. It's played much less. g6 and e6 are the main moves. So knight f6 on move number three made with it. With it played this quickly actually. He took around a minute on his clock. He took on c6. That's the natural way to continue. D takes C6 and at this point he played D3. This was also played very quickly. And for Bishop G4, I think here is the moment where he utilized his time because he would have, he had another choice to develop the knight to D2. He went H3, the bishop went to H5 and with this thinking. Now what is that move which really tempts you guys? Because there is a move which tempts me but 
does it also tempt you let me know rakshit says also bishop g4 is not main line earthling says should have swapped swapped uh, prag and gukesh in the thumbnail brother sister together are good idea we can do that in the next one ऐसे आइडियाज देते रहो गाइज या या एग्जैक्टली दिस इज सो मेनी पीपल जी फोर इज टेम्पटिंग फॉर यू ऑल ऑल्सो लाइक इट इज फॉर मी एंड आई बिलीव इट इज काइंड ऑफ अ डिसीजन इट इज काइंड ऑफ अ कमिटमेंट दैट यू वॉन्ट इफ यू प्ले अ मू लाइक जी फोर यू नो यू आर इन फॉर अ बोल्ड गेम सो विद इट इज थिंकिंग वेदर यू नो समाइम्स वॉट इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट वेन यू हैव लॉस टू गेम्स इन अ रो definitely impacts your certain decisions which if this was the third game after nakamura he would have gone g4 right away but here he is going to take a bit of his time and try to think also because karuana has gone into something which is not the most usual uh, way to continue that is another reason where vidit will have to analyze things like is g4 uh, you know is there any problem with this move will there be a preparation so all of these thinking apart from just the calculation calculation is just one part for the opening but in candidates the more other part is about what is my, what do they have in hand what games they have checked of mine all these thoughts and then they have to deviate through that to survive the opening is not at all easy nothing like an open tournament where these people have been working for months and months so g4 is going to be a bold decision and if we see that on the board maza hi aa jayega but even there are other moves which are very good and very decent to continue with so let's see what with it plays but i think you can't just simply short castle because that would be a little bit that looks like black has long castle ideas and your some attacking ideas so maybe i doubt that with it will go for short castle okay coming we'll come back here again let's quickly go to prugs game because after d5 nepo has gone into a long thought it's been 10 minutes and he is thinking so shall we also try to see what is nepo thinking are there games in this position let's try to let me take you to the opening here if you are able to see this window bishop d6 was played short castle 9000 games more than 9000 short castle c4 how many games we have still around 7 more than 7000 games c6 knight went to c3 now it's dividing between many other moves Knight went to c three. This is absolute main line. So d takes c four also played bishop c four, and as Harshit was mentioning about bishop b five and oops bishop b five and bishop g four. These were the two ideas. Bishop f five was played by Nepo, and you can see Gukesh versus Vidit, which happened in this January. It was in Tata Steel. Anish Giri, so as we have said, uh. He's everywhere. Vidit has played with Anish as well. That was in twenty twenty two. But who were the top players from White playing this? M V L Nepo himself has played this from White. Whoa! So in fact, if you see Nepo games, Nepo has played not just once but a number of times. Anish has also played with White. Vidit has also played with White. So Bishop G five was played here. This was played by Prag, and I don't see his. game here immediately not really so queen a5 knight went to h4 the same thing happened in gukesh with it then the bishop went back to e6 bishop e6 queen g5 this you have to continue if you come till here and the queen went to a5 at this point you can see bishop b3 queen b3 was the move which harshit mentioned to us then there is bishop b3 you just take the bishop back and give the pawn for compensation and bishop had h3 has been played by few people mamedo has played this against nepomniachi already so prag 
would know that game it was in 2023 uh, feb it was played on everything's play in chess.com so that was 16th move a promising sideline that is what the nota- uh, annotation is over here so this has been played shevchenko is also very strong he has also played this at that point of time in 2022 this was a novelty and mamedov played both the games he won in both the games and they were just a few months ago so that was that is very good for us to know nothing like the d5 move happened in the game if we just go back another moment uh, where bishop h3 has been played did anyone play ah everyone played queen c7 here so nobody has taken the pawn on c3 whoa that's interesting oops zoom pe double dikh raha hai theek hai fine no problem let's go back to our main board also let's look at the I just hope I have not missed anything in the chat. Everything is fine. Aman says professional layout today looks very nice. Ilyan says Karuana must have come with some solid prep, right? Karuana's Karuana's uh, theoretical knowledge is, I think, he must be the strongest here for sure. But we will see until the last day of the candidates. So nobody, guys, right now while we were looking at the games. people have have all gone back queen c7 so queen c3 look at this no nepo did not think about this move queen c3 he is already played uh, petrov and i believe this must also be analyzed by him so maybe he will have to recollect but he must be aware of this move bishop h3 it would be in his opening book preparation so rook b1 b6 now okay this also basically by playing fast you are showing that prak i am also prepared so this is not going to surprise me that's what he's saying like the speed sometimes is all psychology which you are looking here rook went to b3 now of course queen a5 you don't have much choice and with this move d5 which pragnananda made with 1 hour 54 minutes on his clock nepo has gone in long thought because we were discussing that this is a critical position for the three ideas the very first is can you not pick up another pawn on a2 because it looks like wonderful passer black looks like being two pawns up so what is the problem what do you suggest for white to play over here what are your ideas for queen takes a2 prag is prepared but let's see here yeah, says chat like the stream exactly guys let me not forget to mention that do like the stream more people get to know about it and we also have 1 lakh 52 sorry we have 15 lakh 26639 people and as sagar says step by step maybe we can aim for 700 people 15 lakh 26600 and 700 people um slow and steady so do subscribe if you've not surprised if you've not subscribed man so many slip of tongues flip <laughs> of tongues evel bar below hai na there is the evel bar it is getting updated real time thanks to rakshit i know it's dumb but maybe g3 asks a uh, demon king but why do you call it dumb okay let me see what the people have said the move they would really want is d c 6 knight d 4 c 6 knight g 5 i am thinking with you guys i am thinking with you so very natural for you bo- you all is to make the move d take c 6 and attack this only thing which you need to remember is right now you are not threatening queen takes d 6 because when the knight captures knight c 6 the problem is your queen is loaded with the defense of this uh, rook over here hey but one second guys not your fault because you have got two pieces for the rook but the point is these two pieces are over here the coordination is not so good and maybe the passers are going to be very fast that is why Bla- black has a good compensation so this is not a bad suggestion it's a very very fair line to check d take c6 so this is the problem black is not at all worried about giving up the two pieces which is very interesting what else was suggested in the chat knight g5 oh 
people want to attack here and not a bad idea because the whole point is h7 is slightly loose sometimes yeah there are some ideas i like the move i find this move very interesting so knight g5 we will come back here it's not at all a blunder as well then we also have another move which has been suggested which is rook d3 rook d3 you have defended this now you are threatening to take this and attack this so there is a direct threat and if c takes d5 after c takes d5 what is your plan because if you take rook d5 and attack this guy the bishop is going to move the bishop can go to c oops c5 bishop c5 looks fine whatever you see here one thing is clear for prague uh, prague who is trying to get compensation for the material firstly he is completely fearless for the material he just doesn't care secondly it is about his peace activity these are all waiting to pounce to pounce on the king side here is where things are going to happen and these are the soft spots so light squares an open position if you see the bishop is on light square and this one on dark square so while attacking this bishop cannot help in defending on the king side for those points h7 and f7 that's why that's what makes it even softer so we have to keep all these things in mind and the whole idea which prag is trying to say is that i am launching an attack i don't need material for that that attack is going to be brutal and this game is going to be very interesting they have made 20 moves almost but i believe that sudden moment will happen where they will be utilizing so much of their time and yet they might land up in time pressure shiv says nepo must be considering knight g5 bishop f5 primarily somehow why does to prove initiative for prove initiative for the two pawns else they will be running fast absolutely completely agree okay so going to the next game we will come back here nepo is thinking after d5 it's a lot. let me just tell you guys it's been 20 minutes since nepo is thinking a slight achievement for prag from the opening let's go to vd's game what is he doing for e6 move ah for bishop f4 ah he went bishop f4 for bishop h5 vd did not go g4 he developed his bishop to f4 and here came a move karwana played the next move guys any guesses any guesses for the next move Okay, let me check your uh, guesses. There, e six, and oh yes, c four. Few people have found it. Prasad, Prathamesh, Akar, Akarsh, Sahil, Mohit, Pavan, P C, Tej, Dairya, and Ilyan. Absolutely correct. They have c four was played on the board. So Karuana still very well prepared. c4 what a nice move if you take here it's deflection e4 will be hanging after takes on d1 so you definitely don't want to allow something like that so taking is out of question what with it went is knight c3 and he completely ignore what this guy is doing over here c takes d3 c takes d3 and this is the way karuana managed to dissolve his double pawn look at this pawn over here uh yes it did control this nice d4 square but after c4 
night C3 takes takes. This has been dissolved. Now D3 can be weak on the open file. C5 uh, is not so easy for black to play and just stop D4 or to gain control of the D4 square because the diagonal can be weak. E6 was played by black and here Vidit is thinking after E6 what to do. He still has the choice to go G4 and only thing is now whether can he consider some long castle ideas I'm not sure but I, I still feel tempted with the move G4 of course he can even short castle so he ha he's down to 1 hour 28 minutes the time which he's using um, maybe maybe not the best to do right now but the position is fine the position is very very fine I was calculating something like queen b3, bishop f3, g takes f3, queen d7 and long castle. Wow. Amazing. Rakshita, are you calculating that? Because that is epic. Bar banate manate. Yes, yes. Rakshit, I think you have to be very careful because uh, the evaluation bars are really, really going in your consciousness. You don't even need Neuralink. So, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> okay. So, Long Castle. I like this. This is very interesting. The only thing is for Queen B3, Bishop F3 is one move. Yeah, otherwise if you go directly Queen D7, what's the problem? Oh, white. Black, the bar doesn't like it at all. Ah, that is the problem. Of course, that is a problem. Yes, Rakshit, how do you like the new widget colors on Help Chess? Guys, do check out helpchess.org. Some amazing work happening there. And thanks to all of you for contributing over there. G4, knight, yes, knight e5. That's the move. That is the move. Now that the knight has not been captured, he jumps to e5, attacks the queen, and next move, you want to go g4 and h4 and create a massive attack. So after e6, with it definitely has this queen b3 idea to consider uh, allowing bishop f3 and long castle. It would be a little crazy. He has g4 to consider, and he can just say that, okay, I'm just want to be calm. I don't want any mess on the board and I'm ready to simply castle. But I do feel at some point g4 is a move which he will have to make because this guy is that irritating guy in your life. You know, that irritating uh, thing in your life which you really, really want to get rid of. Okay, going to... So very quickly we'll come here after d5 Nepo is thinking let's check out the women's section what's happening with Humpy versus I think we left uh, Humpy's game over here c5 b5 takes bishop b3 bishop b7 e4 was played by Humpy now c takes d4 happened but wait, wait a second the question is what happens for yeah, it looks ugly with the king in the center, but still, what happens for knight e4? What's the problem for knight e4? Why is Ampi given up a pawn, which the opponent did not take, but what is her idea for knight takes e4? Rookie one, rookie one. Everyone wants to go rookie one, and then black is happy to take here and then develop the bishop to e7. So, the right way, I think the way Humpy wanted compensation was to take here and now go queen e2, attack this bishop. This is the way she wanted compensation because the bishop is eyeing here, the queen is eyeing here, the king is in the center. If you try to go back and defend is, oh, it can be very, very brutal with the ideas like d5 in hand, rook d1 and black would not like that. So she did not take that. After bishop b7 e4, she simply took on d4 first, knight takes d4 
एंड देन नाइट सी सिक्स वॉज प्लेड बाय गोरी एचकेडा बाय द वे गोरी एचकेडा वेरी सॉलिड प्लेयर सो इट वुड बी इफ हम पी मैनेज टू विन दिस गेम इट वुड बी रियली एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट बट गोरी एचकेडा जनरली डजेंट लूज मच शी इज वेरी वेरी सॉलिड सो एफ थ्री प्लेड एंड यू कैन सी अ ग्रेनाइट हैज बीन फॉर्मड ओवर यर अगेंस्ट दिस बिशअप इट राइट नाउ डजेंट हैव मच टू डू द नाइट एंड द बिशअप अटैकिंग द एफ थ्री पॉन टेक्स अवे ऑल द स्क्वेयर इज एज वेल सो गुड मूव यर बिशअप सी फाइव चेक एंड हम पी गोज किंग एफ वन किंग इज अ पीस इन द एंड गेम सो दिस इज गॉन इन द एंड गेम एंड वी विल सी वॉट हैपन्स विल कम बैक यर वैशालीज गेम इज गोइंग वो आफ्टर बिशप जी फाइव डी सिक्स वॉज प्लेड सी थ्री एच सिक्स एंड मे बी वॉट हर्षित वॉज मैंशनिंग अबाउट द जी फाइव आइडियाज आर नॉट सो ईजी विथ द आइडियाज विथ नाइट जी फाइव बट इफ ब्लैक हैज नॉट कैसल देन इट कुड बी अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट बॉल गेम सो शॉर्ट कैसल एंड नाउ एंड आई वॉज वेटिंग टू पाउंस विद दिस मू जी फाइव बट ओनली बिकॉज द किंग इज इन द सेंटर so at this moment knight g5 would be very premature doesn't work the rook comes to g8 and black king is not castled so this is not a problem so that's the reason after castle g5 was played vaishali goes back bishop g3 short castle still black says i don't care your bishop is gone your bishop what is it going to do against such a pawn structure it's completely inactive and look at my bishop you can't even push the pawn how do you plan to activate this guy on g3 this is the question vaishali goes rook e1 and says right now i have to do really nothing about it when the right time comes bishop g4 at the right time she is going to i for the d4 break or the h4 break so we will look at this game it will get intense a little later vaishali is well prepared 20 minutes more on the clock than anna so again a slight achievement in the opening for vaishali and also for prag so both the siblings have managed to you know have a very good opening on the board and funny thing is that they both are having the exact same result for all four rounds how much you know how much you can be in sync that way can you believe it Rakshas is in VD's position. I think the opening didn't go exactly Fabi's way. He must have played Sicilian to get a get a imbalanced position. But the position seems very simple. It's like white is slightly better. Yeah, the I I think in this uh, uh, tournament, Rakshas, it's not just about after opening if somebody has a comfortable position or not, but it is also about how much time you are consuming. So that is. a very different ball game especially for this event because we don't have increment until 40 moves it changes a lot of things are guys itna <laughs> thank you thank you so going back so d5 ko if you guys are nepo how what will you play here a question to you if you guys are nepo will chalo i'll give you three options queen a2 cd5 or rook d8 can you guess the move for nepo like can you guess what nepo will play so three moves we have and we are going to guess the move of a guy who has been challenger in the last uh world championship and even previously so rook let me see chat chess moves what is it saying rook d8 maximum people think nepo will go for rook d8 and queen a2 and cd5 is also in contention but rook d8 is the move you are guessing okay i'll read out if at all we don't have any other question in between only then i'll read out but nepo is down to 1 hour 20 minutes 34 minutes extra with pragna nanda 34 do you remember when he had played f5 with vidit actually uh time wise he managed to get a lot of extra time in hand do you remember that is he trying to apply this technique because he's clearly said that yeah directly in the interviews that this tournament because of this time control the opening preparation 
you can play some ideas which otherwise you won't go for a mayor super chats fifth super chat oh nice thank you mayor really enjoying the commentary on the candidates tournament kya baat hai mayor you seem to be from us i don't know if you can visit canada if you have the visa but Priyanshu asks, "How is the book reassess your chess?" Arey, by Jeremy Silman, that is one of the best book. We keep recommending that it helps. It will help you to understand the imbalances so well. So definitely. So Rook D eight is the move. If you guys are thinking Nepo is going to go for, how should Prag continue? And Prag is also thinking. Let's say Prag is thinking like you guys that Nepo will go for Rook D eight after a thought of. वन आवर एटीन मिनट्स या दैट दैट इज कितना हो गया थर्टी फोर मिनट्स आफ्टर अ थॉट ऑफ थर्टी फोर मिनट्स नेपो इज गो नो प्ले मू लाइक रूक डी एट नाउ वॉट इज ही हैविंग इन इज प्रेपरेशन बिकॉज प्रग इज प्रिपेयर यूर सो दैट्स वाई अ गुड थिंग इज ही वोट नीड टू यूज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इज टाइम ही माइंड नीड टू रिकलेक्ट बट विच इज यूजिंग द टाइम वेन नेपो इज थिंकिंग Nepo will also try to think. Let me think of some ideas which Prag might have not prepared. But these players know that when they are prepared, the for the best moves they are anyway prepared. If something else occurs on the board, they are aware that that is not the best move. That that gives them already a hint that they will have to find something which gives them an edge. So that is all the you know thoughts going on. Not just calculations, but also thinking that what is Prag prepared and Mazar. Right? This is amazing. After nineteen moves, I didn't think uh, Nepo is going to take such a long time. But for Rook D three, the moves suggested here are everybody wants to go knight D four for some reason. Rakshit says Rook D three, C D five, Rook D five, Black to play and win. Okay, let's ask, and we'll also check knight D four, Rook D three, C D five, Rook D five, Black to play and win. <laughs> Okay, I I have mentioned this idea before, so most probably you should be oh Zoom link expert. अरे यार ये कैसे हो रहा है? Because who's coming with chess with India? Because I think everyone uses the same uh, Zoom. ठीक है चलो कोई नहीं वापस नया लिंक भेज दो सबको it's fine. Guys, until you find a move, and I'm gonna read out the. Harshit will be like, "Arey, why are you sending me the link again? I am at my class. Don't you know?" <laughs> Or Harshit will be like, "Arey, yah se bhi pressure aa raha hai. Link aa gaya. Jaldi aa jao." So, uh, samay ko to samay ko to purana hi link rakhenge kya? Maza aa jayega. Wo prank karte rehta hai na? Nee, theek hai, chal. will send will send okay so i have sent the links to everyone and we have a guest guys we have a guest one second so no it's not samay we have shrinath grandmaster shrinath narayanan with us the open hi. expert guy hi shrinath i hope you got some sleep the other day <laughs> and some sleep call, yeah called no, you, you to uh, you know apologize that that night was must have been very difficult with all the round ups again and again so today we will do and we will today, start uh, with today i thought some is not here isliye i thought it's safe to come <laughs> Hmm. Someone is not here, so it's safe to come. Otherwise, Shrinath would have been kidnapped. But you know, Shrinath, some interesting openings are happening uh, over here. Let me just quickly. Yeah, I was. Uh, it's 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 impressive. Yeah, like Prag has managed to, I think, out prepare uh, Nepo, who has you know played in two World Championship matches and he has prepared so much for it. And uh, it's 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 quite impressive. I think. 
exactly because uh, just before we start one moment because the chat had answered for one move they had to find a very easy tactic and yes samarpit rakshit shesha priyanshu adi akash sarthak biradia and manveer prasad you guys have found it right this doesn't work supposed to be easy for the cba audience <laughs> oh i should ask now that you are here we can ask some uh, difficult questions to the audience for sure so d5 is played Firstly, do you can you explain to us? Nepo has been thinking since almost forty minutes now. Why this much long thought? Uh, I think he probably doesn't remember because he has certainly seen it. I'm hundred percent sure that he has uh, seen this somewhere. It's there in his file. It's part of his preparation, and it should be in the preparation of you know. I think quite a few of the top players were really well prepared, but remembering everything is. Uh, Quite a task, and probably Nepo has not revised it recently. Or uh, people can forget. People look at a lot of different things. So that is what uh, he has been thinking about. I think, and uh, the thing about this move D five is uh, after uh, you know Black took Queen takes C three. If White had played any other move, that is like one move back. Like for instance, White plays something like Rook C one, attacking the Queen this way. The queen goes to a five, and white moves the queen somewhere, like a waiting move. Queen e two, let's say. Then uh, black can just equalize by playing knight to a six. Ah, you don't care about uh, the pawn, pretty yeah. Pretty simple way to do, yeah. Mm. So this makes uh, life really easy for black. Rook takes a six, just rook d eight, and you give back the pawn, but you have a pretty comfortable position. Nice. But uh, with what Prag has done with rook b three, queen a five, uh, d five. Uh, he has set some concrete immediate problems. Black can't just bail out with some move like knight a six because uh, you know then uh, white will probably just take d takes c six, and this pawn is quite dangerous combined with the h three bishop and the c eight queening square controlled by the bishop. So this sets him some concrete problems. I think c takes d five is uh, kind of forced here. Oops. After c takes d five, have you have you already seen this line? After C takes D five, we were looking at what? Uh, no, we have not looked at. Uh, we so just kind of had a landscape, like we analyzed that there can be an attack with knight G five and some ideas right. over here, but I have not concretely gone into it. So you can definitely uh, let us know what. Yeah, knight G five is the probably Prague's intention, mm -hmm. and here Chad can try and guess what they would play as black because this is a really difficult problem. I see Nepo has taken C takes D five, so we'll see knight G five pretty soon. This will be live. And after knight g five, here is the question for black: What should black do? This is what Nepo is probably trying to recollect. And Amrita, this is also a pretty dangerous zone when you're trying to recollect. You feel like you've seen something, but you're not entirely sure. Oh, and this is where mix-ups yeah. happen. This is such an important point, as you mentioned, because many times, uh, even that happens. Yeah, while you are arguing with your husband, wife, uh, friends, that you think this is what I had said, but then like, no, you never said. Then <laughs> now I can relate. You know, Srinath. <laughs> I exactly. guess it must have I happened. I cannot relate with, with that, but uh... <laughs> it must it must have happened with you with your girlfriend. No, I mean, come on. Not not so much actually. Not so. <laughs> you must be having a very good memory then. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> oh ho! Oh, Shrinath is not a beginner. He's a. I haven't played from... such complex games in my life. <laughs> yeah. I think Shrinath. the game just doesn't go that far, so I don't face the. Uh... Like the opening itself ends very early, you know, so I don't have a problem with that memory. <laughs> We should learn, you know, some opening uh, lessons, Shreena. Need to happen. You should start streaming again, maybe. Yeah. So a lot of chat. Uh, I think. Uh, what 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 is the what is the move uh, count Night. like? So if I go there, let me just check. Bishop H two and uh, G six. Are the ideas they are mentioning? So I believe Bishop H two is not something I uh, I considered, but G six is certainly uh, I think uh, the top choice. And I don't know why they thought of something like this because uh, nothing immediate is happening. Bishop was uh, ah, no, sorry, last... Bishop H two was the last. Sorry, sorry, sorry. G six is the move because the last uh, ka wo answer. Well, I yeah. mean that's what when Srinath comes here and says CBI chat is strong and all that. Right now, these guys, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, crazy strong. Actually, uh, I uh, love this chat because they are finding all the best moves. I think, 
and g6 uh, g6 after prague's intention i believe should be bishop g4 with the idea of rook h3 oh nice yeah I and now black has to uh let, let me let me just say that i don't care about your attack and i continue with knight d no knight d7 is a blunder sorry so knight e c6 if i go and you and want to go rook h3, h3 yeah? yeah and you attack this and i attack your bishop first because i don't think there is a mate no this ah, uh, probably you, not or you are okay to give this and just take the pawn with the knight yeah i'm okay yeah. with that so knight c6 is okay but after rook h3 here you need to make uh, a better move can i go f5 okay. f5 feels wrong to me seems Ooh. very weakening because just yeah. bishop f3 hmm. and uh, bishop is coming to d5 one more piece is added already rook into h7 is a threat and you're also adding an attack from the diagonal mm. so f5 feels wrong you have to make a good defensive move here Guys, what is a good defensive move? You can see h six. The chat is saying a lot of chat is going for wide's move. H six over here. They are mentioning. Wow, how how does this work? Like you're giving up the pawn, right? Ah, yeah, now I get the idea. One of the possible moves, but uh, maybe king g seven is the idea. Yeah, king g seven rook h eight. No. No. Uh, rook h6. Oh. You have to play some uh, knight e5. I think. Oh, but this requires a lot of uh, good defensive skills from black, like a lot of yeah. H6 is, uh, I think, more of a computer move. To be honest. So, what are you? What was your uh, recommendation here after rook h3 for black? I, I I like bishop e5. Ah, you just want to cover the dark squares. And even exactly. if you lose this, there is g7 and h8 is always controlled. Wow, nice move. Yeah, uh, as you know, uh, a fianchetto bishop generally ensures that it's very difficult to checkmate. And uh, one of the important concepts in chess in terms of strategy is the concept of colors. And uh, the concept of colors comes especially into play when there are opposite color bishops because one bishop can only control the light squares, the other bishop can only control the dark squares. And with bishop e5, you ensure that all these dark squares are taken into control, which white cannot challenge because white doesn't have a dark square bishop. Oh, this is very nice. So we have to see, like, so Nepo will have to calculate because I don't think Bishop E five uh, for a strong player also he will he will find it for sure, but he will need to spend some time on it, right? Because he will definitely consider some other ideas as well. Yeah, definitely, and he has to recollect. He has to remember. So in that sense, uh, I'm not. I'm not. It's it's a bit uh, in between finding something and remembering something. So if he had to find everything on his own, I think uh, that's in some ways, uh, in some cases, it's easier. Because. But if he has to, like, if he thinks that it's something, then there is a chance of mix up. Also, I think we should go back to the live position right now with knight g5, where uh, apart from g6, uh, I think it's important to look at some natural move like h6. Ah, here h6, you're kicking this knight away already. And... Yes. So, what do you do against h6? This already some some of the chat already uh, suggested the move. But uh... oh, Rakshit also asks that after g6, can we look at knight f7? Knight f7. Wow. After g6, also it works. So, firstly, if you rook f7, then uh, bishop b6. Yeah, that's what you want to yeah. do. Yeah. 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 G6, knight f7, rook f7, no, bishop e6. In this case, knight c6 uh, is only move. And for rook f3? And yeah, I think black is in time to bring the other rook mm. to f8 to defend. Yeah. Not knight d8, yeah? Knight d8 doesn't... Ah, bishop d5, I will take. So that's why rook f8. Yeah. Got it. Maybe knight d8 is the move. Knight d8? Uh, maybe it's knight d5, actually. Ah, knight, knight e5. e5. Because yeah. you also attack this guy. Yeah. Okay, that's the winning move. So knight f7 doesn't work because of this. But for h6, Srinath, you were mentioning that knight f7 is definitely a possibility. Yeah, now here, here it's strong. 
Bishop e6. Now the rook f7, bishop e6. And knight c6, the same version. What's the difference here? Um, so this is something I need to figure out on the fly, but uh, can you can you just take uh, bishop into d5 here? Yeah, it says the good move, bishop d5. This is attack, but uh, let's say I go rook c8, suppose. Oops, the head bar hates it, completely hates it. Now the d6 bishop is hanging, so I can just take on f7. Ah, that's the difference. There is no pawn on d5. You would say, <laughs> but you might say that uh, it was the same thing there also, right? Exactly. Going back there, what what is the difference with g6? Your knight f7, bishop, rook, e, rook f7, bishop e6, here, and bishop d5. So there is some move for black, which is really helping him. Uh, here, uh, black has queen c5. Okay, you've defended this for now, but if I go rook f3, now you have the same knight e5 idea, yeah? Yeah. And uh, oh, no. here... Oh, no, not knight e5. No, 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 not knight e5, sorry. Rook f7 oh, and then bishop a8. Yeah, yeah, just rook f8. Got it. Okay, still not understanding then why in that other case, this no, was no, not working. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, man, this is so interesting. The difference which one pawn move is changing in the tactical ideas, it's insane. So takes, takes, bishop e6, Yeah. knight c6, uh, bishop uh, d5, queen c5. Now continue the line with bishop into f7 check, king into f7, queen f3 check. Uh, the king moves and now rook c3. Wait, but queen e5 is there, I believe. This is hanging. Uh, this is it. Uh, now I think it's g3. Pen. It's still uh, yeah, a pen. It's still a pen. Mm. Oh, this is. Oh, he plays, sure. he plays at 6. He plays at 6. Srinath, this can happen, you think? Nine of sun is certainly incoming. Huh? Knight of seven? On the board? It's certainly. No, no. Uh, it will be on the board. For sure. Okay. And do you think Prague is prepared done. here at this point? Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Because, you know, uh, I can imagine his team specifically saying that knight g5 is dangerous. And here comes top choice is g6. But h6 looks so natural. Against h6, you have knight into f7. And here black has to find king into f7. Because rook into f7 is bad for this, this reason. Okay, suppose he finds king f7, first of all, is that like a perpetual or something? Because if white is given just too much material. No, so... no, 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 there's no perpetual here. There are a bunch of tries for white. And uh, I'm not sure which one Prag has, uh, you know, chosen for this game. Ah, and Rakshi says the engine uh... even makes 96 work here instead of knight f7. So that's another, but 96, uh... oh, it does make it work, though... Not the best choice, but a possibility. And with so strong knight engines, we don't is, know. Uh, I can see an exit for black there. Uh, like for instance, knight e6, f takes e6, bishop into e6 check, king h8, bishop into d5, knight c6 maybe here, yeah? And bishop into c6, rook d8. So I have an escape oh. at the very least. And it's a very simple escape. <laughs> wow. So as white, your task is to keep giving these problems for black, which is not easy to uh, solve. Correct. So guys, knight, oh, knight of seven on the board. He plays it. Prague plays knight of seven with one hour, 52 minutes on the clock. Nepo down to one hour, three minutes. I think Nepo would be expecting knight of seven when he played at six. What do you think? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because if you have not seen it, it's not so easy to understand why knight of seven is the best move. And uh, so this this move I show we showed yeah uh, with queen f3 rook c3 this is also yeah. not easy to spot in advance. So, so rook f7. But still one more question, Srinath. Nepo plays knight like Petrov is like his bread and butter yeah like he plays it so right. much. So such a line which is very well very standard in a way. Until this point of time where knight h4 happened, bishop e6 takes, queen g5. 
Here he went Bishop H3. Now this also has to be in Nepo's books of preparation because there are very few possibilities with Queen B3 and Bishop B3 and Bishop H3 has been played. I just saw very, right. very less games. So he must have prepared and he played very quickly. Queen takes C3, which is not in the five games. Uh, Queen went back to C7. So why would he go for something like capturing pawns uh, left and right when he is not prepared? No, I mean, he's certainly prepared, but uh, you can't possibly uh, predict where Prague would have come and uh, which one to which one you have to recollect, right? Uh, Queen C7 is, uh, I think, a safer move, which uh, Nepo played earlier in one of the games. But with Queen C7, it becomes so much easier to set problems as white. And with Queen C3, uh, you kind of probably, Nepo believed that he has no problems. He has everything covered. He has prepared. And he has seen everything. And then Prague plays this rook b3 and d5. And suddenly, Nepo, he just can't seem to recollect which exact variation he has. It's all a mess in his brain. And he he can't, he is unable to find that exact thread. Recall that exact thread of which variation leads to equality. So sometimes, would you say it is be even better that you don't know? Let's say you never prepared this after d5. And you are calculating with a fresh mind on the board. Where you're, you're not mixing up, recollecting also, uh, as you said, yeah, this mess up which can happen in your mind. Uh, yes, for a noob like me, certainly the case. Uh, <laughs> Srinath, I would prefer noob to... like me, then guys, right now, chalo jate. <laughs> but uh, in uh, Nepo's case, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is a very anxious moment for, uh, I think, any top player. Where, you know, so much of effort goes into preparation, so much of time, so much of everything. And this is exactly why everything goes, yeah? Like, all the time, all the effort, all the money to exactly not face such nasty surprises over the board where your opponent plays like stockfish. Ooh. So, it's a very anxious uh, moment. And, uh, of course, you don't want to be uh, completely unprepared. I think you prefer to have some, some idea and uh, reconstruct your way to that idea. Like, you feel like this is the end position. I have seen this idea somewhere. And then you try to reconstruct your way towards that. If you have, you know, not a clear memory of it. Rook I mean, D3 played by Prague, yeah, by I the mean, way. Yeah, I mean, he did play King F7 very quickly. And Rook D3 Prague also very, making sure 51 minutes more on the clock. <laughs> yeah, Rook D3 is certainly part of his preparation. And uh, now it gets... It doesn't get easy for uh, Nepo at all, I think. As okay. I told you, I think after King of Sun, there are a bunch of tries. Hmm. Rook D3 is one of them. So, one second. If I try to defend as black, okay, like, uh, of course, my defenses will be very Let's weak. That's, but I am a piece up. Let's say, I'm very happy that I'm a piece up. Uh, and I, what do I go? First, I want to, want to have this king safe, so I go back. But then rook d5, and then I even lose this piece. And then my king yeah, is also... Yeah, so you have to watch out for bishop e6, bishop d5. Yeah, so that I can't move the king. That's very clear. So this threat, maybe bishop c5. I go bishop c5. Okay, oops. C. Now queen f3, queen d5. Ah, you will not take with the rook. You will give a check. Oh no, Queen of is a Oh my god, black to play, That's guys. Watch. Then Queen H5 should be the move. I'll go back there, but here, black to play. Where is the king going? Srinath. It's insane. I <laughs> guys, this is a blender. It it's reminds me of Abish Matthew. <laughs> it reminds We cannot forget Abish Matthew, guys, in the chat. It's impossible. I know. Neither can I. <laughs> is anyone guessing there? King Walk, King Walker. What is, what is the move though? After Queen F3. Yeah, the King Walk. But where, guys? Where will you walk? That's it seems also so question. crazy that this is a mistake. And or I'm I'm missing something so. Oh, okay. What I missed is King E7. There's no rookie one check. Okay. I forgot that the queen on a5 covers uh, the even square. No, Srinath, even that is a... So, if you see every move, if the king goes to e7, that is also lost. But this is very tough to, you know, and if, because there are so many tempting ideas, I would say it's a little tough. 
Ah, King G6. King G6 is the one. Yes, and King then it G6. Goes to exactly. King goes to H7. But if you now take, there is no mate, no? Like if you now take on D5, let's say. Yeah, this I is the region. You have bishop into F2. Correct. At least, the only way, yeah? The only way you can survive. Queen, even. Yeah, and that would be gone. So not this one. So, but uh, why is king g7 a blunder? Why is king g7 a blunder? Guys, in the chat, why to play? You also think. I'll let the chat take this one. Yes, yes. Graciously. <laughs> because I can't see the mate myself. Okay. Uh, no, I see it. No, man. This is a crazy... This is like every move I want to ask, you know, you guys. This is so beautiful to keep calculating, to think of it. We would love if Sagar is able to join and let us know what is the atmosphere over there. Thoda to pata chale to. That would be epic. But... Yeah, the Sagar uh, cast segment is now, no? No, but I don't know. If something like this is happening, everybody would be very busy analyzing this position. I think it's impossible to not think of it. But what is the chat saying here? The chat is saying the move queen e2. Rook e1, rook e3 also people have made a blunder. Though, guys, what are you hearing? Srinath already mentioned queen e1 check. Back rank mate is happening. But queen yeah, e2. <laughs> queen e2 is the right move found by... Swar, Ilyan, Devansh, Kapir, Ishan, Alvin, Granth, Travel with Nikhil Roshan, Shri Ram and Prasad Deshpande. So, what are you going to continue with if the king goes to d5, d6? You don't need, really need to calculate, right? Such positions, Srinath. Like, this is about the feel. You know you are a piece up. The king is in the center and something is going to happen. Even if nothing, queen e6, queen e6 check is just there, right there. King c7, you have rook, another rook coming in. So that's all good. But if you want some beautiful idea, then the next move, guys, you may want to just uh, think of it once. No, yeah. calculation is important. Like the feel will guide you on which move to calculate. Hmm. But you know, the thing with these positions is sometimes there are just so many beautiful looking options, but only one of them turns out to be right. Like to use Saga's analogy, there are so many beautiful girls. But... <laughs> Sagar has you know like... <laughs> Yeah, I don't hear Sagar such analogies. I stay away from them. No, so... <laughs> Sagar uses it for everything. Used to, no? Sagar used to, no? Achha, it has changed now, yeah? I mean, I've not heard it since a long, a long, long. <laughs> but you remember it. Okay. We will talk about it. But yeah, yes. Yeah, I just realized that uh, it used to be a beautiful girl analogy. Until uh, his co-commentator changed. <laughs> oh, right there. You found it. That's the reason. Don't blame me. I'm not the one. Maybe his uh, thought process changed. You know, Srinath? <laughs> Rook D5. What do you have to say about this? If something like this happens on the board today, would be completely shocking, right? Yeah, no, this is not happening on the board. Uh, I'm sure. Okay, we'll not go here, but guys, this can get crazy. The king will get checkmated. It's and... it's, it's just two more moves, actually. How many? Checkmate. Two more moves. So if king d4, if rook d1, king c3, queen b3. Now that's checkmate. Yeah. Ah, nice. Beautiful. So that is the power of such a sacrifice, which Pragnananda is well prepared and has gone rook d3 and is almost one hour up on the clock. Yeah, and also to complete it, bishop c5, I think the move should be queen h5 check. This should be winning. Ah, yes, you were saying this. Because after queen h5, king. King. Ooh. Yeah. no. So it's not easy, huh? Not easy. But Pragnanda is prepared. So he's not calculating. Because here we will recover the material. We're not recovering the material still, right? After king goes here and queen takes a8. White is an exchange up. But the, what is the only defense in such a scenario for black chat? Oh. Can you try to... Sorry? Wow, I see the defense, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see the defense. Amazing. That was very quick, Srinath. Yeah, it's only more. 
and it's the reason why the evaluation bar is uh, you know even mm. it's just because of this one more which i see so many people in the chat uh, getting it right the so many it can't be no is... because it it is not as simple like usual but let's see yeah this it's is a, it's in the top mm. uh, three uh not so many in compared to the answers this is less hasmit dhruv rishab hom aditya divya utkarsh tungsten rohit and swar well done there this is the move rook takes f2 over here is the idea if you take this is irritating yeah queen e1 is a constant irritant so of course you cannot take there but uh, shrinath these calculations are really insane that you have to find the best move at every given point and prag is prepared so he knows everything he, and of course even if he didn't know these are the moves which he can calculate just that you will need to spend time and energy on that in that position uh, yeah yeah but nepo True. doesn't know so he will have to for nepo it's a very hard decision because sometime in one variation he misses one move which is possible because it it's a little bit kind of just a little bit here and there some variations like we missed queen f3 or queen h5 then every time it is king g8 sometime king g6 some other time it is a such a difficult position which pragnananda has got on the board Yeah, absolutely. It's a bit of an early call, but I feel Prag might win this today. Bit of an early call. Okay, now uh, maybe time I... to vote. Keep a vote then. What should I uh, ask the chat for the vote? Like, I think uh, it's going to be Prag win, Prag win, Prag win, Prag win. Okay. That should be the options. <laughs> Because uh, this is actually uh, a very very difficult spot to be in over the board. And fifty-one minutes in just twenty moves. Nepo is also not someone who is used to being low on time. Mm. It's always the opposite. So he's not. He's not like uh, you know. Uh, it's not his comfort zone either. And uh, it's it's difficult for a number of reasons for Nepo to you know be able to defend this position. I think. But rook after rook d three, uh, Amruta, I I see I see a nice defense for black. Okay, one minute. But it's not easy to find. It's by no means easy to find. That maybe then you can so, try. So if I was black here, uh, chat. Mm -hmm. But first, before I say that, chat. If you are black here, what would you play here? Before I come out with what I would play here, and uh, I have checked this with the computer, so at least I know it's not a blender. And having checked it with computer, this is what. Uh, okay, I mm -hmm. see. I see the. Uh, Some of the other people in the chat have also. Uh, okay, you put three options, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think this, if the second and third are kind of related, <laughs> because if Nepo manages to defend, I think it will fizzle out. Ah. Because I don't see Prag losing this one. Oh, but he is material down, and if you don't continue the attack in a good manner, there is always a one percent chance, right? Yeah, but I don't. I don't actually see a good way for black to hold on to the material. Uh, here, computer's top choice is. Shall I say it? Yes. Here. Ah, uh, this was uh, a moment. Yeah, Rubi. Part three. of the chat already knows. Okay. But uh, it's G six basically. Here. After computer's top three. choice. Oh my God. So the point is after rook takes d5, bishop c5. You, we saw all these variations. You know, all four power. people, only four people found it. Was sister Isha, Suhas, and Shri Ram. Only the these four had found g6. What did you say? The variation? Can you repeat again? If white takes a pawn on d5, yeah. black's only move is bishop c5. And here uh, we saw all these variations with the pawn on g7 where. You know, queen was giving these checks and dragging the king out into the open. Here with g6, you have created a shelter for the king. So king goes to g7, and there is uh, no uh, checkmate immediately. So if I take queen at three check, ah, after you go to g7, I don't have any check actually. Everything yes, is and, very well uh, controlled. You have already, I think, amply pointed out this beautiful defense with sacrifice on f two in a lot of variations, mm -hmm. and it is relevant all over in all in all the variations. <laughs> wow! So rook takes d five, bishop c five. Yeah, this is. Hey, it's happening.
sitting on the board but, it happened uh, no 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 oh you yeah 90s time this is the move this is the move i was going to suggest okay to play this the move that i would have played because g6 looks practically very weakening when you when you have a choice it's to develop it's very tough to find because it just doesn't occur to you mm. it's a bit counterintuitive to you know further weaken your king yeah, totally yeah it was very unrealistic so knight d7 if you prepared only then i think he would have uh, played g6 but otherwise you just want to get out of it, give back the material and say that my king should be fine so maybe yeah but if you color... prepared you won't uh, play uh, i think uh, g uh, h6 you would have played g6 true that that does make sense so it's clear that uh, so again let's see the point of this uh, amruta like the most obvious question we consider the captures so what if rook takes d5 Rook takes D5 because here black has only one black to be. Yeah, now bishop C5 is not working. Yeah, rook D actually yeah. wait. So here black has only one move, and this is I think more apt for the C V I chat. Yeah, just clear guys. You can answer. Let's see who finds. Oh yeah, rook takes D5 already on the board. So how does black defend? And I see, I see a few, few correct yeah, answers. This one, this one. So a few me. answers where the queen is not being defended. Okay, and here is the chat who is giving the answers for such a tough position. Bishop H two. Is it right? Yeah. Really, Kavyansh, yes. Vasishta, Prajit, Arka, Vedan, Harshita, Prasad, Sabrish, Anirban, and Ilian. But tell me something. If you What was the problem for Bishop C five? You take here, King G eight. I thought this opposite colored Bishop is draw. Like I mean equal. Uh, at least you've got out of your main problems. But well, you're right about that. <laughs> but I'm the wrong opposite colored Bishop is equal. Ah. <laughs> uh... But what is the best move for White here? I I also don't see it without uh, computer. He can it be Bishop E six check, King D six. And queen. Can it be? Seems uh, very optimistic to me, but you yeah. never know. Let's let's try this. No. Uh, this is the method of finding the best move. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I found. I think I found it. Okay. Uh, I think it's queen b three. Queen b three. You are threatening rook c five check, and for the king to get out of that. Where does he go? So the king cannot run back to g eight. That is what you are preventing because mm -hmm. if the king runs back to g eight, you are safe. Yeah, then rook c five is there, and if I go queen b, Nepo B4... has made a mistake, Amrita. <gasps> oh, he went knight c five. That's a blunder, and Prague has to be prepared, uh, Shrinath, right now. Well, Prague will even if he's not prepared, he will at least Let, know that. Yeah, that's fine that. because I don't know. The chat doesn't know. Chat, you don't know. You're not prepared. You're white to play. What should you play? I'm sure Shrinath, you know, right? Or you found out, or No, I don't know, but I think it's pretty obvious. Wait, Shrina, you're in grandmaster. First of all, let me remind you: certain things will, you know, out of hundred, maybe ninety things would be obvious to you, and for us, that would be ten things obvious. You know. <laughs> so. Okay. But only the. Only the first move is obvious. I think the rest needs to be figured out. Hmm. But I also have this choice first and that choice first. Okay, lot of things, guys, to calculate. But because I am handling OBS, I am interacting with the guests here. I believe that you should be calculating. <laughs> I will see. Yeah, my truck should be calculating. This is what I do with my uh, students also. It's 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 their <laughs> it's their job to calculate. <laughs> Oh, this is the you know we have exactly. I think these are the main two moves to get confused about rook d six and queen h five, and people some people they want to go rook f five, queen b three, and all as well. But uh, one of the moves, Shrina, rook d six and queen h five, and for me, first it felt like I want to give queen h five check, and then uh, it felt that why should I help the king go back to g eight now that I don't even have anything exactly. here. Uh, Good point. Yeah. So then it felt like maybe rook d six is intuitively better, but is there a computer says there has to be a better move? So no, it is. It is rook d six. 
It is root d6? Ah, no, it is yeah. root d6. It's just... That's why I say it's quite simple. And if I give queen h5, that would be a mistake, right? In that sense, yeah. if king goes to g8, you lose, like you help the king. Correct. So Yeah, it loses a lot of time. So because six. Hmm. time is a very important factor here. And uh, Nepo probably thinks that if this king gets to g8, hmm. he's probably safe. But yeah. the problem here is white continues with queen d5 check. Wait. Queen d5, king eight, right? h8. Yeah, you don't want to be on the dark square. And, then... and now queen e5. Queen e5. Ooh, that's, that's completely changing your mindset because the queen felt like, you know, it has to be on the light squares. I completely forgot that it can change the colors. And you're so attached with that, that queen e5 kind of a move is possible to just miss as a candidate move initially. True. If black had one more queen c3 before white could play queen e5, I think black would be safe. But now queen e5, with queen e5, black is just rushed for time. Rook into h6 check is the threat. And uh, there's no way to defend that h6 pawn. Because the d2 square is covered by the rook on d6. Queen cannot come to d2. The rooks cannot defend the h6 point. So, what do you do? I mean, where do you go? There are you no have tactics to on F2. That was a very good one earlier with the bishop, you know, until it existed. Yeah. And if you go king h7, there's bishop f5 check. Yeah. So the king has to go to g8. Acha, you're, you're king h7. Bishop oh, we are, also have Saga. Dosto. Oh, hey, Saga. Dosto. What's happening, Dosto. man? Dosto. Wait. What is happening? Pragmananda is winning games with unbelievable prep. He's winning. He's winning 100%. It is Man, so I can't believe, crazy. I can't believe the depth of prep by Prag. I know. But right? also, Srinath, there was already a Nepo game in this line. Yeah, Mamedo against Mamedo. That was in some yes. season, I think. Online rapid. Yes, but I mean, Nepo knew this line and Prague still in that found something special, which is un unbelievable for me. You're like, wow. Oh, Saga, you're leaking the media room's Wi-Fi password. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Crazy. Is this better? Ah, okay. Or maybe not. Maybe anyway. it's like this. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, the thing is, I do suspect that Nepo probably knew this. He, uh, you know, he certainly has it in his files, but he just couldn't recollect it today. I agree. And it's also very difficult to recollect everything, right? When you are preparing against Prague because, you yeah. know, he can play d4, he can play c4, he can play knight f3, e4. So then he's preparing all lines and Prague goes, Prague knows if he plays e4, most likely knight, uh, Petrov, one of the main weapons of Yan. And yep. he goes in this direction. So great prep. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah, this is and look at the time, Sagar. Prague is one hour up and that too yes. very well prepared. And it has he has made Nepo to make a mistake, which is a huge one right now. If we find we had asked the chat, uh, uh the continuation is rook d6. No, we analyzed here rook d6, king g8, check queen d5, and uh Srinath and now a nice queen e5. Move. Yeah, queen e5. Just f6 is hanging. I mean, the queen on a5 cannot defend it. It's Absolutely. just out of the game, right? Yes, totally. So, not king h8, maybe here, king guys, h7. Yeah. Srinath, huh? what is the ah, king h7? Maybe bishop f5, right? Yeah, bishop f5. Ah, and then king h8. Same, queen e5, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, my question is, what was the best defense instead of uh, knight d7? No, knight d7 is fine. No, ah, okay. Here, yes, Srinath had Srinath mentioned one move. Insane, Sagar. You can't think of such a move like during the game. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, this is not easy, I think. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it feels like the queen should get back into the game somehow. What, but what would be your also my knight, Some some I don't cases. know. Knight c6, I don't like because of rook d5. Uh, king g8 could be one candidate move. That I don't like because of bishop e6, bishop d5. Yeah. Um, so then I'm not sure what candidate uh, <laughs> queen a2 maybe I should be brave and take that pawn. Yeah. 
but then it so feels Sagar, after rupee uh, 5 you come here and yes. you immediately think about the queen but you should actually think about the king like, okay king ji your feelings uh king ji bishop is ah, so bishop is 6 yeah so you have to create safe squares for the king you have to create a new safe square king g6 New, no. Ah, new G six, G six. Yes. Oh, but but G six rook d five, bishop c five, right? Yes. This looks this That looks is. almost like made to me because your queen is away, king is weak, knight is out of the game, queen is out of the game. It doesn't look right. Exactly. Somehow. Visually, it's not right, but that is the whole point, right? You don't judge a book by its cover. Well, nowadays everyone does, yes. <laughs> we need better Thumbnail. designers thumbnails exactly <laughs> now the saying is you don't judge a video by the thumbnail but like sagar says everybody does exactly but, uh, exactly yeah. uh, sagar i think uh, h6 itself was already a you know sus- suspect move was already it's difficult yeah. for black to be legal but but what to do here g6 yeah mm. G six bishop G four or uh, knight C six rook H three bishop B five. Oh, that's also tough because that's giving it. Actually, G six was the knight at seven possible or not? Uh, no, knight at seven doesn't look possible here. At least not in the top choice. Okay. The thing is, if uh, you know the bishop nice can move, dark square, yeah, then you can't mate. You no, know, like. Bishop e five and rook e eight. Then you can mate, I think. Yeah, this idea so, which Rina mentioned was very nice to bring the bishop for the defense. So that all has to be done. But then it's like Sagar, we going back and back and back. If 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 so that way. Yes. Nepo, that is the yes. whole point of Prague's preparation, where he makes him do these natural moves at six. Knight f seven. I'm not sure how uh, you know Nepo felt about it. Was he considering it, or it came out of nowhere? So that would be one thing to understand later. And rook d three, knight d seven takes. We are here. Rook d six. We are here. And I think I think game over. Yeah, this is just finished because Nepo is not going to be able to defend this. And if I'm yeah. not mistaken, uh, Nepo has lost only one game in his last two candidates. Correct? Oh uh, yeah, and that was also I think kind of a dead rubber, right? I think he had already won the candidates or something. No, no, no! It was like this was game leading. before before the end of the first half of the candidates in twenty 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 twenty. He lost the game, and then the candidates was called off. Right? That was the one loss, I believe, or was okay. there more? Uh, the fact that we have to work so hard to remember when he lost the last time shows <laughs> how rare it is. Yeah, yeah. No, this is brilliant. Okay, let's go to another game. Yeah. For example, I think here, here we we'll leave play. this. Pragnanda is going to play queen d five check, and yes. then we'll come back here later again. Yes. yes. Yeah, I think he will play it, and uh, I think Prag is going to win this. Right. I thought today with its play has been very inspired. Like this move, g four, bishop g six, queen b three. First of all, that's a good move, forcing queen b six. Oh, we were then looking playing, at this actually. Ah, oh, no, not this. One. Then playing bishop e three, attacking the queen. Then for like if we take say b three, I think white is better because the a seven pawn is slightly weak and you know bishop on g six yeah. is out of the game. So queen c seven, he goes back, and now with it was long castle, and what an inspiring play by with it after losing two games and coming like with this attitude to fight again. Well, he also. literally has no choice because he has to get back with the win here yeah? there's no time to stabilize in the candidates i think also yeah i mean when you I lose two games then it's then there is, there is no time to sorry uh, also you know in such situations when you're down i think people would kind of sense weakness if you try to be too solid and they will uh, they'll not let you get that like for instance fabi didn't play a petrov for berlin he went for the second I agree. Everyone's kind of sensing that with it is the guy where they can get a point, but also with it senses that he has the chance to get the point. So like it's that struggle. So you know, in some cases, you really need to punch back. That's the only way to not get punched. True. And true. I think that's very well punch. said. Very well said there. So but basically, with it is, but the only problem with with it is his time management. He's down to fifty minutes. 
and it's just what 10 moves out of the opening yeah 13 13 right 10 right 13, 13. so 27 moves to make in 50 mi minutes in this position and believe me time is playing such a crucial role in this tournament it's like one of the massive factors is 2 hours no increment 40 moves so yeah. i think vidit needs to really think about this but i like his way he's played in the opening with the energy he has going to the game of uh, gukesh i think uh, it, was Sagar, it need not be a factor in every game and uh, yeah times you mean in, but but this in game with it with it karuana it feels like it will be a huge factor no the fact that it, it's just certainly making... a factor but i think uh, you know the position also matters and uh, if Vidit can uh, get a good position, then it will become diff very difficult for Fabi to make a move. Right. Right. Okay. Let's see what will happen there. Uh, what because, about this game? Unlike the earlier two games, uh, uh, where you know he was facing a very deep prep by his opponent, uh, here I think it's a more uh, over-the-board fight between two humans. Whereas against Prague, he was quite deeply prepared and when uh, his prep ended, he already had a very nice position. And I think Nepo was also quite deeply prepared, whereas Fabi's uh, preparation must have ended a few moves earlier, I think. And now it's true. just with two uh, humans. True, with true. Still has a nice position. So somewhere you have to feel that you cannot think for, on an average, more than two minutes per move now, which mm -hmm. is already a danger, difficult thing, right? When when you get a complex Sicilian middle game position, you want yeah. to have like sometimes 10, 15, 20 minutes to think about something. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I remember back in the times, uh, uh, the in increment, uh, it came around 2000 something. And uh, during those times, we didn't even have so many digital clocks in India. We used to have this Russian analog. Yeah, top boards will get digital clocks. Everyone else will have these Russian clocks. <laughs> So I used to count down to these moments when my opponent had like two minutes per move. I used to count down to this time when my opponent had one minute per move. And I would get <laughs> so excited as they kept getting low on time. Right, right. That's true. That's true. I also went through this at some point. Uh, but let's see if Vidit manages to survive here. Uh, by the way, Bukesh huh, has chosen actually, a I... decent opening. Our, in the pet crop. manages to hit back here. Yeah, it That's is very, very cool actually because he's kept maximum pieces a little different than normal H3 here. It's very contrasting approaches from uh, Prag and Gukesh. Yeah, like mm -hmm. Prag is showing prep in almost every game, whereas Gukesh is, you know, trying to just get playable mm -hmm. positions in every game so far. That's a very good point, actually. And I think in their game also, we witnessed that battle, right? Prague came very well prepared. Gukesh fought on the board and managed to overcome Prague. Yeah. So, so I think very interesting how both of them have approached the candidates. And both are kind of doing well until now. Um, but I think if Gukesh today, you can say white against Abbaso, you really want to score the full point. Um. I feel he is on track, right? He has got a decent position to keep pressing. Yeah. Um, it's uh, But, you know, at this point, it feels like Black is keeping the balance. A5, A4, nice moves. The threat is A3. And if White prevents it with A3, then uh, Black continues with B5, I believe. And, uh, you know, gain space on the queen side prevents uh, White from playing C4. Uh, right. So, so far, uh, the position is balanced, but yeah, Gukesh will continue to play for a long time. So, Gukesh has to maybe hit C4 at some point, right? Hit with this move in the center. But yeah. as you said, if C4 now, then there is A3. Exactly. And that creates a weakness on C3. And then the, if we play B3 here, the knight will jump to C3, creating a fork, which we don't want. Yeah, B3 is rarely a good idea. <laughs> so, so, in a way, it's becoming... Uh, what should Gukesh do? Knight, knight takes knight, maybe, on E4. No, we can, Sagar, we can analyze this deeper a little later, maybe. Is there any okay, move sure. in Prague's game? Because I think... Uh... Yes, King G8 what? played. Yeah. Yeah, King G8. So, nice, Queen D5 check is, has to be played now. Uh, this, I should be ready here. 
by the way let me just give you a very quick uh, yes. feeling of what happened in the uh, start of the round so at the start of the round and this is for all our viewers uh, a person came here to open the game his name is andrea bocelli um, if you don't know uh, read about him he is one of the greatest tenor in classical music which means he has this sort of voice the high pitch voice which is the most amazing so uh, it is said that um, he is the person who has brought classical music to millions of people and he is blind like he is visually impaired and from the age of 12 and he is one of the most famous uh, musicians he came here and he loves chess so he came and he stood near the game of vidit and fabi and after he made all this by the way i i knew about him a little bit since wizen house because they had a music studio and i got to know about him so i read about him but th- i saw him here and i have been so inspired listening listening to his music in the last one hour um, that this uh, i i guess people can do their own research and i feel there is an energy today in this uh, venue uh, because andrea bocelli came here and you know this way so it's uh, amazing how people from diverse fields are playing chess and find some uh, beauty in it this is so beautiful to know sagar and uh, by any chance like you were able to take his interview or something or no i actually i also did not do it because i wanted to know him better and i'm sure in future i will get an opportunity when i because right now i feel truly moved by his work but when i first saw him at that point if i had interviewed him it would have been a very superficial one so i'm glad i didn't do it amazing by the way we have a new uh, believer of indian chess well, omkar oh two minutes ago thank you omkar borkar yes thank you that's Sagar, very kind of you exactly and good that you spotted now that we have a bigger font it's easier to read do you like the uh, change in the today's stream overlay and everything? i think the best part of today's stream is uh, shrinath being here <laughs> <laughs> that is true more Completely than the layout true. but uh, but i love his... i love how uh, the layout is all live boards can be seen because uh, you know when i go to the stream many times now i can see what are the moves happening on all boards Uh, at least in the open, and uh, yeah, which were well, below yeah, are the results. What I love about this layout, it's been there since the first day. But you know the way the Indian flag is waving, I think that's a unique mm-hmm. feature to our. Uh, this was I haven't seen it anywhere else, and it really adds up uh, the visual appeal. Abhi daya opi, nice job, Abhi daya. Yeah, very yeah. nice. And also, Shrina, did you notice that there are leaves coming, which is actually mm-hmm. one of the main uh, symbols of Canada. Those leaves which are falling. Oh, so wow. it's Indian flag plus the Canadian touch because it's happening in Canada. Nice, 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 nice. Asim is saying Shrina is here, so a roundup to be made. Ah, actually, I was coming to that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we should do a roundup. Oh my God, it's two a. Uh, sorry, Shrina. Yeah, Actually, know. never realized the time now. Shrina, you my... are looking so fresh today that it feels like it's two p.m. in the afternoon there. <laughs> no, no, I'm not so fresh. I should go to sleep. Exactly. Uh, yes, but yes, yeah, sure, uh, sure. Prag Prag's novelty just uh, brought me awake today. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I was thinking. like these youngsters just uh, another thought like how i mentioned about andrea pochel i felt here that whenever i am in the playing hall i have never got this feeling that prag gukesh and vidit and for that matter even vaishali and hampi being in any way less experienced than let's say fabi uh, yeah. nakamura that feeling doesn't it feels like all equals sort of here even the way they are playing i don't know how they have managed to do this right because they are lower rated they have lesser experience but somehow yeah. maybe that uh, youthful energy yeah shrinath yeah the, uh, the freshness uh, i guess it compensates in some way for the experience but having said that uh, you know uh, i think a major factor is also how you come back after a setback prakash mm. managed that beautifully he lost prakash is the, amazing uh, right yeah He lost. He lost with white, and then he hit back against with it, uh, with black. 
choosing such a risky variation and now against nepo he's uh he's winning actually he's like literally winning yeah Yeah. 25, 25, so, so let's do a round up. Yeah. But Zagir, one thing I don't agree so with you is that uh, they are all new. Is a feeling which the world has. But I believe, in fact, the youngsters are more experienced in preparing with uh, technology than all others, the, the other other people. So we don't know that. Interesting. Yet. Only experiences. Maybe it's the first candidates, but literally. Well, speaking, I was more talking not about preparation, but about but being in such an environment. Preparation is mattering in yeah. a big, big way. No, but I remember that when Magnus played in twenty thirteen World Championship match against Anand, hmm. he said that he was nervous during the first round, first yeah. game that he played. And I don't see this to these youngsters playing candidates for the first time, which is surprising for me. That how do you not feel any nervousness? I don't know. They're special. Yeah. Uh, they, they True. Just, yeah. By the way, yeah, we uh, we have a new member, Sagar Venkataraman Rishi Kesan, who has become the pillar of Indian chess. And Thank that's you. Very nice. Uh, this this amount that you spend on your memberships goes towards the laptops that we are going to give every year now. This is the new thing we have begun. Uh, we used okay. last two years funds to give laptops to fourteen youngsters of Indian chess. And now, whatever you contribute as membership will go to the new kid this year. So thank you so much. So Shina, shall we do the roundup? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Prag wins. Yes, in this position. What yes, about uh, the next board? Uh, I. We never saw this match. Alireza, mm -hmm. Hikaru. I think it would end in a. It's a pretty exciting position. It's quite interesting, but. Uh, I think it will end in a draw because uh, you know Hikaru and Ali Reza are so evenly matched. Uh, the position is interesting for sure, but it's Sina, also... I want to I want to say that White seems to have slight upper hand here, you know, with the space, and I feel Ali Reza might fill this today. Like White has more space in the center and the king side, and uh, Black has the uh, you know little more on the queen side. There are these pawn breaks like uh, c six or f six. Okay. Which and uh, okay. I mean, I also you know uh, apart from the position, uh, I believe that if Hikaru doesn't want to lose, then it's very difficult to beat him. Like you know, if he makes up his mind that today I don't want to lose from the opening, mm -hmm. shuts the game down. Uh, I think it's very hard to defeat him. So if he goes well, but I don't think he has come with that attitude to shut the game down because he's also on minus one. He needs to score a win somewhere. Yes, but if he gets into a difficult position, then he'll get into the zone. I think. Mm. Okay, so draw. You think it'll be a draw? Yeah. Yeah. And let's go to the next one. Mm. This I think Gukesh will win. Yeah, you he... think so? Wow. Yeah, he's he's very good at creating chances. I think. But if Gukesh but wins, he played a four, a three. Yes. D yes. five. I think you can continue with yes. some nine. Yes. Yes. Oh, like five. It, okay. It's still far from over, yeah. Got it. Okay. So yes, Amruta made a very important point that if Gukesh wins, then he might become the sole leader if Nepo loses. Oh, and uh, if Fabi doesn't beat Riti. Okay. Many results have to happen. Uh, let's go to the next one. Wow. Yeah. This one I'm very interested. Nice the idea of f four, f five. Yes. Uh, you know this. But Bishop e seven, no. Bishop. Hitting the knight. So Bishop E seven, there are two ways to react. Yeah, one is you can uh, go Knight G two, mm. which is bad. It's four F five. Another is no, Knight. No, it looks interesting. Actually, uh, yeah, it does look very interesting. But uh, okay, we'll come back to this. What else is the possibility? Uh, you can take the Bishop. Ah, you're okay with H G six and opening this, yeah? Yeah, and then break with F four F five. F four. Let's go, boy. So, Shina, nice. I'm not. I need to hear your prediction of this game. <laughs> uh, so, I, I, I think Vidit will press in this game. He will have the upper hand, but I think it will end in a draw. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey. So, what's up? Hi. Hey. Sir, why? Let's go. Why? Prak? Why? Four? Why? Prak? Ki prak? Dekhi kya? समय देख अब भी आता है बेवफा समय सब चैट में बेवफा समय बेवफा समय यही चल रहा था समय यार आज वो क्या बोलते हैं वो वो 
भाई समय जिस तरह से हाइप बनाता है कोई भी चीज का मैं देखा गेमर फ्लिट को ऐसे उसने लूर किया वो चैलेंज के लिए कुछ टैटू बनाने के लिए भाई 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 आई वॉज लाइक भाई ये बंदा क्या डेंजर है किसी का जिंदगी नॉर्मल चल रहा है ठीक है गेमर फ्लिट बोल रहा है मैं सोने जा रहा हूँ फ्रॉम दैट रीच द स्टेज वेर नाउ हीज टू पुट अ टैटू समेर This is the moment I was scared of. <laughs> hey, Shweta, what's up? Bye, cook. But in Prag ka prep, yar. I know. Prag's prep, nice. Pro, pro, pro. Bye. Here, you know what game is? What? Queen E5. E5. Yes. And sir. no, no way to stop uh, Rook H6. You have to give it. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. King G8. You can play it, right? Ah, King G8. What? Queen E5. King G8. Now some has disappeared, yeah. नहीं नहीं ठीक आ रही थी मेरे को मैं चला गया था क्या ठीक आ गई थी भाई मेरे को जोर से देखो चारिस अच्छा लोगों मुझे भूख लग रही है मुझे खाने खा के आ रहा हूँ भाई बाकी कैसे सागर भाई जाना इधर है 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 Seriously. Oh, so Rook G six and that is the way. You know, you know that Queen on A five is so misplaced that mm. that is the reason why White is winning. Okay, great, Shrinath. So you gave a roundup of all the men games, right? Open games, I think. Yeah. So your prediction is Prague wins, Gukesh wins, uh, draw in Nakamura, Firuja draw in with it, uh, uh, Karuana, yeah. right? This were actually Okay let's go let's quickly yeah let's so, quickly yeah. get the prediction here Okay bhai Sagar bhai love you bhai I'll see you soon main khana manga liya bhai To acha aap ja rahe ho ha bhai khana kha lo na idhar Okay baad mein milte hain PR bhi jab tak aayega wo 20 25 minute lagega aane ko hi jab aayega to yahi pe khaunga main Theek hai bhai Theek hai Sagar bhai miss you bhai Yes I miss you too boy miss you See you Amrita miss you too miss you Srinath bhai I hope you sleep tonight Miss you too bye bye actually no but yeah bye bye श्रीनाथ बोला मिस यू टू भाई श्री ये क्लिप कर दो भाई श्रीनाथ कपिल ने बताया था श्रीनाथ स्टार्ट में बोला अभी मैं आ रहा हूं और फिर एंड में ये बोलता है दिस इज द मोस्ट रोमांटिक श्रीनाथ विल एवर बी मिस यू टू बोल दिया उसने दैट शुड बी क्लिप एंड श्रीनाथ योर गर्लफ्रेंड कैन रीप्ले इट अगेन एंड अगेन ओके सो वी विल क्विकली गो थ्रू वुमेन वेरी क्विकली वी विल गो टू दीस टू गेम्स मेबी वैशाली बिकॉज़ राइट नाउ प्रग इज प्लेइंग वैशाली लेट्स लेट्स डू अमृत आई विल टेक 1 मिनट ओनली वैशाली एंड अमृत चोक वेयर इज द पोजीशन व्हाट्स द पोजीशन बार इज देयर ऑन द ज़ूम या अच्छा वैशाली विल विन वैशाली विल बीट है ना वो बिकॉज़ सागर ठीक है ऑल फोर डेज प्रग एंड वैशाली सेम रिजल्ट So today yes, Prag yes, is winning. Exactly. That says Vaishali has to win. No, that way. So the position okay. also looks quite promising. I yeah. Think. Okay. It's I difficult, agree. but it is promising. Yes, it will be exciting. Okay, this one draw. Yes. Hmm. No, actually, I'm kind of rooting for Hampi today. Yeah, I mean everyone's rooting I'll, for I'll her. I hope for Hampi win. Because uh, there is something in this end game. I think it's not. It's not totally equal. It's not dead yet. Also, I'm a bit surprised that she's given up e5 pawn, right? Knight takes e5 is possible. For some reason, it shouldn't be possible. There yeah. should be uh, something out here. What bishop e4? Knight e4 maybe. Yeah, knight e4. Good move. Some rook c5, rook c5, bishop d4 uh, later. After bishop e4, bishop e4, rook c8. Wow, Now, uh, so... I'm not sure. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not rook c5. Ah, yeah. Then it's bishop, bishop a. Bishop B seven maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Bishop B seven and, and then take A six. Yeah. Let's take. Now take. No. Now Rook C five is working. Oh, oh yeah. Rook C. There's no Rook C eight. Is clear. Yeah. 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 Ninety seven. Rook D seven. Last move. Bishop no. C six. Yeah. 
This is amazing. Okay, rook c7 should also win, Amruta. Rook d7. No? No. Anyway, yeah. no. Let's do bishop c6. Yeah. Okay. So okay. bishop d2. So, mm -hmm. Humpy. You are saying Humpy wins, Srinath? Yeah, I'll go for Humpy wins. Wow. I think this has been the best chance so far in the candidates. And uh, also, I feel she'll be quite motivated against Gorya Shkina. I mean, against everyone, but... She's the Today I could see to... Goryachkina and Humpy like when they both were sitting opposite. I have the video, they were so serious. Both of them like had this face. That was very intense. Yeah, if Humpy has any chance in the candidates, it has to be a win today. It's like the last uh, yeah. chance. We have here a uh, fun master oh, Mike. He's, he's much more Hi. fun, he's much better at chess. Trust this guy. Cigar is the man. <laughs> <laughs> What are we we need to have a challenge. Yeah, Amrita needs yes, to hear that. Between yeah. us. Yes. Who can eat the most sog paneer in 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> but hi, Mike. How are you doing? From both being in India and on broadcast. You talk about food. Man, the chat was crazy. They will love you. And I'm into it. I'm not just doing it. Yes. You <laughs> get. I want to talk. About Let's do then some eating challenge. Let's do Pani, Pani Puri. Puri challenge. Have you eaten Pani Puri ever? Pani Puri, I don't yeah. think so. Let's do who eats the most Pani Puri. Can I tell you something? Yes. I am the hungriest in the morning after a workout. So can we do an idli challenge? Idli, okay, then. What to find? Then. Wow. We'll find. Okay. We idli. will. Okay. We got idli challenge. And okay. if I win it, then he will do something. And if he wins it, I will do something. Very good. Yes. Okay. If I win, you have to offer me a job. And if you win, we'll <laughs> you will regret that. <laughs> I may not. <laughs> oh my God. Idli challenge. Cool. Okay. Guys, that was Mike Klein from Chesscom at Chesscom and Chesskid.com. Very well known. He's also known as Fun Master Mike. Uh, so, very interesting to have him. <clears throat> so, by the way, Srinath. We didn't finish it there. Humpy, you think will win next? Let's Amruta finish that too okay, okay, quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Vaishali wins. Humpy wins. Then here. Um, this one's a bit tricky. I think white is a bit better. So, but black has pretty good compensation. So, uh, let's say black will hold here. So I'll go for a draw. Wow. Yeah, well, Tanjongi is very much in great form. Yeah, Srinath. Yeah. True. But uh, I felt like I had to give a draw somewhere because the other game I feel uh, I'm favoring white. Okay, so draw here. Next, last one. Um, late mm -hmm. uh, is better. She has a very nice position. And guys, Rajabov is the second of late thing. Yeah, so yeah, nice mm -hmm. for their team. Oh, okay, Srinath. Nice. Brilliant. Yeah. Great uh, roundup here. Thank you so much. Amruta, you have anything last words Thanks. to say to Srinath? Oh, Srinath, you going up? Going? <laughs> ah, yeah. when, I, when I came here, I thought I'll come stay here for 15 minutes and then I'll, I'll just say my predictions and go back. But I'm here for one hour and 15 minutes. That's what chess Thank is. You, Srinath. Srinath, thank you very much. We had we loved your insights and uh, you know with this crazy game going on with Prag, it was very nice that he was here. So thank you. Hope thank you get a good you. sleep. Thank you so much. Chalo, chalo, guys. Bye, bye. Good bye. night. Chalo, bye. Chat. Thank you. Good night. See you. Good night. And Amruta, while Srinath was here, we got so many more believers, right? Right now, that. right now we have Akshay Nathu. He gifted 20 Chess with India memberships. So, you know, Bye, on day Akshay one Nathu. also, people gifted like 50, 50. Uh, Akshay Nathu gifted 50. Then next day he gifted Thank another you. 20. Now he's gifted another 20. Thank you, so, Akshay Nathu. And you know, you know, we have this feature in our uh, YouTube now, where when we are releasing a video, we can make it, when I schedule it, I can make it release for the members and so members get early access to videos. So there is a now an added benefit to becoming a member apart from that money going to the, uh, the talents. You are also getting early access to many of the videos which we schedule. So, But do we want to do that? Brilliant. But that could be interesting. We can definitely. No, I do it. I do it all the time, Amruta. Ah, then we like, need Like, let's to... say, if I'm, if I am right now, let's say I have three videos made, mm. and I make one release right now, next one after two hours, next one after four hours, then they all are available to the members immediately, while it will release in two and four hours for others. Got it. 
interesting uh, yeah amrita is have... shocked because she didn't know this feature no i i knew this feature i didn't know we were using it uh, but okay we will see that sports has super chatted what is the history between humpy and goriachkina not sure i have to check oh. their games but no, it no it's be... there's, there's no history as such it's just that both of them have a very serious look on their face when Intense. they play chess that's why yeah very yeah. intense both of them and uh, there's jemin ask sorry to bring this now but was curious to know how does country hosting <laughs> candidates is decided also has india hosted candidates any time no we went but been. i think basically you have to bid whenever the tournament is launched fide gives it and i think this time canada bid for it and got it just like how we bid for the olympiad and got it like in 2022 and hachiko san also gifted five memberships so thank you and guys as yes. I, as we have mentioned muta can you read help chess uh, names who sarjit patel i can hear i can see Oops. 200 rupees oh yeah sarjit patel 12 minutes ago has uh, sent 12 and then the, before oh, that there, there is more yeah can you oh. can you read these are all the people who are contributing amazing that's just brilliant guys all yeah. of this goes to indian chess players one of the amazing reasons for us to stream is that we raise funds for the young talents and this is brilliant guys thank you yeah we had in the world in world cup we had we had raised close to 12 lakh rupees yeah <laughs> it was crazy we had uh, shailesh rana who also uh, uh, sent 350 rupees then we had vikun chandra who contributed 111 rupees we had rishab agarwal sending 100 rupees omkar borkar we read his name i think uh, yes. 100 rupees you know what happened amrita here yes someone came and gave me 100 canadian dollars and said can you please donate it for indian chat what really that 6000 and i said this is real life super chat you are giving me <laughs> That is so sweet. That is so sweet. But yeah. look at this moment, Sagar. While we are talking oh. about Queen E5, Prague, oh, Prague has made a mistake. Did not find it, and he could. It might be a not an easy move. Like when uh, Shrinath mentioned it Sorry? for the first. When Shrinath mentioned it. Five. Yeah, when Shrinath mentioned it for the first time, the move Queen E5. I did say to him, you know, the difficult thing about this move is. that you suddenly changing the colors here like from the queen which but was Amrita, all the time giving Amrita, queen f3 queen h5 like squares i don't know why he rejected queen e5 what is the reason to reject because maybe the it's same like reason they were rejected wait no it's forcing the game like it's just over right for the queen e5 what's the defense to rook h6 maybe rook uh, wait he, maybe he thinks that nepo will give up that six pawn is no, there any way he can come go on. Queen Come a on. two. Queen the takes fight, a two. Find okay, queen takes a two. Six. You try to play with, uh, you know, with your own mind. King G eight. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So maybe he didn't like queen a two. Yeah, that's what you are saying. Interesting. Because it um, covers this diagonal. It covers the square on e six where the bishop can come. And yeah, yes, now yeah, the black yeah. is having two pawns. So you need to continue with the attack. Let's okay, see. Okay. Let me think. G6. What is a good move here? Rook g six, queen f seven. Ah, now queen f seven, and it feels like black yeah. has safeguarded his thing. So if you want to play queen e five, Sagar, actually over yeah. here at this point. Oh, Shrinath has something to share. He's not able to sleep. <laughs> He has to mention something. At this point, you still continue need to continue with the the advantage is slowly diminishing. But let's see, Shrinath. Shrinath, what's what, the news? What are you saying? I I I. So uh, the position you have, I I think uh, instead of uh, you have to play after Queen E two, Bishop F five now is the move. Yeah, at after Queen F seven, right? Or before? No, no, after Queen A two. Yeah. Okay. Bishop F five. Nine one five. Oh, instead of taking on H six. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. I'm not sure though. Yeah, yeah, that is the best move. But what was your idea now? So you want to check and take and Bishop at seven. Yeah, I want to take and uh, Bishop. Okay, at I go King G eight anyway. Ah, nice. Okay. But now I'm thinking maybe bishop moves backwards b1 and then going to a2 some like somewhere. Yeah, you don't have anything. Yeah. मतलब the queen doesn't have any square to even if you move. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, but that yeah, here yeah, there's something difficult to spot. I think. Oh, oh I know, I know. Rook g6, guys. Rook g6. 
queen f7 how oh, no, it didn't work yeah i was thinking bishop b1 now and i was thinking that we will threaten bishop a2 somewhere but maybe it's too no, slow no but sagar slow. this what too you slow. mention here bishop b1 actually it is the best move but what happens to really? queen f- yeah it's shocking because queen, queen f7, f7 if i go back ah so this is not findable yeah mm, it's not this findable is- Queen a one, queen a one, queen a one, guys, queen a one idea. Bishop a two, queen b two, queen b two, queen b two or queen a one. Yeah. Wow. B two. Oh my God, this is real. No, it's findable. Come on, Shreena. No, how? No, but bishop b one and queen a one is just not findable. I think like you don't see these moves. No, bishop b one and queen a one. Incombination. Oh, bro. I mean, you can, you can, yeah. I think you just see rook at six, but the thing is, this line with rook at six is also advantage for white. Yeah, but it was very weird. Yeah, like look, this line rook at six, king g eight. Where, where? You know the rook at six here only. Rook at six, queen a two, queen a two, bishop. Okay, where? One second, one queen second, eight. one second. And this queen e five, mm-hmm. queen e five, queen a two, rook at six, king g eight, mm-hmm. rook g six, queen f seven. I was bishop surprised that this is better for white. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean. bishop f five. Still, but yeah, maybe you have it makes sense. Like domination, no? Hmm. H four H five coming yeah maybe H four H five six okay but you have like, one two okay, three moves let's okay, say, yeah your queen is attacked how do just you... wait with the queen I think like queen no uh, e three can you go queen where c three uh, because g seven is under pressure got it yeah one more and the computer is knight e four because it gets this mm, maybe queen d four is the queen d four yeah no then yeah. it will say knight e six yeah. Wow, so queen what B two? <laughs> Important, yeah. Queen B two. Or a queen. Okay, okay. But still, I can go ninety four. Why it's a problem now? Now it doesn't attack the queen, so maybe yeah, it's so the tempo four, now. Yeah. Ha! Now one second. Now is the moment. Actually, how do you continue? Hmm. Wow. There are a number of ways, but still, what are the candidate moves you will even consider here? Because. There's so many options. H4 was the first one which you guys felt, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty decent. What else? Maybe G4 is one more move. I was thinking just to. Is yeah. there Rook G4? Best G4 is the best move. Rook. Oh, nice. G4. Rook G4 maybe Knight F6. No. Oh, no. Yeah, just Knight F6. No, I gone, thought Bishop T6 Rook H4, but Knight F6 is gone. So, Bishop G six, yeah. And then I thought Rook H four on the next move. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's that's correct. Amazing. What? What? Guys, we have something special that Asim has brought here. What is this Asim by? It's called King Caesar. One second, let me see, guys. I will show you. Uh, it's I'll... called King Slice. Can you open? King Slice. It's a pizza. It's the famous pizza. Uh, seriously, uh, Sagar, we are feeling hungry now. Don't even show that to us at 2 a.m. <laughs> in India. <laughs> what is this, Asim Bhai? You are just making me fat here. <laughs> oh, Asim was like, Pragnananda, when he played Knight of Seven and all of that happened, he said, today is a long day. We have to work very hard because Prag is winning. Now suddenly brought the pizza here and Prag has made a mistake. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also the move Prag played is I think pretty decent. Yeah, the problem yeah. is the black is knight b. Okay, I said it. What knight b seven? Yeah. It will. Bye oh, bye no. bye. Oh my bye, god! Bye is bye it... bye. Man, this is then completely fizzling out, no? Because you can't take here. Because queen f5 and just d- done with the attack. And if you move, what forced? You forced to take. Oh, but that one yeah. has to find knight b7 then, or is no. there any other move also? No, I that's the know. only move. Knight b7 looks uh, findable, I think. Yeah, because... It's the kind of move that Nepo will play, I think. But what about what about any other move, Amruta? Apart Next from best move nothing. is knight a four. But I mean, you can't go knight a four when all the action is happening here. If we... No, no, but it's like trading the queen, right? Because if you move the queen, bishop is hanging. So even knight a four, what is the problem? Yeah. 
at least white can try with takes ah spoil the structure, know, structure. Can, got it yeah, and now yes this is uh, yeah this is something somehow playable got it got it got it guys okay 97 nepo let's see if he finds it or not so do you think prag missed yeah. this move that's why he went bishop f5 because even if queen e5 was possible i now think that uh, the whole variation was very difficult to continue with only yeah, to move is to ask money. prag after the game they didn't let me hmm. yeah you were saying something chill up sorry no it's not easy with queen e5 also uh, all these lines queen e5 hmm. this bishop b1 queen b2 it's definitely this is i think this is why prab should read uh, improve your chess calculation <laughs> i'm sure he was He's not read was part of part of making by the way guys improve your chess calculation is a book by his trainer rb ramesh so uh, this is why he says but yeah i mean prab today maybe let's see what happens thank you shrinath for that insight guys. this is what i came to show yeah. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Amazing. Right. You you know, Sagar. And uh, Amrita, so Amrita. Amrita will go now, and then one move will happen again, and then he will be like, "You one minute, one minute." I share something. I doubt Prabhu will. Yes, ninety-seven oh, on man. the board, which means that the no. candidates is the tournament of Nepo. You can't beat him. That's the thing. He's so so good. I can remember. You know, like he just escapes every time. and we we will come back to this position and analyze a bit and i don't know sagar if you have anything there you can check but everybody wants to go to vd's game because they feel that he yes, is please, better please. uh it, guys it's not oh, blunder or bishop anything, b6 but bishop, bishop b6, b6 is no karwana hmm. wanted to stop f4 right because we said f4 f5 so he stopped with bishop d6 vd ah. played what king b1 yes king b1 always works such a after you long castle this move which is called as dash always works a5 prophylactic are <laughs> amruta i know what is the move now i know what is the move i mean i have not seen it yes, but i think it's rook c1 yes it's not 97 has been played we saw that and we are expecting you is it rook c1 yeah rook c1 rook is c1 a good move sir rook c1 is a very yes, good move yes thank you with thank this you. idea thank you i'm oh. actually right there but but hmm. but there must be something better here yes no 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 this is one of the very good moves possible another another idea I, is possible i was thinking i was thinking can we do f3 okay with the idea of d4 d5 eh, but or is it then too slow? i thought you were the spirit is about going f4 at some point if no, you go but f3, spirit bishop bishop d6 has stopped that spirit no abhi no the problem is b5 you don't give me d4. time d4 Ah, but Can then my king on b one is then in the line of the bishop, right? On knight a four. This is just, yeah, yeah. This might be okay. No, Amrita, yep. let's go back. Let's go back. Let's think what Vidit will do. He has forty one minutes only left. I'm a little yeah. bit stressed for his time. Exactly. But what is the move that he will play here? Either he will take on g six or rook c one. So he can also take here, just completely get rid of this bishop, and now yes, what you wanted, yes. Sagar, and then play d4, yeah, d4, exactly. But let's without go. F3. Let's go. Let's go. D4, d5 is the threat. A4, and you can't. And Amruta, think about it. Let's put the pawn back once on a5. Black cannot castle, short castle, because of h4, h5, opening up the cave. Black cannot long castle because he has played his pawn to a5. King has to be in the center, and with it is breaking it with d5. No, but once again, why can't I long castle? Ah, rook c one is a problem. Normally there is a pawn on c two, but in this case, when you go rook c one, this is very powerful. Also, a five is weakened your king. I love this position with it. Why? Let's go knight g six. No, but sir, one more question to you. If you take take okay, uh, knight g six, h g six. Now you've gone d four. And now let's yeah. say I go b five and I continue with the no rook c one rook c no wait 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 Amrita d five play d five break it break it just crush it in the center okay d five looks yeah very don't a4. play b four I will take d take c six ah a nice. four okay I like that b four d six is over yeah that's just terrible so a four a four queen c two okay. And now what will you do? C D. Do you want to play C D? I'm just wanting to. Knight B five. No, but Queen C two check. Ah, okay, King C two. 
still good end game okay maybe maybe i have better move i have better move than knight v5 let me think once again can i go ed 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 play ed oops sorry mouse e, not e5 are mouse <laughs> and no knight d5 no or rook d5 rook d5 rook d5 wins. yeah don't rook actually d5 wins. rook d5 with the other rook coming in so so with it has to play knight g6 and and double either he goes okay. knight g6 and d4 or and d4. he can go sorry, rook c1 sorry. also which is very good i like rook c1 no, more no don't play, don't, because... play. don't play rook c1 why why not it's a nice move now how do you stop because... this more natural okay i was wondering if oh that's a very good point how to stop knight b5 queen you have b8 to move maybe queen or bishop right and if you go back with the queen stopping that now also the same thing takes and d4 with your queen on b and then bring the other rook yeah. to d1 i okay. think he, okay. what he needs to find is which may not be practically i don't know how easy it is because it's not about being easy it's about you have like 10 choices which are very tempting uh, f4 is tempting so after no I... it's not tempting nothing is tempting there is only one choice here amruta f4 is not coming there is a bishop and queen there this is very easy for vidit he should not overthink okay. it come on with it Got you it. can do it and amruta mm. look at who has become our 1100th believer of Je ajinkya i can't read the second name ajinkya kolekar 13 minutes ago ajinkya ji thank you so much Arre, yes. kya baat hai and Amazing. Guys, in this tournament, our aim is to reach twelve hundred believers. But, friends, so support Kijiye. All this money is ATG certified. You will get the ATG certificate. Ajinkya ji, if you have paid this, you have got the certificate. You have also got the uh, donation ka receipt. Everything in your email and whoever has done it. So, guys, please do support. This is all going to Indian talents. Also, the membership here on this channel goes there. Let's go, let's go, Amruta. Yes. Also, the pinned message says if you want to buy the Fide merch, who are here, you know, we are su supporting Fide through this tournament. We are covering here, and they they have a shop. If you want to buy something there, then that is a pinned message there. Oh, use Chessbase for ten percent off. Badia, badia. Hundred years of Fide ho gaya. Nineteen twenty-four to two thousand twenty-four. Okay, Amruta. Let's go to the next game very yes. quickly. Gukesh's game because over be, there. Be, before A4, you say A3. something, Sagar, one question, one thing. We have a super chat. COD says just joining the stream. Kya professional layout hai? Very disappointing. <laughs> We want a jugad layout back with the prison bars and all. <laughs> That's what he says. Friends, तो देखो मेरा कैमरा तो थोड़ा जुगाड़ू ही है. देखो मैं आधा ही दिख रहा हूँ. ये नहीं. वो चल रहा है ना. तू बैठे नहीं हो ठीक से. It's your problem. No, no. I'm just saying. Ha, huh, really, it's your problem. Okay, but uh, apart from that, there was something else. Agar one second, we uh, got again. We got a new member, King of Sun. He say he says, "Good luck for Prag. I wish him to win today." Then we got Vikun Chandra, who also becomes a new booster of Indian chess. We have Rakshit Singh. Do you think Knight G5 was a better try than Knight H4? It's Knight H4, Knight H6, Knight E6. Ah, it's so that was I think us game ke related. In vidit game, vidit game, vidit ha, game. Ah, and Gurjot sa says Sagar bhai, aaj khana lau. Us din bhi ham mile the. Gurjot ji, ye idhar Asim mere ko itna khila raha hai. Pehle dekho wo Tim Hortons ka coffee leke aaya. Ab bhi wo king size pizza leke aaya. Arey Asim, he doesn't drink coffee. Her, you make sure that when he comes back, her his weight is less. He he brought Amrutha. He brought Oha for me. So right now, guys, मेरा लंच डिनर कल का ब्रेकफास्ट सब कुछ सॉर्ट हो गया है तो एक दिन के लिए कुछ टेंशन ये क्या एंगल है सब पूछ रहे हैं <laughs> नीचे बैठो कैसा है एंगल वियर एंगल मेंबरशिप So we have got today more than thirty, forty members. You know, it's amazing. Wow, wow, so that is good. epic. And also, Amrita, we are moving to one million fifty five lakh twenty seven thousand. What? Subscribers. Ah, and Sagar Shah has sent hundred rupees, but I believe not you because your GPA is not working from there, so it can't be you, to, Sagar. Shah. By the way, one more person yes, sent because it's eleven zero two. That is. Oh, you remember the number? You're very smart. Another Mohil yeah. Khare. Mohil Khare also contributed. Hundred. Mohil Ji, thank you. We are ninety-eight away from reaching twelve hundred believers. Yeah, but and Amruta, 
सी थ्री खेला है कुकेश ने ही हैज काइंड ऑफ लॉकड अप हिज पॉन्स ऑन द क्वीन साइड बट ही इज टेलिंग निजात दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक बिशप टेक्स ई फोर डी टेक्स ई फोर रुक टेक्स ई फोर Can you make the move? Let's say for yes, example, yes, I will make the five. move because Vibha says Sagar looks like he was on the pot, but accidentally switched on the cam. Vibha said, "Yeah, in the chat." <laughs> Vibha, why? Vibha, why? Amrita, someday if Vibha is free, please call him. Yeah, it would be someday? epic to have right him. Now? Vibha, why? Are you free right now? नहीं नहीं पता नहीं हाँ यू कैन सेंड बट वाइबो वाइबो वेन एवर योर टाइम थोड़ी देर आ जाना कैंडिडेट साथ में देखेंगे मजा आ जाएगा ठीक है सी थ्री बी फाइव इफ बी फाइव बिशप टेक्स ई फोर डी टेक्स ई फोर रुक टेक्स ई फोर देर इज बिशप एच थ्री दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम एंड देन एच थ्री नाइट इज लूज सो ही कैन नॉट डू दिस इंस्टेंटली नीजा नीजा तपासो इज अ वेरी ट्रिकी गाय एंड अमृता If you remember, Nijat is not health-wise very okay. His knee is under problem, right? He he fell down, and here he is, but making sure that he is not the weakest link in the tournament. He has three draws out of four, so for Gukesh to beat him from this position is not going to be easy. He has to be patient, not hurry. I completely. Bhai, kuch samne to bol kuch. Kya kar rahi hai? Commentary kar rahi hai ki kya kar rahi hai? I just felt like. Main idhar itna energy se baat kar raha hu. After meeting Andrea Bocelli, I'm like inspired and all. But no, you are like. Don't listen to me. I just felt like I just lost when you said. Uske knee ko kuch hua hai. So I felt like uh, you can tell him kuch nahi hua hai. Karke. So. <laughs> you didn't get. Guys, Amrita is crazy. Let's not listen to her because let's go to Prag versus Nepal. No, it's amazing analysis. Bishop H three Gukesh will be careful. Amruta, let's tricks. go to Prag versus Nepal game quickly. Oh, Prag versus Nepal. We have to quickly so, see. After night B seven, can you can you go to night B seven? Night B seven. Let's just wait. Let's okay. show the people that if you take the knight, the bishop is hanging. So therefore, he took the queen. Hmm. He took the queen. By the way, someone seems to be coming here. Some players not yet. Knight takes, knight takes, and now the bishop is hanging on f5. So Prag goes g4, and guys, Pragna Nanda is essentially saying that my bishop is superior to your knight to Nepo. Nepo plays his knight to c4 and says my knight is also very good, attacking the bishop, attacking the rook. Uh, this kind of ending game should be game. okay for Nepo to defend, right? After all the situation, which was very tough, he had to get out from. But he has know, thirty-two minutes and only twelve moves, so another advantage. But where... I definitely think Amrutha Prag has some chances also because the Black King is bit weak. You see, he's kind of boxed in, and the Bishop is taking away his flight square. Absolutely, but you see, Asim says Rook D seven, Rook on the seventh rank, which is so yes, natural. Bye, and Asim, if you go Rook D seven, there is go. a problem, guys. Can you find a problem? Knight e five. Yeah, the knight goes to e five. Attacks here. Knight f three check incoming, and then knight is going to attack this bishop. So uh, you can't just go rook d seven there, but uh, you will have to keep finding the best place for the rook. Also, you know the engine okay. says go rook okay, d four. Okay, Amrita. Hmm. You have to leave. Then let me know. No problem. I am. I'm I'm kind of feeling that this position might get to equality very soon. Yeah. Uh, oh, and we have a new believer. How many believers, Amruta? Can you see? Eleven zero. Ah, Samay Raina is the I'm believer. Finally, you, finally, you, finally, you believe, finally you believe, ah, and finally you are here. Biryani, biryani, khake. Hmm. I no, I will eat now. I will start. I will say I promise that I will come. I will come for eating. Hmm. Very good, very good, very good. प्रज्ञा नंदा ने तो बढ़िया खेला भाई कितने oh, yes, we had, we, अरे बाप रे वी गॉट वेरी मेनी बैक टू बैक ऐसे क्या क्या हुआ क्या हुआ क्या हुआ रविंद्र सोमाना कुलविंदर सिंह गोकु अनिकेत वाघ वरुण कुमार क्या 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 अरे भाई ये सब लोग ने कंट्रीब्यूट किया है हेल्प चेस के लिए ये सब अरे लेट्स गो भाई By the way, did I tell you or did I not tell you that I started the Ambani Open membership again? Seven thousand every month who are donates everything goes to Chess Base India's help chess. What? क्या बात कर रहे हो भाई? Yes sir. अभी तो announce उतना किया नहीं मैंने करता हूँ मैं announce अच्छा. समय सोच लो you will need to prepare well for COB later. You have to be Tracy preparation coaches everything seconds is all expensive chess. 
That's okay, bro. You are the I talent. Help me, please support me. Wait, wait, wait. Paisa banana, so I'm going that way. Wait, paisa banana. Because I'm not going to do this with you. Stop, bro. Stop. 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 रियल वाला है या बेवफा है पता नहीं बट समय रायना तो है कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर तो है तो ये यहाँ पे डायरेक्टली अपडेट नहीं होता है क्या ग्यारह सौ दस ही दिखा रहा है अभी भी रविन ओ इलेवन फोर्टीन वाओ आई थॉट इट विजेट यूज्ड टू अपडेट ऑन इट सो मच राइट नो आई हैव टू क्लिक देयर वंस जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द विंडोज देन इट्स नॉट अ विजेट या देन इट्स मोर लाइक अ विंडोज थिंग ओके एनीवे मे वी कैन फिक्स इट लेटर बट इलेवन वी And Amruta, yeah. Amruta, can we quickly go and check the game of Vidit because Vidit is not making his move. What is wrong with Vidit? He's made, he's made or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. He played knight g6, g6. Everything has happened. What you said? D4 Aray, Amruta, on the board. You should be very happy. Are you live board? Why not update? No. Live board is not update. No. What? Where? 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 अच्छा वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड ऐसे किसे ब्राउजर बेस्ड आई डेड इट रक्षित ने बोला कि देखना नहीं पड़ेगा तो फिर मूव नहीं हुआ रहेंगे ये अरे हुआ है ये गेम में दिस इज हैपेंड ओके सो इज दैट इज दिस इज दिस व्हाट हैज हैपेंड ऑलरेडी आर यू श्योर बाय द वे नवीन श्रीनिवास श्रीवास्तव जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग 101 एंड एज अ बिलीवर ऑफ हेल्प चेस बिलीवर ऑफ इंडियन चेस थैंक यू सो मच And guys, Vidit Gujarati is breaking in the center. If you have just joined in, he's playing Fabiano Caruana with the white pieces. He has long castled. He has his pawns in the center. He wants to push d5. White black king is in the center. Very confused. Should he go short castle? Should he go long castle? Should he keep himself in the center? I don't know what is going to happen next. But very very interesting game by Vidit Bai. Let's go. And rook d5 and played the... by Prag. He, the best move, which I don't really know, it may not even matter. The computer also may not understand. Rook d4. No, no. The the the, the reason be, I was just analyzing it on that one. That okay. the point is that you want to play rook d7, right? Yeah. Instead of instead of rook d4. Instead of rook d5, rook d4, rook d7. Yeah, I mean, then you can't play. Uh, no, you can't play. 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 याद तो रह रहा है तेरे को चलो Guys, go check out Tania and who is she commentating with? Naro did see and Peter Leko. Unfortunately, Achha, Sahil Chess India. India. Chess, Achha, uh, 24 India. India. Chess, twenty four India. वहाँ पे face cam भी है भाई सबके. भाई चेस. तो वहाँ पे भाई प्रणाम दे ये सब कर रहा है भाई वहाँ पे ऐसे करके ना कुछ जवाब आ रहा था एकदम crazy मतलब एकदम chill में खेल रहा हूँ. I don't know why I missed that Queen E four भाई. No, it was very difficult. No, actually, Shrinath showed. Queen E four, Queen A two. A two, ha. He didn't and like that. And then Queen F seven. Mm hmm. Queen F seven, exactly, exactly. Samay ki memory. Badiya, badiya. But Guys, can we can we very quickly check Gukesh's game? By the way, we have eleven hundred and eighteen members now. Uh, sorry, ah, believe us. Arvin, thank you, Arvin. Hi, Samay, bhai. What do we feel about this well, position? Three. मुझे डर लग रहा है थोड़ा गुकेश गुकेश के लिए डर लग रहा है बिकॉज़ टुडे गुके अभिजीत मिश्रा जी थैंक यू फॉर सपोर्टिंग बिकॉज़ गुकेश डज नॉट सीम टू हैव लाइक एनी रियल प्ले है सी4 ब्रेक इज द वन ही शुड एम फॉर बट व्हेन मुझे डर लग रहा है गुकेश नहीं डर क्यों होल्ड होल्ड के तो प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है मतलब आई डोंट थिंक अरे मतलब इतना उस पे अटैक आ रहा है ना बिशप बिशप क्वीन में 
Hmm. Yeah, light I think square, already. Yeah, the pawns are on light squares, and he has a light square bishop. Eventually, something will happen. The knight will jump to. Amruta, my question. Yep. What about b4? Oh, b5. Ko knight d4 is there. Ah, can you show it? B five, knight d four, attacking the bishop on f five, pawn on c six. Yeah, but I mean, just putting yeah. pressure there. So. And now, if I go bishop g six, maybe f three. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Nice. F three, knight g three, queen f two. Bishop b three, rook b three. So this knight end game, it can reach. Okay, but oh, maybe bishop d3, oh. queen g3. So that you want knight yeah. versus bishop. Okay, that would be very oh, interesting. Oh, oh. So these ideas are there with Gukesh, though he has to be alert for them. If we go to Pragnananda after rook d5, he stopped knight e5, which looks natural, na, Jada, because knight f3 nahi karna hai. So what happens for rook d8? Hmm. Is it a bad move? Rook d1. I think he'll double. The main thing, Amruta, which you should think here is that if we have rook bishop, in this position versus rook knight, the bishop and rook will coordinate better, and the king side majority will start rolling. King will come up white ka. Black will find it difficult to push his pawn. So Prague does have still some advantage to play for. Why Prague did Jai Basai? Ha, I think it's very difficult. 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 It's that is true. By the way, from our point of view, we have to go to the point of view. So, what do you think? 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 What do the character he has shown against Fabi to really play aggressively uh, and try to fight. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. And and it it may not be the wrong thing to say that Lidit has been the most exciting player of this tournament until now. One win, two losses. He's like he's just going decisive every game. <laughs> With it is so, so, hai. <laughs> bhai, with it bhai, bhai, I hope he will be crazy. Because Fabi doesn't have that. He will castle it. How do I do it? Either do it from here or from here. Correct. And Karuhana se... has been thinking for a long time. No? That's a good part. Bhai. Kitna, kitna oh, 52 minutes. Time. Actually, that's a very good point. Because 1 hour 4 minutes. 12 minutes. Ah, and Amruta, look at our believers. We have 1124, 1125. Oh my AC God, they're all making me mad, but that is an awesome thing. AC, ne pa AC has given 501. Let's will be go, cool. guys. Aditya, Yadav, Pradeep Pai, Karkala, Satyashiv Das, Khamali K, Abhijit Mishra, Dhru Verma, Arvind, Kavita, Bhuven Khatri. Uh, thank God. Thank, thank you. Yes, all the money that you give here goes directly to support the upcoming chess players of India by doing a lot of events, a lot of stuff for them. Keep following the Chess Base India website for the articles. Thank you. And also helpchess.org pay. You get all the updates. And moment you pay in your inbox, you will get the certificate plus the ATG ka jo proof that you have given, which you can get tax benefit. Let's go, bhai. So please, jo bhi Amir log hai, bhai. Don't don't think twice. Help it out. Help us out, bro. Let's go. Sagar by OP. Chess Base India OP. Amruta OP. Mushtaq I have super chat. Sama, you have improved Samar, so much in chess, bro. Bye, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Let's go. No, no, I'll not drink. I'm going to go to the washroom. See you. What's going on? I'm going to go to the washroom. Okay, okay. Go. I was going to keep the camera on. I'm going to keep the washroom. I'm going to keep the washroom. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Today, you was in the college. And it was such a nice scene. I said, I, it was like a park. I was like, Hey, Harsh bhai, Harsh bhai, let's go. Kya smart lag rahe bhai. <laughs> bhai, ye, ye wala stream to ek party. You are muted bhai. Log aa rahe, ja rahe, aa rahe, ja rahe. Where are you? Oh, I, oh. Hello, hello, hello. Smart lag rahe bhai, Harsh bhai. Haan, chikna, sab bol rahe te. Kya effect laga hai aaj? 
अरे कुछ नहीं हेयर कट किया था मैं भाई भाई मेरे को समझ में नहीं आ रहा है आज समय भी चिकना होती है हर चीज भी चिकना होती है मैंने क्यों नहीं किया वो समझ में नहीं आ रहा बता आपने भी किया हो नोस ऑन दैट नोट आई विल लीव बाय बाय गाइस तू जा तू जा रे अरे हर्षद हर्षद भाई हर्षद भाई हाउ वाज योर फर्स्ट राउंड ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट इट्स एक्चुअली टुमारो बिकॉज़ वी आर अ डे बिहाइंड राइट अच्छा कल से है ना भाई हाँ. हर्षित भाई याद रखो जीतना है टूर्नामेंट और इधर इंडियन को जीताना है दोनों करना है आपको यस सागर भाई कैन यू टेल आवर व्यूअर्स व्हिच टूर्नामेंट यू आर गोइंग टू प्ले फ्रॉम टुमारो अम सो एक्चुअली टुमारो माइट बी एक्चुअली जस्ट द इनोग्रेशन सो इट माइट एक्चुअली इट आई थिंक इट स्टार्ट्स ऑन 11th एक्चुअली सो इट इज द स्प्रिंग क्लासिक सेंट लुइस स्प्रिंग क्लासिक आई एम प्लेइंग इन द बी सेक्शन एंड देयर आर एक्चुअली सागर देयर इज एन इंडियन प्लेयर प्लेइंग इन टू इंडियन प्लेयर्स प्लेइंग इन द ए सेक्शन Aryan Chopra, who game you just analyzed against Arjun Irigaisi. By the way, guys, fantastic interview of Arjun. If you didn't see that, and also uh, uh, Leon Mendon, ka another very talented Indian player. So, क्या uh, बात है? Be... क्या बात yeah. है? हर्षित भाई एक ग्रुप में है Leon और Aryan B ग्रुप में हर्षित भाई मजेदार टूर्नामेंट. <laughs> very excited, Sagar Bhai. But let's just. I'm curious. I did not. I was checking a bit, but what is happening in the games today? Harish, there is so Harshid much for you to know. Amruta. Ha. Huh? Amruta, don't tell him everything. No, I'm but not first, telling him anything. Ask him. Ask him this question. Why did Fabiano Caruana give up a pawn on a4 and with it, ne? ऐसे चबा लिया है जैसे कल वो मेरे साथ गया था Mexican food चबाने के लिए. अरे अरे अरे. ऐसे खा लिया है tacos के जैसे. <laughs> A4 pawn. <laughs> oh, uh, I think I think Karuana got little bit worried that Pitit was having all the play to break in the center, and also he's trying his own play on queen be. side. Yes, exactly. Harshit Bhai. Exactly. Uh, can we just see the last few moves? Actually, yes, I, we can. Like, One of the thing, Harshit, has anyone told you this? That you really love this word. One word, which is. क्या ही? No. uh amazing superb no, no every sentence at least twice you will use it yes chat can the chat is guessing that actually in same actually oh, actually. <laughs> actually actually yes sir actually is like actually actually actually, actually maza aa gaya but before we before we yes sagar before we go into the position because you know like there is a sacrifice which happens it gets very interesting craziness aa jata and we don't lose that game right we don't look we don't leave that game some that is happening you know, right now that on a4, everywhere nahi no, not on chess board sagar on chess board super chats and then the memberships and help chess it's going all crazy and, and also yes that was that is what i'm saying if you play a4 and b5 todi na ku modi na ku bhukko kar are 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 and that is what our member that person who has given priyanshu todi right did yeah. i read it correctly priyanshu tuli todi na ko tuli na ko. oh i can't read it so tuli na ko hmm. yeah exactly but sagar guy first of all that those names have to read then abhijit mishra gifted 20 memberships saurabh dhamnaskar yeah, gifted mishra, famous famous bande pata hai na wo जो अजरबैजान में भाईजान है तो पोलैंड में वो ही बंदे है वो अभी भी है वो कहीं ना कहीं सौरभ धमनस्कर हैज गिवन टेन गिफ्ट मेंबरशिप क्राबो हैज गिवन टेन चेस विद इंडिया मेंबरशिप दिव्यांश दागा से आज साइड आई कैम बिट हुआ था क्या Uh, समझा नहीं ओके okay, मुश्ताक ने बोला क्रैब और मेंबर बना बहुत कुछ चल रहा है सागर वी हैव हैड अ लॉट ऑफ सुपर चैट सत्य शिव हैजिंग बीन वॉचिंग यू गाइज फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एटीन दैट इज लाइक सिक्स इयर्स अगो होप आई गेट टू लर्न चेस एंड चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी फ्रॉम सागर भाई समडे चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी को तो देख ही लेंगे हाँ एग्जैक्टली exactly. I think Satya Shivdas, thank you for the super chat. Fast uh, snail says great coverage. Keep up the good work. I like your name, Fast Snail. That's cool. Okay, so <laughs> here we have and COD also becomes a member. So I guess I have learned. I have read all the super chats and Sagar. We have got some new members. Arshad Bhai, just... I'm going yes. to tell you about the Vidit game. Amruta, can you please start from the beginning? I will tell him all about it. Okay. So the game starts off with one e four. It was Sicilian hmm. Rosolimo. Jaldi jaldi karo na. Amrita, what are you doing? It was the Sicilian Rosolimo. Ye khela Bishop G4 pe aaya. 
and then mm-hmm. here vidit bhai thinks for 30 minutes and plays bishop oh, f4 wow. everyone is like okay vidit bhai maybe he will get under time pressure vidit brings his knight out black pawns mm-hmm. get undoubled he has the bishop pair it seems great for black but vidit goes g4 bishop g6 queen b3 bhai wow b3 hi energy fir bishop e3 ab maroge queen se queen pawn marega and a file will get open so he goes back and now mm-hmm. vidit goes for this epic cool oh, long castle wow. 97 king b1 शांति से भाई कभी कभी नहीं पहले नाइट वो बिशप ही वांट्स टू गो एफ एफ फाइव तो फैबी स्टॉप्स इट विद बिशप डी सिक्स फिर विदित भाई खेलता है किंग बी वन एंड नाउ ए फाइव फैबी प्लेस एंड नाउ विद इट टेक्स ऑन जी सिक्स टेक्स एंड प्लेस डी फोर विद द आइडिया ऑफ डी फाइव एंड ये भाई फैबी ने बोला मुझे पॉन देना पड़ेगा इसके लिए वो दे दिया एंड विद इट चॉप्स इट ऑफ नाइट ए But wow. you know, you know, a four is still the best engine move because you you kind of feel suffocated in such a place, right? How much time does he have? I cannot see it clearly. How much time does he have? Thirty four. And or with it thirty four. Thirty. Thirty. Now thirty. Bye, Harshit. Bye. Will you will you go to C five or will you go back to C three? Hmm. That's an important uh, question. That's a good question. A uh, knight C five. I'm guessing black will take. Um, Let's see. Actually, he doesn't even have to take knight c5. He can just go knight b6. That's another question. Um, hmm. While we have two Gujaratis here on our chat, uh, no, on our screen, we have Parth Shah also uh, sending two thousand. Two thousand. Wow! Thank you, Parth, for becoming a believer on helpchess. dot org. Mm-hmm. Yes. Go. Not sure, actually, Amrita. I think I do, I don't think Black should even take on c5. I'm not sure because if you take on c5 with the bishop. um white will take with the d pawn um and the thing is that once the rook comes to d6 the the white's uh, control of the position and the center is going to be extremely hard for black to uh, resist maybe harshin bhai here queen e5 after dc5 bishop c5 yeah, dc5 queen, queen e5 queen yeah that was i was thinking then white has an option of going queen c2 to protect c5 and e4 both um and other of op- Yeah, or another option is to just go f3 as well. The point is that if you took knight c5, Mara, so now I'll go queen c2 on your and like, what will you do now? Badiya, Because badiya. you oh, nice. amazing. Badiya, bhai, badiya, bhai. Guys, GM is for a reason here. Harshit, bhai, doing some great lines. Um, so not so then after so knight c5, nice. what does black do? Yeah, Because, Because black is a pawn down. Yeah. Can't castle right? Like I cannot ever think of a move like castle. Can I? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Amruta, uh, if I manage to exchange those one pair of knights, I think it favors white. Um, in general, uh, trading of that uh, knight on c five. I think that this position should be. I mean, of course, black has compensation because the rook can come to a four, Amruta. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, then other rook comes to a eight, and if you, agar tumne bola ke I'll just go a three, then black will break it with b four. Go so on. this is the compensation right. that black has. um i think amruta we might see in, okay castle is an idea i might i was thinking knight b6 could be interesting too what do you think instead of castle mm, yeah knight, knight b6, b6 interesting yeah, move so that you can get but you know harshit bhai i am very scared some oh, sack is coming on yes. e6 knight e6 oh wow that is a, a cool one queen e6 and then g6 is also falling three g6 four pawns for a piece yeah. would be London insane with center down maza aayega if this happens if abhi we won't allow this i guess uh, even as acha, it is acha acha dosto dosto yeah, i yeah. have one request let's do a quick round up of the men games open games and also look at women board because vaishali and hampi also had good positions so can we please do that okay we'll go we'll go to nepo versus sorry prag versus nepo and after rook d5 rook a8 was played and h3 by prag this seems like I f- I feel if Nepo has reached here, this should end in a draw eventually. Yeah, that the Good critical chances. stage of the game has kind of passed, mm-hmm. and um, I was briefly following the game, and White had huge chances. Uh, so very good preparation. Um, but after that, I think uh, Prague had some very very strong ideas, but obviously they were not easy. I saw this G three mm-hmm. idea mentioned, or uh, um, which was extremely powerful, but. Uh, now I think, uh, guys, this game is kind of uh, steering G3 toward. G three, where Harshit Bhai? G three, do you remember where exactly? Yes, uh, I'm probably. Do- if you go back a few moves, 
Amruta instead of rook d8 yeah. <laughs> because he played at 6 so i was just looking at the main move so uh-huh. uh-huh. oh he played at 6 yeah, mm. this is what has happened on the board yeah he exactly. played at 6 exactly um because i was mentioning if you allow knight g5 let's say you go rook a c8 as i was saying knight g5 queen d7 and now a move like queen g4 might even be too too interesting and the idea is rook to e7 Bye 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 bye. What a move! Amazing, nice. amazing. And the way, the thing is that we take advantage of the pin. So, um, and if h six, there might be, for example, h six now rook e seven might be a strong idea. Perhaps game over, bye. Sure. Game over. Like practically, it's very dangerous. Oh, so queen e seven, queen e seven, mare gao. But queen takes seven. takes queen um should be. Quite dangerous. Ah, ninety six. Oh no, ninety six is a mistake. Oh, queen. Rook f seven. Queen six. Amruta. Queen six. Yeah. Queen six. Because this mm. guy. Oh, but oh yeah, it's not. King h eight. Knight f seven. Yeah, yeah. So h six again. I mean, Nepo is very uh, sorry. Nijat is of course sharp. Uh, he is stop. His prophylax. He is prophylacting against the move knight to g five. Um, and now I'm thinking, would I ever? Queen e five. Queen e five. Bye. 
सेंट्रलाइज करते हैं मस्त नॉट इजी टू यू नो हाउ डू यू कंटिन्यू क्वीन ई5 यू वांट टू गो हां बस बैठ जाते हैं पता नहीं क्या हो रहा है विद द आईडिया ऑफ डी4 लाइक यू वर मेंशनिंग नो डोंट डी4 नाइट डी6 आई थॉट अच्छा नाइट डी6 नाइट डी4 आ ओके सो नाउ दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी वे करेक्ट now but it's not I, coming right I, i would consider this right because something here maybe not sure mm-hmm. i mean the thing is the material is equal and we have very few pieces left on the board so it's going to be like a very patient game where uh it will be decided by the piece activity and how good the pieces are so queen on e so i like white because his pieces are centralized and yeah. white has a advantage can, can i ask okay, you cool. where is the actually the best square the engine says that the queen should go right now um queen d2 yeah it's logical that's, that's also qu- one of the square but queen c2 stopping yeah. rook a8 queen c2 yeah. keeping an eye here next move going with this rook to e5 or this rook also basically keeping that's one true. rook to e5 so okay so, yeah and so the fabi- situation is the following Yeah, this oh, wow. has happened. Yes. It took. Wow. This happened? Yes. Knight c5 happened. Wow. He found the best move with it playing amazing chess. Knight c5. What amazing chess. DC5 marega hi koi bhi. No, no, no. no. C5 khela na. He could have gone knight c3 or sagar. Uh-huh. It is also it, very it. tempting. Got it. To got it. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Mm. Let's quickly analyze this. I want to also look at the women games. Bishop e5. We will look at the women games. Yeah, bishop e5. एंड हर्षित भाई यहां पे क्या खेलेंगे अपन मुझे लग रहा है अम आई वांट टू समहाउ गेट दिस f4 मूव इन बट द थिंग इज सागर भाई इफ आई मूव द h1 रुक द h3 पॉन इज अंडर अटैक सो इट द रुक इट काइंड ऑफ इज डूइंग अ वेरी गुड जॉब ऑफ प्रिवेंटिंग द रुक फ्रॉम h1 टू डेवलप सो नाउ आई थिंक शुड बी देयर यहां पे मतलब ऐसे हम सो गाइस एक सेकंड दे दो वन वन आई बिशप d4 Sagar, because then I'm one minute. Bishop. I need to get up. Is that okay? You can without without the arrows. Yeah, yes. Sure. Is Bishop D four a good move, Amrita? Bishop. She is coming back. So. No, not yeah. a good move. There are better. Okay, ideas. let's go back. Three ah, you can go and come. Okay, Amrita will come back. Uh, actually, Sagar, bhai, um, hmm. how is it there? Tell us a little bit about the atmosphere there, because obviously. Hi, today I told. Uh, the chat before you came i said that today there was a famous musician called andrea bocelli who came here and wow. it was so amazing for him you can google about him he is one of the most famous tenors in music which means uske jo high notes rehte hai wo itne high rehte hai matlab he is one of the best and he is known as jo pop pop artists rehte hai na jaise jo contemporary music banate hai and like sort of uh, modern music aise he is like that for classical music he has made that popular across the world millions of copies sold ye ho so that guy loves chess andrea bocelli and he is visually impaired wo dekh nahi sakte oh Vidhi my god wow so amazing guy so he set the tone for today's round matlab bahut aise ekdam atmosphere aise ekdam positive and um, after that i saw you know with it today being very very motivated prag and gukesh all of them i mean the entire atmosphere in the hall is that of everyone coming with so much of determination because this means so much to everyone maza aata hai yaar dekhne ko matlab excellence hai ye room ke andar if you enter the room you see like 16 individuals all working hard disciplined for months it's an amazing place to be wow no i mean as you mentioned like to be in the same room as people who are so good in their respective fields sagar bhai kya hi maza aata hoga bahut zyada bahut zyada by the way uh, did fabi yeah. fabi play bishop e7 hmm. wow that's because after bishop e5 sagar bhai i was going to propose this interesting idea of pushing the h pawn h4 good, h5 good idea. that's a good idea good job harshit bhai harshit bhai amazing and other idea so was to bishop go to bishop e7 that has been stopped but bishop e7 he stops that yeah how about nah. going f4 now true exactly exactly and how does black find out player rook e4 yes oh rook e4 but rook e4 e5 yes and then uh, 
the thing is the d5 square becomes find slightly move, weak find a good move g5 g5 tagar bhai bye 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 fabiano karua na ise thodi na haar manega so so guys th- here we can say uh, vidyat is doing well let's go to humpy's game can we quickly see humpy's game no that w- that was equal earlier but srinath did bet on humpy actually betting is allowed <laughs> <laughs> yeah without money yes. isn't humpy humpy up on up right now no no hg5 bishop c5 okay equal material mm. but some initiative no for white yeah actually um the p- material is equal bishop g5 the black skin is slightly weak but sagar bhai i yeah because black knight being active on c4 you cannot really make a move like bishop f6 because it allows a disco not disco check but a fork on e3 and uh, kind of having a devastating effect b3 b3 um b3 okay. i think it gives black time to go maybe even knight B two actually, but okay. Uh, ah, might be two rupee seven. Uh huh. And you invade. So B three actually very interesting idea, Sagar. Maybe I have to go to A three, but or knight B six actually, mm. or knight B six. That's the key idea to centralize and stop rook D seven. Okay, maybe Humpy still has some chances here because of the activity. Let's go to Vaishali's game. Yeah. Vaishali is worse. Wow, Korea China. No, I mean, how is Anna, she works? Anna, oh, I I understand. Oh, yeah, Anna Mujicu. I think the biggest problem for Vaishali is Rook is coming to B six in that live position. Yeah, yeah exactly. Is. Sagar, very well said that there is Rook A six, Rook B six idea bringing the Rook into the game. And also, I would like to mention this Bishop on G three is usually considered to be a very good piece when your opponent's pawns are on the same square uh, colored. Square as your bishop, but in this case, black has such a strong blockade. Mm. Black has nice pawn chain that the bishop on g3 kind of becomes uh, not very uh, active, and it's kind of Actually, looking toward. Why? why can't I play d5 here? D5, is very good. Um, Because now, I if think... the knight goes back, I play bishop f2, improving my bishop and also stopping rook b6. Yeah, um, one thing I would be worried about Sagar Bhai is this break that you allow pawn to f five now because you no longer have, uh, मतलब e five pawn पे कुछ pressure तो अभी f five break आ सकता है and then mm. um you can expand with f four or you can even break with g four you know like old school like yeah True. but you True. know you know what also, for d five a good four. move would be knight yeah because I thought you don't yes. want to exchange but then this no is... because after take it's not about what Goes out of the board, but it's about what remains. So after, let's say, G F E F, whatever. Now, Rook B six is a big threat. True. And actually, I would like to mention, Amruta, before you took on F four with the G pawn. Um, whenever guys, you have an option between taking on a piece with two pawns. Usually, usually, you should always capture towards the center, so that uh, your because in chess, center is very important. So in this case, mm-hmm. we take on towards the center, and also it opens up the G file um, for a rook, so the rook can invade through uh, right. rook G and uh, have this file. Also, if we take E F four, then the white knight jumps to D four and E six, which is not a very good thing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Harshit Bhai, this means that in women, Hampi may be equal, Vaishali slightly yeah. worse. Mm-hmm. But let's go back to the men. And Amrita, I will do a final round Ooh. up and then take your leave. What is it? H four. Who? We it... still went for H yeah. four because yeah. if Bishop H four would be guys a big blunder. One pin... minute, yeah. minute. Oh, Bishop. The pin is not there, right? Oh. But Rook H four. If Rook H four, Rook H four. Oh. Bishop H four and G five. The door is open. Sir, do no, no. Lock is <laughs> locked. Because 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 you could also go Rook H one, right? You could go Rook H one. Isn't that also a possible move? Because exactly. if G five, Bishop G five. Very nice. Sagar, mm. very alert. Oh dear. Yeah. Yes, I am in good form, boy. I am very inspired today by Vidhi. Everyone. Okay, so. 
So mm. H four, what does black do? Maybe Rukhe four still. Vidit is coming H five. Vidit is coming H five. Can we not no, do Rukhe four? Uh, Harshit five. Same... If you play Rukhe four F three, F three. Oh, but then Queen G three, ah? Kuch raha hai apn dar. Maybe some in. But Queen G three, I would be afraid of Queen G three if you make it on the board, Amruta. I think White has a very interesting idea here, mm. guys. Can you find? I'm not wrong. Yeah, bhai. Bishop G five kill me. Okay, yeah. Queen D three mm-hmm. actually. Ah, I was also looking at oh. the idea of Queen D seven. But to uh, ah, get to bhai. escape out of it, Black has won. <laughs> Castles. Yeah. पण किंग साइड में वाय गयो तो पछि h5 ती अटॅक आवी जासे जोरो मा h5 h5 तोडी राखो तोडी राखो लेट्स ब्रेक इट ओ रुके मोर ऑन द बोर्ड इट्स हॅपन ऑन द बोर्ड लेट्स सी व्हाट ओके विल विल प्ले या यू हॅव टू गो डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक विथ इट विल प्ले h5 h5 लीव द e4 पॉइंट भाड में गया h5 के लो h5 रुकी 4 यू कैन अलाउ द g6 g6 एंड दिस वर्क दिस इज वीक क्या खेलेंगे भाई हर्षित भाई यहाँ पे हर्षित Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but you can D3 play D3 other D4? options also, which Bishop D four H six ideas, but Queen D three attacking this. Where Rook do you go? Rook A four. Rook A four. Yeah, and now Bishop D four attack this. What do you do? E seven pawn, boy. G seven pawn. We will win. If you go E five, then it's over. Wait. It's completely over. Check. Guys, Vidit Bhai is today inspired. No, you. I think he will give up the e pawn. क्या लग रहा है अच्छी बात है. If he plays H five, it would be epic. Twenty three minutes. Oh wow. Twenty three minutes for how many moves? I'm Ruta. Can you remind us? Mm. Wow. So again, Sagar Bhai, I'm just slightly mm. afraid of the time management, Sagar Bhai. Bhai slight क्या है? Slight क्या है? Bhai, very, very बोलो, very. अरे सागर भाई मैं थोड़ा मॉडेस्ट हो रहा था क्योंकि वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट गेम सागर भाई कि कितना भी अच्छा पोजीशन रहा इफ यू गेट डाउन टू लेस देन 10 मिनट्स द थिंग इज दैट यू हैव टू आल्सो मेक श्योर दैट यू डोंट लूज ऑन टाइम बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो एज़ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड क्वाइट अ फ्यू टाइम्स नाउ ट्रू 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 एब्सोल्युटली राइट एब्सोल्युटली एंड आई थिंक विद इट रियली नीड्स टू स्पीड अप बट व्हेन ही विल स्पीड अप ही माइट लूज हिज एडवांटेज सो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी इजी एट ऑल सो Before I leave, yeah. let me just say that Vidit is in a great position. Gukesh seems to be pressing. Prak most likely draw against Nepo. Goriach ke na humpi draw, and Vaishali may be in trouble against Anna Muzi Chuk. So very intense day. All games going on, no draws yet, nothing. No draws. And Amruta, we have we have had already forty believers today. Forty believers and maybe in the maybe more. And Sagar super chat Bindu from Can has super chatted Canadian dollars. So maybe Bindu comes to the <laughs> venue. I don't know. Thank you so much, Bindu Rakesh. Bindu ji, please come here. Yeah, Rakesh Chongtham has become the backer of Indian chess. Kazim Kayum has uh, super chatted. Dhruv has become Thank the you, newest Kazim, member. Just a Dhruv, famous guy, bhai. Sagar. पुराने लोग आ रहे थे सोचा मैं भी आ जाऊ हेलो सागर भाई क्या बात है क्या बात है जस्ट फेमस गाय एंड अमृता हाउ मेनी बिलीवर्स राइट नाउ एंड वन सेकंड क्राबो गिफ्टेड 20 मेंबरशिप्स अगेन ओ माय गुडनेस दिस ओके बिलीवर्स आई विल टेल यू हाउ मेनी इन द अशिल भाई आई वांट टू जस्ट टेल यू दैट आवर मेंबरशिप जो है ऑन चेस बेस इंडिया हुएवर बिकम्स अ मेंबर ऑफ एनी टियर Whatever money we get is going into this program where we sponsor laptops for young talents. This time we gave away fourteen laptops to fourteen young talents, and help chess me jo paisa raise hota hai that goes also to all the young talents. So this stream is actually raising a lot of funds for Indian chess. Good thing you said that my laptop just stopped working. <laughs> You have to apply and form the link. Young talent, young talent, yeah. Young link, yeah. Shit is not yet, Sagar. Like this, 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 this,
Oh my God! But Sagar, uh, one more. Uh, let me just quickly read the help chest names. Abhijit Mishra uh, over there also he helped. Yashwan, Deepak Gajwal, Deepesh Diksham, Gurjot Singh again, Bhaskar Buda Koti, Shailesh Singh, uh, Abhinav Kumar, Swanand Koparadekar, Priyanshu Tuli, Parth Shah, Nyaneshwar Vaichal, Krabo. Here also Atul Dev. Mahesh Kotapalli, these people have, uh, you know, been thank you guys. Uh, this thing. Thank you so much. So basically, all the people who contribute to YouTube membership, that money goes to the laptop fund. All those who contribute to Help Chess, it goes to our Help Chess memberships where we help a lot of talents. The own, I would say, the big advantage of Help Chess is that you get tax benefits there, ATG certificate because we are a registered charitable yeah. trust, and also all the money gets to us. While when you give on YouTube, when you become members, yeah. of course YouTube takes because foreigners can become because only through memberships. So right, yes, now, as of but now, just so, so that, that is... people know. Correct. Okay. And and final final leaders. ones. Agar Nikhil says Andrea Bocelli also performed in the final match of the season when Leicester City won the Premier League, shocking everyone. Such a great voice. Hi, Andrea Bocelli. I'm just going to now go and listen to his music and uh, do some work. I yeah. am really inspired. Tomorrow he's performing here in Toronto, and he. I'm so so thrilled. He loves chess. मतलब सोचो ना भाई मतलब one of the best singers, musicians of all time loves chess. और क्या चाहिए अपने को? No, and Sagar, yeah. people are not like while you're going, people are not letting you leave. Nimesh, pillar of Indian chess. The OGs are back. Great to see. That's what he says. And Arvind Pandit says from London with love. My girlfriend and I love playing chess. Gotham and you are our favorite streamers. अरे क्या बात है एटलीस्ट देखो ना इधर इधर आ जाओ इधर भी लंदन है बाजू में दो घंटे पे पता है हमको तो कनाडा के अंदर लंदन है मेरे को ये पता ही नहीं था एंड दिस इज सो नॉट फेयर फॉर ज्योग्राफी लाइक इट्स आई नो आई नो इट्स लाइक लंदन एक जन आके बोला आई एम फ्रॉम लंदन मैं बोला भाई इतना फ्लाइट लेके आए बोले नहीं नहीं हम तो इधर ही बाजू में से आए मैं बोला क्या बोल रहे हो ओह माय गॉड दैट इज सो फनी बाय द वे गुक्की भाई ने क्विंसी 2 खेल के ही इज पुटिंग प्रेशर ऑन द ए4 पॉन Gukesh playing like an engine. What he found Queen C two. This is something yep. I did not expect. And Queen D seven. Arshid bhai. Bye. Arshid bhai, main nikalta hu. Okay. Thank you so much for being there. Tu si na jao sagar. Tu si na jao. Na jao. Na jao. Itna zee kisliye? Travel with Nikhil Roshan. Thank you so much for becoming a help chess believer. Oh ho. Yes. And Sagar bhai, before you go, what can we do another round? <laughs> <laughs> bhai harshit oh bhai vidit played bishop d4 let's go he's oh. not played he's not given up his e4 pawn hmm, and now he is maybe keeping h5 in hand but what happens but i think now now e5 oh e5 e5 oh question to the chat guys white to player let me quickly Get your brain yeah, rolling. Yeah, I'm psycho. I don't know. If you oh, all remember, the one of the team in Sicilian, Sicilian uh, Queenie one one line Bishop E two. Who wale me aata hai sa? Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! What a move! What a move! Abrutta, bhai, kya hi hint de rahi hai? Haan, hint acha hai. Oh, okay. Badia, yeah, badia. Yeah, yeah. Queen G three. Well done, guys. Have found it. Brilliant, bhai. Brilliant. ये विदित ने देखा है भाई हर्षित uh, भाई विदित यूजिंग हिज टाइम टू कैलकुलेट ऐसे ही नहीं टाइम डाल रहे हो ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स सागर भाई दिस गाइस आर दिस गाइस नो द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ एवरी मिनट दे कैन नॉट इवन थिंक कि एनीथिंग एल्स आर बिसाइड्स चेस दे आर ईटिंग स्लीपिंग चेस यू नो यस्टरडे आई वेंट विद फॉर डिनर विद विदित सो व्हेन आई वाज व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड He put a timer on his watch. मैं बोला क्या विदित भाई timer क्यों लगाया? बोलते अभी मैं steps count करूँगा और कितना time लगता है? इतना ही time है मेरे पास खाना खाने के लिए. मतलब भाई क्या focus है full. Unbelievable. And Sagar, right now gamer plead in the chat. He has gifted twenty chess with India membership. Gamer plead bye. Thank you. Thank you. Gamer fleet, I guys, I must tell you, Gamer fleet. Again today, I got inspired because Gamer fleet was there today morning when we streamed with him. I must tell you that he is such an amazing, amazing person because he has six channels, and all wow. of them have more than a million 
subscribers and all of this he has achieved in 3 years 3 to 4 years oh. this just shows he's worked around the clock and become this amazing one of the biggest youtubers of our country yeah because sir one wow. channel is like one kid in a way and six channels oh my god how does he handle <laughs> maybe anish giri can say us ke teen to hai at least oh my goodness i'm crazy but what is amu amu i don't know that even you have even you have quite a few kids in that sense chess with india clips chess with india hindi gujarati bhi aavi kuch hai have bhai bhai clips channel is still 2 months into pregnancy yeah only 60k yeah. <laughs> but what is amu amu guys What is Vamu? Vamu is his cry, Amruta. Like whenever he streams, he goes for like all the chat goes Vamu, Vamu. So that's like you know his cry. Like wherever oh. he comes, everyone goes Vamu. Oh, amazing! But thank so you. So today he made a you. made a bet with uh, hmm. Samai that if he loses some bet, he will have to get Vamu tattooed somewhere on his body. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Samai is dangerous. Samai के साथ कभी ये नहीं लेने का. Thank you, Gamer Kid. Bye. And yes, Harshit Bhai. Harshit Bhai. If I... Before I leave, before I leave, yeah. your thoughts on the game of Nakamura and Ali Reza? Because oh. this game between two amazing players is getting intense, and Hikaru seems to be like putting pressure. Ki kya? Wow. I mean, I'm just trying to understand the position, but it looks as if both these players kind of realize the importance of getting back into this tournament. both of them are on minus 1 and sagar bhai the rounds are going by so quickly so uh, hikaru is like okay guys you guys think that i'm a streamer and not really you know performing the best but look i still have that attacking and dynamic spirit in me and look at his pieces right now is completely uh, has uh, taken over the white position but it's it remains to be uh, a position where black has gotten the opportunity to play for the win because sagar bhai black se jitna aasan nahi yaar ye players ke sath true 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 and i think this is going to be a very very nice game for hikaru because he has the initiative uske pieces dekho knight bishop everything is well placed you know guys i really don't want to leave the stream because there is so much action happening but i will have to go and i will join back later yeah. thank you all wait before you go if i played, if I played. Oh, what? Amrutha, is it a mistake? But they, yes, they, yeah. only. But if with it doesn't find Queen G three, then uh, Karuna has. Or he will play like, Queen G three. Uh, guys, or he will play Queen G three. This person because your Queen G three. Come on. Oh, but no. But if Karuna missed, so this is what we are seeing, right? If somebody is missing, then other player is also missing it. No, 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 see, no, queen, no, no, no. If you play, if you play Bishop E three back, then Rook E four is a free pawn, and not just that, G four is being played. So clearly, Oi. Vidit can't do that. Oh. Come on, so guys, queen G three. Hey, Vamu, hi, Vamu. Vamu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as gamer played, joined here. Bhai, this time, Amrutha. This time, I think whenever Vidit is doing well, we will go Vamu because you know Gamer Fleet has been following his yeah, games here. Yeah, call Gamer Fleet. I don't have his uh, number. Some day, I got to call him. Give us one more definitely. Yeah. But uh, Vamu is uh, is uh, Gamer Fleet's call, and Vamos in Spanish means let's go. So like oh, Vamu. Oh, yes. Vamu. That's amazing. That's cool. How do you know Spanish, Harsh? Dosto, dosto. दोस्तों, आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन बिफोर हर्षित टेल्स स्पेनिश हिस्ट्री एफ सिक्स अगर एफ सिक्स अगर खेला इधर स्टॉपिंग डिफेंडिंग दैट पॉन ऑन ई फाइव फिर क्या करेंगे जी फाइव हल्ला बोल भाई भाई हर्षित भाई रुकने का कोई नाम यार हर्षित तो विल बी प्लेइंग अ टूर्नामेंट हर्षित विल यू गेम्स क्लैश विद कैंडिडेट्स टाइमिंग और द गेम्स टाइमिंग्स विल बी डिफरेंट Uh, it will be exactly almost the same timing as candidate so we will also so, have beach beach mein sab theek hai harshit bhai agar aap tournament jeete nahi na agar aap tournament jeete nahi na bhai to hum log to aapko ye karenge kya bolte hai aane nahi denge theek hai so you have are, to win you <laughs> have to win harshit pe pressure harshit pe pressure but g5 is amazing so g6 is also weak but my question to you guys is even if i get the e5 pawn okay why why, why is the worry because this is going to be hanging and this is going to be hanging so for queen g3 i ignore and let's say castle now what are mm -hmm. you going to do bishop takes c5 
or i mean i can even still go h5 sagar bhai i can just say acha you also have h5 बट अमृत आई वो सेम की इफ यू गो कैसल there might be a intermediate h5 move actually ah okay here because a pin still exists and you don't care you will go h5 because now if yeah, you go queen a5 very dangerous yes i might uh, have some sort of tricks already like at yeah. g6 and now if you take rook a2 guys white to play <laughs> of course good question white to play I am not even deleting the moves earlier. Sixteen people are answered the top move, guys. We want more people, hundred people, and with it for the win. That's what the chat is already saying that. But chat, right now, time pressure is definitely a factor. So let's wait a bit. I'll just put my phone on charging. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Zoom. Ooh, I'm getting the answers. Let me just show you all how many people have found the answer. Seventy-five already. क्या बात है? अभिमन्यु गौतम, नायतिक, बेरारिया, वसीफुद्दीन, अरविंद, संस्कार, प्रफुल, मिस्टर शार्क एंड प्रणय. Too good. We have got eighty-eight answers, and I'm sure it will reach hundred. So मजा आ गया. So that's the point. Rook a chat. Super tactic here. And give any check and. Oops, sorry. Oh, not, not that check. one. Arey, arey, arey. 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 Arey, Maybe just a three. Oh no, a three rook into d four is hanging. Sorry, so I have to, I guess, take on e five now. Which by? With the queen. Okay, and now if I take on a two, then I can have few options. One is queen takes g seven. Another one is, um, okay, queen g seven. I guess is the best if rook f eight. It's complicated, Amruta, but I think that White should have the upper hand because Black's king is still in the center, and even if our king is weak, after Rook A1 check, King C2, Black does not really have any clear uh, continuation. But you know, like at this point, let's see. Let's just try a few moves, Harshit. Okay, I will do the engine moves. You will play with the Black. It's uh, like with your brain. <laughs> What are you? How you? No, sorry. I will play with Black. You will play with White. Rook F8. How do you continue here? You you love to put me on the spot, uh. But okay, queen e five perhaps is my intuition. You wanna go queen e five? What's your idea, though? Oh, I queen. just wanted to skip, pin the pin the king back, but the engine says that it's a little slow. Because of one, actually, there's a very good move for black. This is one idea which with it should be careful about black's idea. This move, guys, black to play over here. Not an easy move. Oh, Can you find oh. it? Harshit, you found it already. Yeah. Wow, that's fast. Oh, we have some um, some more. Uh, Arkupal Gupta has gifted ten Chess Biz India memberships. Thank you so much, Arkupal and Kamlesh also. Sagar Bhai Toronto may meet up. Kab and kaha hai? Hone wala hai. There will be a meet up, guys, and you will be informed. So stay alert when it will happen. Okay, but uh, the move is. Let me just show few people because it was tough, so we couldn't get as many answers for sure. But Queen A four, Ajay Raj Parin, well done. That is the move. You threaten a checkmate with Rook A one. So uh, yeah, I think this is the move to take care of, and that is the reason White's move here can be like the good move, which I don't know. It it's not so easy to make, but. No, not B three again. 
because I believe three queen three, three, yeah. will be a problem. Mm -hmm. But to run away, king c two. Wow. And this one is a very hard move. Of course, there are other possibilities, so that is good. But this move, imagine you give a check here. And your king is running, and it reminds me—I don't know—against uh, Ali Reza in Tata Steel, Vidit played such a. There was a sack knight c2, king c2, and he has played king c2, king d3, and uh, maneuvered his king. So he's not really afraid of such things, which he has already mm -hmm. played. But still, he will have to use a lot of time for such ideas. Instead of king c2, maybe anything natural, anything else which is more natural to you, Harshit, because there it's not like the only move, but it's. Really a good. Move. I mean, actually, instead of queen g seven, is there any other idea ah, for white? Ah, because here queen? once you take, you already enter into something like this. So yeah. Oh, mm. Satya Swapnaish Dash. By the way, thank you for becoming a believer, and I'll read later other names as well. But instead of queen g seven, there is uh there is another move, king c two here. But apart from that, if I have to tell you what the engine says as a sim more realistic move, bishop Chup c3. C3. Yeah. yeah. Because now queen a4 runs into guys. What's the move? White to play. Ah. Oh, cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, Gukesh's game move? also going very oh, crazy. Huge. Amruta, this yeah. might be a huge day. Yeah. Huge day because. Fabi is one of the strongest players in this tournament. Uh, one of the favorites for sure, Amruta. And uh, with it down two games, losing two games in a row, if he is able to bounce back, that would be oh. a really, really strong statement uh, from with it. Totally. And with the white pieces, let's see against Fabi. By the way, Gukesh after Queen C two was found, Queen went to D seven. He plays C four. Good move. We was waiting for that, and D four played by Nijar. So here mm -hmm. we have this position with eleven minutes only. Oh my God, fifteen moves, eleven minutes to Gukesh, and Nijar has twenty seven minutes. I am not worried about Gukesh Amruda. He is such a tricky and such a quick calculator that I actually, I actually have started to believe that Guki and Vidit both have really good chances. Of course, still a long way to go, Amruta. Um, but it looks really promising right now. Okay, so you're not worried here. Gukesh has advantage. It's twenty fifth move. We'll come back here. This is the oh partners, my god! But what? We have to stick with Vidit's game. Uh, what happened? Amruta, Queen G three. Because Queen G three is down to nineteen minutes, so the time is almost even now. Both players having around eighteen minutes each. Oh, even Fabi! Amruta... I did not realize that. Yes, yes, yes. Even Fabi is down, and the engine has started to believe that this position has a huge and even potentially winning advantage for White. Wow, wow! And for Fabi, uh, you know, it must be sudden shock because it it's not a move like he would generally miss Queen G three if at all. And if he doesn't find a counter play with nineteen minutes, all the time difference gone, you you feel so uneasy at this moment on the board. Definitely, definitely, and Fabi right now playing with the black pieces, you know, might be like, uh, like doubting himself for playing this opening because Amruta, like the other players, uh, he decided to not play something solid but went for something mm -hmm. more aggressive, played yeah. the Sicilian, and <laughs> Vidit is like, thank you for giving me this opportunity, <laughs> and I'm going to, you know, try my best to uh, get back into this tournament. Exactly. Here, Rakshit is asking a question. What if Queen A seven? And this is what we were looking at. Rakshit, Queen takes E five. Oh no, maybe not here. We yeah, were looking at Queen yeah, A five actually, Rakshita. Ah, yeah, we were looking at Queen A five. But it will be the yeah. same idea. So you were asking instead of Queen G seven, if something else, right? Bishop C three. Ha. Huh, we. By the way, guys, when you said Queen A four here is not possible, it yeah. was right. Queen B eight check right. is the problem. Mm -hmm. But Black has a very good move to yeah. continue with to find a counter play, and uh, that good move is again. F six. No. You have to be very alert. If F six. Um, that's not. Queen D four and you stop Queen A four. Okay. No, if you go Queen D four, it's a problem because. 
now black short castles and this attack is already created so not this hmm. uh you will have to go queen e6 and stop the short castle then it should be fine now queen c8 hmm. is also threat so here yeah. the move is b4 oh wow oh the point is amruta yes. that now uh, after rook on king c2 queen a4 check uh, the b4 bishop is going to be hanging oh yeah but uh, why doesn't it ah rook is hanging ah you don't have time to collect that because ah, maybe i can start with rook takes d1 amruta okay okay start with rook takes d1 yeah rook d1 <coughs> rook d1 check this is hanging yeah. if you go king c3 then the problem is The rook is the rook is hanging. Ah, rook yeah. is hanging. I thought bishop f six. Oh, bishop at eight is illegal. For a moment, I just forgot yeah. about it. So this is a problem. B four is a very nice counterplay move. I'm sure such ideas. Oh, queen three, queen seven played. Oh. Queen seven played. Okay, so queen e five will we will have on the board right because he won't take bishop take c five for sure with rook two sure. in the air. Got yeah, it. you have to bring the queen in the game. Okay, queen e five. In my opinion, Amruta has to be played. Rook takes a two will be played, so we are going to get this position. This correct? position will have and seventeen minutes correct. for wait a second. Seventeen minutes for Vidit, sixteen minutes for Fabi, and they have to okay. make sixteen moves. Yeah, this is move number twenty third. So if Vidit yeah. makes queenie five, he will have to make yeah <laughs> sixteen moves. So now now Vidit needs to find after queenie five. Rook takes a two. Now is the critical mm. moment. Now is the critical moment, guys. He has to find a good move here. Uh, Bishop c3 is tempting, um, but I think as you were mentioning, this move king to c2 not at all an easy move to make to allow queen a4 check. But the point is, guys, that once the white king goes to d3 and e3, there will be no attack. The rook on a2 will be like, "Arey, I attack kar raha tha king ko," but the king is like, "I am not here anymore." No, if with uh, it plays king c two, no, it will be like like lit Sagar would have bet on this. Ki I will go to Canada, you know, if he was at home. If with it plays king c two, he's already yeah. in Canada. That kind of a tough move. Harshit, if with it plays king c two, what dare will you take? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, for the chat. The best, the best dare that the chat gives, and it's like possible to do. We'll select that. Oh wow, Harshit, all in for that. If with it plays King C two, chat, you can give a dare for Harshit, and uh, he will choose one of them, and maza hi aa jayega. Please, marwa mat dena. Maza hi aa jayega. <laughs> Come on, with it, you uh, full entertainment is in your control right now. Let's see what you do. Actually, it's not that hard to be honest, Amruta, because Queen A four is a big threat, as you mentioned. And um, yeah, we have already. Are Harish has already started getting the dares. Reveal your girlfriend. Go bald. Are 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 are. Oh my goodness! Yeah, reveal your girlfriend is a good one. I am in for that. Ruke has happened. Happened here, Harshit. Oh my God! Whoa, Amruta, huge moment, guys. Maybe we can we can actually see this crazy move, King to C two. Oh, I really like this one dare given by Vaibhav. Uh, uh, Vaibhav said that my dare would be to give you a dare. Oh no, Vaibhav, don't do that. It na musta chal raha hai. You know everything about me, but imagine Harshit revealing his girlfriend on the stream. Somebody saying uh, a dare to him, like go uh, propose her for to marry. अरे अरे कुछ रहा है ना तो चाहिए उसके लिए. Vaibhav, Vaibhav, what's up, man? Can't sleep or what? But another question: If Queen G seven, which is as a move more natural, natural as well, yeah, after, very natural. Yeah, after Rook F eight, you know the other ideas. If I have to tell you, instead of King King C two or King C one, which the computer would say, but for me mm. also in general, feels like is H five slow. That feels like a question. H uh, five, but computer says G five is also a good move. Yeah, that's not that doesn't. I mean, the thing is, Amruta. It's also natural to not bring your queen so far away from your king because you kind of want the queen on e5 because the queen can go mm. to b8 as well. Mm. So it's like you want your like you want your queen close to your king, especially when you are up material. You just want to consolidate the position now. Correct, absolutely true. 
so we will wait guys we are waiting if vidit goes king c2 if he goes queen g7 firstly if he goes king c2 harshit will get a dare and other options oh la la <laughs> even you will get a dare amrita no, not no, just no, me no 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 you are the guest only guests get dare on chess base india stream <laughs> are <laughs> ऐसे रूल्स है थोड़े आई आई डिट सेंड यू द मैनुअल बट आई विल सेंड यू लेटर सो दैट देर आई डिट नॉट रीड इन द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन इफ देर वॉज एनी अपडेट इन दुकेश इज गेम एंड फ्यू मोर मूव देर Uh, Amruta and it seems like Gukesh as well has uh, uh, garn- garnered a big advantage in his game. Uh, if you can just quickly show the uh, two moves there, and we'll quickly come back to this Vidit's game. Okay, are you sure? Let's wait. Did he play? No, Rukesh. He's too. thinking. We'll quickly come okay. back to this just to show this game. C four. That after D four. D four. D four. C five. Queen f seven. And now. And rookie four back, and Amruta he is going to somehow collect this d4 pawn. I have a feeling Gukesh will collect this d4 pawn. The pawn on a4 is also going to be weak, and I have started to believe that uh, Gukesh actually might just uh, con convert his uh, pawn advantage. Actually, Amruta. Oh, amazing! This is amazing. Gukesh having such a such a huge advantage in comparison, right? But eight minutes on the clock and thirteen moves to be made, so he'll have to be very careful with his time. Queen d5 played. Wow. Uh, yeah, maybe d3 is the idea. You can just even go queen d3 because after queen takes c5, I have dot 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 dot. dot, dot. <laughs> Rook e5. Oh. Yes. Earlier the Very queen good. could go to d7 or f7, but now it cannot. So, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good tactics. Yeah. Here. So queen d3 is possible. so mm-hmm. okay so gukesh with 8 minutes very quickly prag ka just to have a look yeah no he prag is trying but it's not much Wait, here let's go back let's go back oh! there because queen g7 played queen g7 played rook f8 but even yes, now rook even f8. now king c2 even now it's still even now king c2 wow yeah wow we'll wait one more chance let's stay here now amruta let's yes, stay here let's stay i think here. we have kind of uh, got oh no uh, he goes the... queen e5 Yes, It this was move, Amruta, that I, mm-hmm. I was mentioning was very tempting. You kind of want to centralize, but now Queen A four. Isn't Huge this moment. the same move you were thinking about, which shows that it is a very yeah. natural idea? You bring back the king closer to. Will Karuana find Queen A four now? Because but the Queen thing A4 is, is Amruta. Yeah. The thing is, if you go back, this is the same position without Black having the G seven pawn. But the problem is that in this position where Every move has such high importance. Uh, White should not have actually taken the pawn and uh, tried to consolidate his king's position because now, if Vidit finds, uh, if Karwana finds queen to a four, it might just be a draw. I don't know, Amruta. Yeah, tell me something. A move like G five, which was earlier, you know, very, uh, very good. Even now, if I play the same idea, actually, the black's idea of queen a four is very powerful. So he gets time now, and how does this work? Because if queen b eight, queen b eight, yeah, and bishop d eight, queen e five is just simply perpetual, right? Because queen takes d eight is not really a very genius idea. Because queen d eight, king d eight, you might think that bishop f six, their king e eight, खेला तो rook d eight mate है, but uh, he can rude, go to c eight or c seven, and uh, black is just, white is just down a queen. But Amruta, this was a huge moment. I mean. The thing is, with it only at eleven minutes. So the thing is, guys, he did, could not even afford to spend like six, seven minutes here because then he will have three minutes, and then uh, how will he make ten moves? So exactly. it was like, if you only have eleven minutes, he had to make a decision. And uh, I think um, Black is back in the game now. Yeah, you were right because a move like King C two, like we were talking about, uh, about a dare is and all. But in true sense, it's a very tough move to make to just bring your king out with less time. And you can with make, less time. Yeah, you can make such a move work. You need half an hour at least on your clock. 
so that you are say, if you thinking for 15 minutes without worrying about you thinking and this is this yeah. is not possible otherwise okay queen a4 happened on he the he played queen no, a4 no 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 no, no, just... no 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 sorry queen oh, okay. a4 not yet happened 13 minutes but i think queen, queen a4 is the only move as well right you don't even have an option like yeah and and actually can black go b4 can black go b4 in amrutha instead of queen a4 He will still go king c two, I guess, and run away. Yeah, you yeah, will run away, and now, oops, and now, actually, g five is a move, uh, Harshit. At some points, g five is a move which works, and at some points, uh, it's not possible to make that move. So, if we have to understand why it is, uh, you know, uh, when at this point, my question was, what if g five? Yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still slightly. Uh... I'm happy that this king c2 move was not played, but I guess with low time Amrutha, you just cannot really expect. Uh, yeah, king c2 really is difficult. To... Yeah, but I understand. Yeah. But moves like let's say g5, if Vidit would think queen a4, by the way, on the board, so the game is definitely yeah. ending in a draw. If queen a4, yeah. same problem. So it doesn't matter. You've taken this pawn. You've not taken this pawn. Black has this threat, and you can't really do anything. So uh, yeah. it's the best move was king c2, which is very hard. And your G five surprisingly works, uh, but question is why now Queen A four? Why is G five a good move? I don't think this was also easy, Harshit. No, this what, is what too you, hard. I mean, yeah. Just, yeah what hard. would you play here for Queen A four? No, I mean B three. I guess is the only move, but I mean to play this kind of but moves B3, is extremely B3 hard. But B three, B three is again draw. Yeah, B three for play. King, it's again a draw. Oh, King C one is the move. King C one. Okay, okay. Yeah, you. But no, this to is too run. hard. Practically, it's a very engine line. I don't think yeah, very... you know. We can all get excited sitting here without pressure and all. But imagine his two two losses, and this one he's played beautiful. And finally, practical best calculation. What has happened on the board at at this moment? Yeah, I mean, but you, I mean, Vedit will definitely like. If this game ends in a draw, definitely feel that he had a huge chance. Mm. And Amrutha in this tournament, like. Getting these big opportunities is not easy at all, like, especially against a player of Fabi's caliber. It's very hard to even get a position which can be such, uh, which can be, which can have such a big advantage. So, True. with it was really close. He was really close. Even he could sense that there is something there, but uh, I think that finally, I, in my opinion, it kind of came down to the time because if he had thirty minutes, Amrutha, I would. I'm sure that he would have spent like 15 minutes and found the best move. But uh, you know, Harshit, right now in hindsight, what I feel is if you go back where we got very excited about the move e5 being a bad move, maybe it was never a bad move in practical sense because this was always Karuana's idea to go queen a7, queen a4. Uh, at like mm-hmm. I mean, he always had his ideas. But now mm-hmm. when I go back, I feel. Here at this moment, when you had mentioned moves like H five, that yeah. could have been more uh, practically uh, easier to play than something like this, and where you get into a situation of finding some crazy computer course, move which course. you can't really find. True, yeah. true. So Amrutha, yeah. unfortunately, it seems like this game is going to head towards the yeah. draw, but we still have a lot of action. Let's quickly jump to the oh. Gukesh's game. As he has three and a half minutes left, but oh, it is, uh, it seems like he has he also has a big advantage. But the time, uh, Harshit, how much dangerous is it with three minutes and this position, with the pawn? Not easy at all. But Amrutha, I, I as I was saying, if there is one player in this tournament that I wouldn't be too scared if he gets low on time is Gukesh. Why Amrutha, do you say you cannot... so? Why? I he is so tricky. He is Guki monster. He is going to find all these tricky checks and queen d seven, queen c four check. He is going to find all these best moves. I just believe in believe in his uh, calculative abilities. Mm. Amazing, amazing. Oof, four minutes on the clock. He has to make seven. No, now six moves actually. Uh, but his position is clearly better. Matir. Only thing I think he has to take care is the d pawn. So queen a four, Nijat is thinking with seventeen minutes. Uh, very mm-hmm. very quickly, if we look at Vaishali's game, what's happening? Things are 
Oh, we have no update no, or because we there saw is, rupees. Is, oh, we did. There is a okay. lot of update. This is the current position. The bishop, yeah, they got exchanged. But Wait, this is just shall. a fortress. This is just a fortress, right? But she's a pawn down. Yeah. It, oh, it looks like a fortress. The knight cannot. Wait. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if you should take on c5, but it looks like a fortress to me. <laughs> Wait, is this knight takes c5? But there is c6 break, I guess. Um. Yeah, knight c6 b5 helps. There right. is c6 break, so I don't know if you should take. No. Uh, so maybe just moving the knight away. Where, anyway, maybe uh -huh. knight e1 because you also keep. Ah, knight e1, knight f3 is a good idea. Yes. These threats. But king f7. Okay, we have to. This will go. Forty moves are over, so they will keep playing. We'll come back here. In Humpy's oh, game. Oh, let's stay with Gukesh's game. Queen a2 played. Not not very tricky move by uh, Nijat. Very tricky because now. Uh, he, Gukesh has only three and a half minutes and he has to find the best move. So let's but see. But what happens if you take here just for the sake of understanding? If you take here... Oh. You see you see these tricks. Oh. You see these guys are too tricky, Amruta. His idea is to take on f5. Huh. Uh, take and now oh, uh, I, I was thinking it. queen b1 check first and after king h2, d2 Yeah. and the rook is hanging and queen. So actually... Tricky. He has only three minutes and oh. very tricky situation, guys. But uh, he has to be accurate. What he comes to, to your mind? What comes to your mind for Queen A2, Harishit? Because for me, it's... Uh... No, I don't know, Amruta. Actually, yes. Queen A2, very tricky move. Maybe, Maybe Queen, queen B1 back is ah. natural. Or a Queen B4, what do you say about it? Because you queen stop B4 D2. Queen B4 is also interesting. Yeah, Queen B4. Is yes. Queen D1? No, Queen D1 is... Is it bad? Queen takes also B2. better, yeah. Queen takes B. Yeah, yeah but it's also possible. Better, yeah. But tell me, Queen C4 check would be lost, yeah, because D2 comes. Yeah, yeah, in. because you take Takes. and D2. No Queen C4 check, Amruta. Yeah. Two minutes left. Very tricky. Very no, tricky. No, Queen no, A2 no, was pushed. actually yeah. a move I did not expect, but very nice resource by Nijat. Let's see if uh, Gukesh, as I was saying, is able to navigate through these tricks. I know that I have seen him do this on several occasions. Let's see if he can. Uh, do it again, Amruta. Let's see if we can withstand the pressure of the time. Absolutely. And in the meantime, we've got the result. With it versus Fabiano Caruana. The game has ended in a draw. But amazing yeah. play by With it. But it's it's fine. So he has at least made a comeback. There's no third loss, which is always very difficult. King H2. King H2 played. Wow, good move. What a move. Good move, Amruta. Finds, but... no, this guy is so good, Amruta. I, I, I mean, you think I'm like, I, I might be like oh, saying something, but he's just so calm. Just moves the king on h2. And now the queen on h2 is like, so either I have queen b1 check the neko, but I have to nickel ke gaadi leke. But tell me, two minutes he took to get out of such a trick. Okay. Now, in the if in the last two moves, it's something like such tricks are happening, then you don't have the time to get out of the trick. Which is where true, is true. the we main actually, worry. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot that two minutes for six moves without increment. So it's like we second we move karna hi padega. Exactly. Oh my god. Six and now I forgot it's about six that. moves. Oh my god. So like six moves in two minutes? So yeah. that's like 20 seconds per move. Actually, not even two because no increment. So one hour, yeah, so one minute, like 51 seconds. 18 seconds per move, guys. This is huge time pressure. 18 seconds per move. Crazy, crazy. So, if anybody can are... win today, it is Gukesh. No other game, anyone has an advantage as such. If Gukesh manages to win, it might be for our Indians only decisive between everyone. And Amruta, I mean, just imagine the pressure Gukesh is in right now. Uh, I've been in this situ like I've been in this situation where like not at this stakes, but like in a situation where uh, you are low on time and the position is complicated. And sometimes you drink water to calm yourself down. And then you have to go to the washroom. But you don't even have time to go to the washroom. Oh. And then opponent is about to make a move. It's like so many things happening at once. Um, but one player wh whom I personally uh, think has been like very good at handling pressure is Gukesh. Um, very, very calm player. Very, very... Like if you see his interviews, everything. Very composed guy. Um, so let's see if he's able to, you know... Uh, I'm praising him so much. So let's see. Let's see if my boy Guki can strike for us today. Absolutely. Oh, we are all rooting for Guki here.
Parth says, poor 17 year old trying to handle so much pressure. Not poor because he's really, you know, these guys are here because they feel the thrill of it. That is one of the key yeah. things. It's not at all the, it's a good stress for them. And now uh, Nijat is down to 13 minutes. So now yes. Nijat's plan is Amruta mm-hmm. to find some tricky move like Queen A2, you yes. know, where uh, uh, Guki will be forced to think. And the thing is, if he starts to think, then he has a huge advantage of a, a huge uh, opportunity of making a mistake. If you go D2, Gukesh is like, I will take that pawn as quickly as I can in one second. I will take on F5 as quickly as I can. Oh. So I made two moves. And now it gives me like slight, like 15 more seconds to think for every move if he does this. Oh. If D2, if I was Gukesh, what I would do, Amruta, if he goes D2, I would take it very quickly. Huh. And then I would take on F5 very quickly so that for my next move, at least I have 30 seconds. Wow. No, this sounds amazing. But here, I would still say it's a major piece endgame. And at this point of uh, position, you will still have to find another best move. Can you do that? Definitely. Me, I don't know. But Gukesh, I think better chances. But no, Gukesh, with, uh, I would... at this point, he will have one minute. Okay. Maybe no, something... Queen C4 like... check. No, Queen C4 check is easy. Queen C4 check is the advantage. Will and then it be Queen E4. Ah, okay. Queen E4 I enough? was thinking, but then it's not yeah. so easy. Queen so, E4 with the idea of Rook F7 and all. But yeah. Queen D4 and the Queen is challenged. So, that's so what's the best move, Amruta? Figuring Amruta? out, it's not easy actually. Here for Queen B2, the best move is Queen F4. F4. Which is yeah, the only actually... move to keep in, yeah, check, check mm-hmm. and mating ideas here. Guys, the pressure is heating up. Gukesh actually is already on plus one. So, Amruta, if he wins this, it's going to be huge because he's going to join uh, the leader, uh, Nepomniashi. I understand. But in time pressure, I, I my thing is changing. I really... The move Queen A2, the kind of trickiness Nijat has shown, I feel he will... He knows in time pressure how to play her. So, it's not going to be so Amruta, easy. Nijat... Nijat has is also a soccer player, uh, guys. Uh, I think he's he's been he's injured his leg just unfortunately before this tournament. Um, but Amruta is still showing some very resourceful chess and uh, trying to you know be very tricky. Uh, the only thing that Gukesh um, is fighting for right now is time. What do you think? What, what is the prediction right now? For this one. Amruta, it's so funny, right? Because starting when you have two hours, you're like, oh, kitna time me mere paas. I can just, you know, I can just, you know, think for a few more minutes, make sure my calculation is good. And then you suddenly reach this position and you're like, ah, I wish I made that move two minutes faster. <laughs> so true. This is so true. This time control is crazy. I am not for it already, but the guys have to change their style. I think half of the tournament, they will know how to handle it better. But then they will, when they will know the next tournament which they will play, it will be completely a different time control. It's a complete, complete mess. By the way, Ra- Ra- Robin Thakur says, Chess me tang ka kya kaam? <laughs> Chess me kiska? Tang ka kya kaam? <laughs> no, but actually, you guys you don't know that these chess, oh, the moves are happening. They walk a lot oh, during the game. Played. Wait, wait, wait. G6 played, played, played one second. Yeah. Queen B4 played. Oh, and now Amruta one hour one minute thirty five seconds for five moves. So it's <laughs> stressful. He plays Queen F seven, and now G four is a very good move, but his time is ticking. Thirty five five moves to make. Okay, let's oh say. Oh my God! In, how, in, let's say even without increment, generally in two. Oh, seconds rookie one played. Rookie one played. Okay, he still maintains the advantage, but. Because G4, Amruta, it's not a move that you can make yeah, with one, one, one minute, 30 seconds. No. You need time Agreed. to, you know, make Completely. make a move no, like there G4. Is a pin, no? There is a pin, no? So, what was the problem? D2, yeah? D2 and then suddenly you might think some Queen C7 ideas or something oh, like this looks scary. Man. In time pressure, you are like, no, no, no. let's make sure Sorry. that I reach a good position, yeah. Yeah. So, I like rookie one, which is better because until you're very sure about it, it's okay. Still sometimes, good move, I think, Amruta. Yeah, Still good move, you're because, con- yeah. because sometimes it's better. I, I know that for a fact that sometimes you make such moves that you just lose in the end. You know, it's so rash. 
but it's still better in candidates to be solid even that half half point rookie plates that's a good move amruta nijat is being so resourceful Ooh. rookie is a good move four moves uh but, i mean actually maybe just rook d1 what i would do with if i'm gukesh go rook d1 but play fast because you have so much less time rook d1 something because what else amruta, comes to your mind rook d1 is one what else i just want to make a move you have 50 seconds no increment <laughs> Rook F E four played good move, good played, move, played. very good rookie. Four no, more moves, guys. Fifty seconds. Fifty divided by four is like twelve point five. So like twelve seconds per move only. Uh, your math is good, and I think it's good you attended the finance uh, lecture and then came <laughs> here. It is helping us. <laughs> no, Amruta, fifty uh, seconds. 12 seconds per move it's like it reminds me of a bullet game almost like khelna hmm. bas doesn't matter what just make a move and these guys have such good intuition amruta that's why you know some people say that it's important to also play blitz and rapid because when you come in the time hmm. pressure your intuition is going to help you save a lot of points so now yeah. uh, gukesh so far 37 moves tak to he has done a great job let's see if we can do uh the same for four more moves 4 30 seconds 30 39 43 3 3 3 more moves 38 39 only three more moves yes. okay okay only manageable the, manageable yes, 50 seconds three moves for such a position let's say if now i go d uh, takes suppose that helps because the capture can be fast but again you still have a choice to make which one I uh, uh queen takes queen takes I don't want to allow this d2 queen oh, takes and put my rook to d1 ah, no no rook to d1 got and it. I want to block it and make sure that the that pawn is not going to uh, make a lady out of it <laughs> good one there so not uh, okay one second d2 yeah you are losing so that's it रुक एफ ई फोर एंड नाउ ही इज डाउन टू ओके निजात इज लाइक मेरे पास 8 मिनट है मैं थोड़ा सोच लेता हूं um But the thing is, you also, if you are Nijat Amruta, imagine you are Nijat. You are like, oh. let's make a move. Yeah, you want to make a move, no? Seconds. Quickly, exactly. Hard, hard choices here, guys. But the thing is, if you take on e4, he will take queen e4 in like one second. So that means he will have like twenty five seconds each for his next two moves. So I'm hoping he takes so that at least thoda to leave him milega Amruta. Hmm. Okay. What other than rook e4 is black having? Uh, queen d. Fa- nahin, mar rahe, mar Queen d5 would be something Dangar. that I would really hope he does if you're a Gukesh fan, but uh, I don't think that will happen. What did he play? No, he's not played yet. Yeah, not played yet. Tension. I think, guys, the most tension mahol is right now. Yes, I mean, and guys, we have like we were only discussing with this game, but uh, Gukesh has played fantastic chess. uh from a seemingly very solid opening he's managed to go, get like you know he first took control of the center and kind of like in chess everything about amruta is about transposing one advantage to another so he transposes space advantage into um like a weakness of a pawn black's d pawn then he took the a4 pawn so he transferred that advantage into a material advantage now all he needs to do is transpose this advantage into an advantage on the score card that is a victory <laughs> very well said by harshit harshit is able to think right now uh, you know like, like i can't think much only i am just worried that 50 <laughs> seconds bas 40 moves khatam ho jaye and those three moves me just make all decent moves so much pressure you no know, on him in a way if you just think that way the thing is amruta right now there is no time to have pressure it's like just thinking ah, it's yeah, like yes. gukesh's brain right now is just okay just next move next laser move laser focus move. laser focus and maybe after 40 moves he will feel like uh, a lot of relief in his mind and like he's like if, like when you go on a roller coaster oh takes hook takes yes. i i also was looking actually at this only because i thought that d2 bhi aane nahi dena hai karke so that's oh, why maybe like he's queen got for more, but queen e4 but okay, was, at least yeah It seems like he still has a good advantage. I personally like queen takes e4 a little bit more. Amruta, a little bit more biased towards putting my rook on d1 and blocking it. Got it. Um, but rook takes e4 also a good move. 
Uh, now he only has to make two more moves, guys. Okay. Come on, two no more moves. Twenty-five seconds per move. So even if he uses yes. forty seconds for a critical move and last move ten seconds, but he shouldn't risk that, right? Uh, I mean, it's better to not come down to your last five seconds, in my opinion. Because when you have five seconds, na, your hands sometimes start shaking, hmm. and like sometimes you just, you think yeah. that you might lose on try time, and you just make a move which you did not even want to make. Totally. So, wo nahi hona chahiye. Totally. You know, once when Gukesh was here uh, last year, he was here at our place, and at night we were playing a lot of games where he would take. Thirteen seconds, and I had more time, mm-hmm. and he was on the board, yeah, and he was beating me, yeah, without increment. And, <laughs> sh- and I'm not. Know. By the way, guys, rook takes e four is not at all a bad move. Rook takes e four, like it, I mean, white still retains a very big advantage. It was yeah. probably just a matter Point. of preference. Yeah, and um, uh, Gukesh likes his rook on e four. Um, what, what Amruta, two more blacks? moves. Yeah, what would you think is more, you know, risky? Like, if you were white, what would you be intimidated from black side? Right now, the good thing is that there is no d two, so maybe queen d five or something like this, trying to, you know, some somehow force this d ah. two move. But I guess now white can go either rookie one or even knight d two. Yeah, both moves are good. So then natural moves, both are good. So then we don't worry about it because definitely Gukesh is going to be. And slowly them. but surely, Nijat is down to his last four minutes. <laughs> so you know, at some point, we might see that both players, oh. like you know, getting into less than a minute. Uh, but luckily, the time control is almost here, Correct. guys. If Gukesh has more than a one point advantage after move forty, I think that he will be able to convert it. If Nijat is able to find some trick and try to get closer to equality in these two moves. He will have chances, but otherwise, Amruta, I think so far, Gukke and Rook D five played and then Knight D two. Very quickly, he made this move. Knight D seven. Okay, one more move. One more move Absolutely. needs to be played. Forty seconds last move. At least he will not lose on time. But still, Nija did manage to. Uh, I think he found. He best found results. some very tricky moves. Yeah. Very tricky moves. Very tricky. Um. And now let's see what he does because it's an important moment to find the best move. Knight to f3 oh, to now retain. You just like... went back knight f knight d2. No, now you can't think of knight f3 again. It's very tough. But f2 rook. is f2 is hanging. So either he has to play rook f4 or knight f3 because he needs to defend f2. So yeah, unless he blunders oh in time pressure. Seconds. I play play eight six what king g1 oh, okay. But not the best move. Uh... This is the point. As you oh, had mentioned, Kiji after forty man. moves, now Nijat no Nijat's forty move, fortieth move. Yeah. He has three minutes. What comes to your mind? Yeah, but there is a very powerful move here, knight to e six, guys. Because knight e six, if knight b three, there is knight takes c five. Amruta, I think what? this might be something that Gukesh missed. Oh, oh my God! Of course, this is the as you said. He yeah, it's very tricky. He plays it and he plays it, Amruta. This was not a good sequence. Oof. That's why Queen E four, which the move you were mentioning over here, that would have, if in the same situation, if Rook D five would have been played, then because the Queen is not here, White had B four, and safeguard yeah. this thing. Hmm. Yes, but I mean he's still better. He's still better, Amruta, because the pawn on d three is, um, the pawn on d three is still weak. But it's, I mean, like if you go back a few moves, that's why I was saying Amruta. If you go back mm-hmm. to this rook takes e four position, that's why I was saying that, yar, if you take with the queen, Amruta, mm-hmm. and if d two, I have rook d one next, and I'm like just total control, no? Yeah, no. If d two, yes. But he wouldn't have gone d two, and what if he goes knight g seven? Here it's. I mean, I go rook d one now at it. least. Ah. I have gone rook d one next. Whatever. That's why I was like, I even said that rook e four, Mara. So why should take queen two e four immediately? Correct. And uh, rook d one next. I thought that this was the way to go. Yeah, and I think this also. I mean, you are uh, vacating the square for the pawn is very important, right? For the c five is something which the tactics happened in the game. Rook e four, rook d five, knight d two, knight d two was natural still. Knight went to g seven, and still I think if he would have played rook f four for a moment, but in on your last move you don't want to allow a pin. 
that is something Pain, true. you yeah correct and so, amrutha we just had a big uh, result as well prag has drawn oh. his game so we were kind of predicting it um the in the end that it's going to be a draw but amrutha uh, prag also had a big chance uh, in the opening today he was very well prepared but uh, nepo just narrowly escaped again this time and he's just proving to show why he's won the candidates twice already i know i mean it isn't it a actually very tough day no in a way you see prag was clearly better gukesh was clearly better and we still don't know what will happen and vidit was clearly better in that sense all yeah. three of them with the white pieces were clearly better yeah. hmm nepo still definitely for sure and your 40 moves i think was not a issue in hampi's game yeah they have also gone to 42nd move and for vaishali it's a 45th i think it's a, some sort of a fortress i think i have a feeling that uh, i have i personally think vaishali should be able to hold it but uh, this g3 pawn looks a little scary because it's a protected pass pawn yeah no it's i think i mean computer is saying that there is no fortress or how is it well i i i do, i'm not checking with mm. the engine i have no idea but it seems like uh, the pawn on g3 will be uh something that white is you know kind mm. of scared of because if you go into the king pawn end game uh, black yeah. king will come via g5 um so, so like now, the, now the plan is clear no harshit that you will take on d5 whichever pawn takes at if this pawn takes then later you will get b5 break if this pawn takes oh do you want to see a funny line yeah. funny line yeah so let's say king g2 hmm. you go king f8 Okay. Yeah. Um. Now, I thought that I have D takes C six. Oh, nice. And if Rook takes D three, yeah. I will take back Rook takes D three. Rook takes D three. C seven. And now the pawn is queening, so Black has to give Rook D two check. king g1 rook d1 check and it's a perpetual but a very <laughs> funny way to make a nice. draw amazing so good this is so good ah you got escape or what king uh, no. king f3 no because king f i mean you can ah, but there is g2. g2 to be i mean no no actually just rook d3 check i guess is the best yeah oh no not rook d3 check i guess what was it ah, can you go back g2 and queening check so oh can you go back actually very interesting position instead of rook d3 check i guess g2 is the only move then or so what your king no g2 idea. is the winning move actually white is winning after king e2 because you stopped the check so king f3 after king g2. f3 what's the way g2, g2. g2 c8 queen and king g7 craziness it's only what queen c7 king h6 and amruta Uh, there is no way to stop g1 queen so look at how it's a draw queen f7 queen queen, queen f6 king h7 yeah because the guys this would be a mate so here queen f7 and queen g7 queen, queen h5 f5. check king g8 queen e8 check perpetual what oh, a crazy line amazing line amazing line too good maza aa gaya So that's about. So, uh, by the way, we have a result in women's Lano versus Late Inji has drawn. So if mm-hmm. we if we right now go back to Gukesh's game after ninety six forty moves are over and I think he's gonna take some time. He's down to twenty five minutes. But uh, you know, Harshit again, Nijat will try to bring him in time pressure. Ha! Huh, but this time the difference is thirty seconds increment. Yeah. Started. So this will be a very long game, and with uh, Gukesh will again, you know, like he once tried got a big advantage, but uh, Nijad got back, and now he will try to again get a big advantage and try to win. Like these guys are even if the position has become closer to equality, that doesn't mean this will be a draw. Yeah. Gukesh is still going to make Black suffer and uh, make him prove uh, that he has a draw. Absolutely. No, the, at least and I'm, some yeah. chances here. But uh, Nakamura mm-hmm. versus Firuza, they are, I mean, they are all uh, both solid. But the position mm-hmm. can go anyway. Definitely. Um, this seems kind of might be close hedging towards the draw because the e5 pawn seems to be hanging the next move. Um, so we might see some exchanges, and this game might be ending towards the draw. And the only result that we might have. 
uh, might potentially come through the Gukesh's game. Um, so let's see if he can uh, if he can uh, convert this position. It won't be easy at all because he has to psychologically recover from having such a good position to not having the best position. So that mm-hmm. will be the biggest thing. But if he can do that, then you know, he'll still have very good chance. I think that Gukesh is very good at because he's uh, generally looking at what is the situation, then what was the situation. So I'm sure that uh, that wouldn't be a problem. Still, the there is most hope. Import- hmm. The most important step, Amruta, the most important step, Samai is not here, so I'll follow up with quotes. <laughs> the most important step always is the next step. Hmm, absolutely true. And how much ever easy it sounds, but uh, to apply, it's very, 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 very difficult. Very hard. So right now, the best next step for me is to get ready, pack, and make sure that i oh. reach my tournament on time Wait, amruta how are you traveling harshit um uh, i think i might do a shuttle to uh, st louis and then uh, from there uh, go to my hotel okay uh, i will try to get some rest because also i'm playing a tournament from For tomorrow sure. but i will definitely try to join whenever i can and um uh, probably tomorrow we might just have like a photo shoot or like something like our inauguration so oh, maybe tomorrow i can join that's why the hair but... cut and everything ha ha now we <laughs> are, 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 are. <laughs> so tomorrow photo shoot wow saint louis and then uh, your round will be at the same time like candidates yes yeah? yeah so uh, uh, tomorrow actually i might still be able to join but i also want to take some rest before the tournament and uh, maybe prepare a little bit myself um for the tournament totally totally harshit thank you for joining and we had so much fun with the games going on maza aaya for gaya. sure for sure bahut hi maza aaya and hopefully i'll come back soon and uh, catch you guys all together and hopefully sagar and samay will also be there so it's going to be very exciting to follow today uh, as well as the rest of the days amruta and guys good night and i will see you soon Good night, Harshit. Thank you so much, guys. Yes. If you guys, anybody can come and see the tournament. Okay, he's gone, but I believe anybody can go and see the tournament in Saint Louis. So if you're around, maybe a chance to meet Harshit also would be good. क्या ही दिन चल रहा है, guys? It's a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Completely crazy, in fact, and. go let me just put the overlay fine so that akshay da to super chats nijat's comeback was like sanjay dat from sajan okay it sounds so funny though i don't remember the movie anymore but <laughs> he might be even he might even look like him actually parth kulkarni says amruta di bring samay from tomorrow usko utha ke to nahi leke aa sakta hai bahut biryani khaya usne to he'll be here guys he'll he'll drop in whenever he can <laughs> oh my god okay that is funny but i'm not reading it रक्षित से भाई बहुत हुआ कल से सो जाऊंगा टाइम पे बहुत हार्ट ब्रेक हो गया ऑलरेडी बट दिस इज द पॉइंट नो द थिंग इज इवन द कैंडिडेट्स हुव गॉट सिलेक्टेड यर दे ऑल्सो गोइंग टू रेजिस्ट इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी सो इजी सो वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आर गाइज मिसिंग इट दे हैव इन प्रैक्टिकल सेंस एट मेनी पॉइंट्स दे हैव नॉट रियली मिस्ड इट आई थिंक वी कैन नॉट बी सो हार्ड ऑन दैम it's very difficult uh, to make moves like queen e5 where you make a move they calculate of course a move but to calculate moves like bishop e1 and queen a2 it's too much engine later so this is something we have a duty to not look at the engine evaluation and feel what the guys are doing there because with that pressure is crazy when i am in a panic mode i cannot even you know shift things here and there properly 
सो दैट इज नॉट इजी टू टेक डिसीजन अंडर स्ट्रेस इसीलिए तो दैट इज वाई मेनी पीपल आर एबल टू फाइंड आंसर्स वेन यूर सॉल्विंग टैक्टिक्स एंड ऑल दैट एट होम बट यू विल मिस इट वेन यू गो टू द टूर्नामेंट द रीजन इज द प्रेशर यू कैन फील ओनली देर अदरवाइज कैसे होएगा इट्स इम्पॉसिबल नो वी आर नॉट गोइंग इट्स आई वुड इट से कंप्लीट हार्ट ब्रेक्स इन द सेंस दे विल ऑल्सो गेट सम ऑफ द सिचुएशन वेन दे वर इन ट्रेवल दे विल गेट आउट ऑफ इट दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन टू या वी वी थिंक दे वर विनिंग एंड वी नो दैट इट्स नॉट एडवांटेज इन चेस इज स्लिपरी इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट कीप इन माइंड just whenever you think like that you have to go yourself play just 3 to 4 games and you will know how many games you will mess up and then you will know how hard it is to reach a tournament like candidates and to mess it up is different himang says bhai feeling very sad for both prag and vidit today yeah this is the, but this is a beautiful thing about us also i mean about the connection which we feel for the players the emotions that's why we all are here that's why we all have fun and we enjoy abhi mai sab karke aa raha hu mu 12 pe pc blunder kar diya with all the time in my hand <laughs> says rakshit see exactly and good life says vaishali equalized as well harshit was always always talking about that but what exactly happened let's try to see c takes d5 i thought this is a good move e takes d5 and for rook g8 she is gone rook g2 so not exactly equalizing i would say but the king will block the pawn on e4 luckily there is no check no entry all the files are forced or uh, closed yeah now as harshit says i do feel it's a fortress because i don't see a way guys If you see a plan, let me know if there is a plan. One idea can be this rook comes to g five, this rook comes to h five. The king sits on. At some point, the only break will be b five, where you would try to open. Ah, uh, looks too filmy, but let's not go there. We'll come here again. And Humpy Goriachkin has ended in a draw, which is good because computer said slight. H for black, but it doesn't look like that. It looks pretty equal. So Humpy versus Goriachki now ended in a draw. Until now, we have no decisive game. If you see Vidit's game ended in a draw, Pragna Nanda Nepo draw, Firuza Hikaru ending in a draw. I mean, it's very equal. Gukesh Nijat also right now, but the most complex, most imbalanced in some way. And for women section, Tan Zongi versus Nurgil. That is also rook and game going towards a draw. Rook h four was the last move. Uh, if white takes on f seven, then the king supports. You can't go e seven. This is hanging. Okay, this is hanging. So this is going towards a draw. And Vaishali's game, if this is a fortress, will also end in a draw. Which means all the games in women section also will end in a draw. So if Gukesh, I think if anything can happen, that's mainly in Gukesh and Nakamura. But Gukesh has still the slight chances. So for now, all eight games for today can end in a draw after a lot of roller coaster happening. But I would like to still consider that Gukesh has some chances, practical chances here. So Rook E three. So this pawn can get weak. Rook E three on the board. Mainly the king is weak, and that's something uh, Gukesh will definitely look at. Aranya says all three had winning advantage at some point. If all three ends up in a draw, which one would you really consider as as a miss? Actually, I was thinking about that. The amount of uh, advantage which Prague had kind of felt, but the calculations he had to do, he had to take some time. I think opening wise, he had to find something ridiculously uh, amazing. I would say. With it, really had a maybe I would in fact I would say Gukesh had a better. It's very hard to say. Good question. 
good question <laughs> not easy all of them in some way not easy niranjan says how do i manage because i sleep the whole day today i said okay let's not put an alarm and then i just didn't wake up until a long long time in fact i uh, even dreamt of being in the visa office for canada and then i submitted and i'm waiting in the office and then they said you'll not get the visa i said okay no problem they said wait 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 sit down we'll uh, we are checking again and it was very funny so i was in the visa office for 2 3 hours and my alarm to tha nahi so it was very funny <laughs> the biggest miss had to be prague game unfortunately uh the calculate in that in the sense for his opening preparation yes but the calculations were insane bishop f5 i think earlier maybe maybe what can we say yeah we can just watch enjoy being in their shoes is something which we might just we can just try but we can never really be in their shoes so that's something we should never forget <laughs> okay so here guke uh, abasa has started thinking rook e3 has been the last move gukesh is wanting to exert a pressure on this thing as arshita had mentioned knight c5 was the problem so he is losing this pawn and the material becomes equal because gukesh earlier was a pawn up now now this looks dangerous for white yeah it feels like how is white even having this whatever slight edge the bar wants to show because this is a beautiful pawn on the sixth rank making this knight become a blockader which he would not like making this rook keep an eye over here so how is this why do you think this position has that even the slight edge is for white guys one question for you it's not about calculation but what do you think why is computer favoring even this little bit for white kior is saying a lot from germany nice i'm playing rapid tournament this weekend in berlin are all the best kior i think right now everybody would be the most inspired after looking at the tournament you also want to play and it's a different kind of a feeling right when such a tournament is happening on the side why shall we draw is that the right result update is it the oh yes good one thank you why shall is game has ended in a draw so it was a fortress and both Humpy Vaishali and games end in draw. Tan Zongi's game also ending in draw. All four women games will end in draw, and we'll try to see the leaderboard over here. Ah, uh, for the men's section, let me see if there is anything happening. King F eight is Hikaru going to try and press. That would go. That would be crazy. So Gukesh after knight c five. The reason I had asked safer king. very good deep very good that's the thing yeah both both brother sister same result fifth round both of them have drawn so exactly <laughs> can't believe i just can't believe it siori says me too inspired just registered for british chess championship kya baat hai all the best Arunna says to keep us hopeful and awake for a bit longer. Good one. Ah, uh, the reason is the king. The king safety because the seventh rank and the eighth rank both are weak because of these pawns here. And if you see, there are these two pawns uh, in front of the king. Whereas for the white king, he is having the three pawns with the major pieces on the board and the knights on the board. generally the queen and knight is a very powerful combination if they come near the king it is very dangerous so 
for black he is happy that this pawn stop this stops this knight only thing now whether knowing the king can be weak whether white can get some advantage whether black will keep playing accurate moves or whether black will also falter at any point of time is something we have to see this will also depend a lot on how nijat is being resourceful because in the last few moves from here he was extremely resourceful going queen a2 putting uh, gukesh in the decision making process again and again with the less time so he did well over there rook d5 and a final idea after knight g7 which just you know the knight is beautifully placed suddenly the he it happens that the right time to the, for this backward move generally backward moves are missed and this maneuver for knight the maneuver with eyeing on the c5 pawn he finds it king g1 knight e6 so this is how nijat has managed to recover a full pawn and queen c4 played by gukesh over here so there is no discovered attack yet there is no check so queen c4 for sure gukesh wants to go b4 at some point this uh, to win this uh, pawn is b4 a threat right away is a question let's say i don't know what black can really play but can black play a move like b5 attacking the queen yes it's not a bad move you can play that the queen can move but important is after b4 now when the knight moves not just d3 will be weak but even c6 will be weak so uh, when you are committing a pawn move you have to be very careful so that is i think in some way queen c4 is provoking b5 that is what gukesh wants so b5 one idea which i tried which looks completely okay another one let's say i try to move the king away uh, i want to go queen f5 to protect this can i go queen f5 or is it a bad move now b4 i go with the same idea ask where this knight is going to go the knight let's say goes back over here on e6 and how can white still continue with this slight edge maybe white doesn't care yeah maybe white plays a5 a4 a5 later rook f3 so this can be one way slow and steady it looks decent though i would also be little worried about ideas with knight f4 queen g5 but you always have this wonderful rook not really not really you will have to be careful maybe rook f3 right away because now knight f4 is not possible uh and if queen e5 with the idea of check then you have rook d3 so such ideas are there queen c4 has been played by gukesh queen f5 is not a bad move if i try to go king h7 going away from this any uh, pinning or any ideas then b4 once again this will be a problem the knight goes back rook d3 so he will have to play queen f5 and support the pawn so queen c4 on the board for gukesh only game for indian going on and i feel this still has something in it it is not at all a draw plain draw or anything there are imbalances there are things can things which can go wrong from both the sides in fact not just one side anshuman says rukesh derives power from the rook prediction now from for gukesh kya hi commitment phobia kragan says i still feel gukesh can grind abba so yeah gukesh is a great grinder for sure uh my only thing is i would have said that very confidently but with the last four moves abba so managed to make i don't think now he will let go sometimes it's like that one chance again you get that chance again and you don't want to let go So I'm not sure. But by the way, guys, we can also keep uh, this thing 
playing it. Playing here. One second. There we go, and uh, let me just get this. Something which is just moving a little bit on the side can be a good thing. And then once it will play some old videos of this tournament, but which Sagar has uploaded, but we can have them on the side. Why not? Can you please put the, yeah, we will, I'll try to get a leaderboard and check what's happening there. Ah, uh, believers, widget, oh, believers widget, do I have to refresh? I don't think I have to refresh. That's the updated one, I believe. Yep, that is. By the way, guys, thank you so much. 1142 believers we had. 21 big believers. And Satya, Satya Swapnish Das was the last one to uh, contribute to help chess. Very kind of you. Kanishk, it's going on in a great hall. Oh, the move has happened. Knight e6 played. Not a good move. One chance again. Directly knight e6. Tell me something, why did he go 96 already? Because it just gives him a pawn. So what is the tactical idea Nijat is banking on? Because he's simply given up a pawn. Yes, I mean, before was upcoming. Maybe he got tempted with the idea which I was mentioning that the knight jumping to f4. But then there is rook d5. Yeah. And... If queens are exchanged, then white is a pawn up. And this is as good. Oh, no, no, no. Forget about the pawn up. You are going to be a piece up. So what's the thing? What's the thing? Oh, some quick moves are also happening. Maybe in Nakamura's game. But it's still in control for Ali Reza. Knight e6. I can't believe my eyes. Has he simply forgotten about his pawn? What just went wrong? Because it's a blunder. It's like a... Clear blunder. You don't make that move, yeah? This move itself wanting to go B4. I can't believe it, guys. Tell me something. Am I missing here? Anything? The reason for Nijat's knight E6. Was he afraid of ideas like rookie 8 if he wanted to move the queen? So he... Okay, let's try to understand. If rook d3, is there an intermezzo? Yes, uh, chess for fun. That's, that's what I was asking. Is there this intermezzo because of which he assesses it differently? Now, of course, queen c3, the natural move, not queen c2. It's a blunder. And very easy to find out the blunder. Uh, at 4.43 a.m. for all those who have just woken up fresh, What's the blunder black to play? <laughs> 4 43 a.m. All those who have woken up. But what about those who have not slept? Guys, thank you for being here. For supporting the players. I mean, I'm not recommending you to stay up. You should definitely sleep. And have a, you know. But if you do what you feel like, sometimes it's okay. No, see the chat is like slow, not really able to immediately give the move. Wow, very few people finding it. Come on, just one. Abhi do aya. Is black to play Jago? It's not so difficult at all. Just like you have to be... Awake. That's the only thing about it. And what about many of you who are not in India and who are 
outside and fresh okay now the chat is at least getting pumped up here we have the answers queen f5 chess for fun anshuman joggy pet sasuke vivek yakshwag nafiz ananya yash and op man well done queen f5 is the move because you're pinning the rook and you might have thought what's a big deal i can go rook c3 queen c2 rook c2 knight d4 okay it was a little tough because you still had to calculate till knight e2 check so it was not easy very sorry Hi, Amruta. oh oh Amruta. my god don't do you. that like don't do that to me <laughs> रियल लाइफ में खड़ा हूँ और तू किसको देख रही है वन सेकेंड मैम दैट इज दैट इज लाइक हॉन्ट यू नो एक सेकेंड वन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी टू बिलीवर्स वो ओके अमृता अमृता आई कैन टेल यू टूडे वॉज रियली अ टफ डे फॉर इंडिया राइट बिकॉज Okay, but Gukesh can turn it around, right? Rook d three is better. Hey Sagar, he's pawn up. Firstly, explain me. Nijat makes this blunder of knight e six. Ah. Huh. Ah, maybe this is what he thought after rook d three, b five. This is what we were looking at because if you have to go, if you go queen c two, then there is queen f five. and you will think okay what's the big deal but knight d4 and you lose the rook in the fork okay right but right. there is queen c3 right so yes he he gave this pawn itna he played so well towards the end of the 40 moves in the last 3 4 moves he played beautiful chess see you've got yeah. the pawn back saved this and now gukesh is trying ki bhai i need to kick your knight I know you can't kick because your knee is injured, but I can kick your knight. That's what Gukesh is saying. But Nijat is yes. like, okay, just went back. I don't get what he has missed. Yes. No, but okay, this is uh, possible. I think Gukesh was completely better, and then he landed in this position. Now he's got another hope. Yeah. After Rook takes D three, he can be a pawn up. It's not so clear still that he will win. But I think he will be able to, right? He will be. Just the kill, the Anna Rook takes D three, Amuta. He's already played it, or not? I am not here either. Reaches. Acha, maybe not. And Amuta, just telling you what happened here was that um, uh, with it, of course, uh, played an amazing game today uh, to outplay Fabiano. Queen G three, the move we were discussing happened. Then Queen E five. The only thing which he missed was. That when Queen he took on G seven, if you can show the board, we can just tell our viewers yeah. what with it missed. In fact, to, I I have some uh, opinion here also, Sagar. Later I'll share because I for we thought that after Queen G three he must have missed, but what we re later realized in practical sense maybe the better thing would be H five. That was just more practical. No no no, this Bishop D four E five Queen G three was completely missed by Karuana. Yeah, but you Karuana need to be said, so perfect later. What did Karuana say? No, no, say? no. Karuana said that I'm. Uh, I was just completely missed this queen g3 move, and I realized f6 ke baad g5, uh, and I'm getting crushed here. So I had to go queen a7, which was a desperate attempt. With it took uh, queen rook a2, and now both the players were very convinced that uh, b3 wins here. B3, but actually no, b3 is not winning because of rook e2. Wow. Rook e2. Idea is queen a2. So you go bishop b2, and then f6. Very important move, I think. Okay. Queen e6. Ah, uh, queen e6, and now. Uh, queen c5. Queen c5, oh, and wait, here again. Okay, no queen c8. King f7 oh. is fine because queen c2 is coming yeah. at there. So here rook c1 is what they were analyzing. Rook c1, and everyone thought this is better for with it, but queen d6 could move. Ah, uh, not queen f2, yeah. No, queen f2, I think, does not uh, work because of. Uh, one second, let's let's uh, just queen c queen c6 check, king, king f8, one. king f7, queen d5 check, and then rook c8. You are lost. Got it. 
So queen d6. So queen d6 and now queen c8. King f7. Rook. You can't take queen h8 here. I think queen because d2. of queen d2. And so that variation was missed by uh, like both of them. So the thing is Vrithi thought b3 might win but the winning idea was queen g7. He took it in the game. Rook f8. And now he played this because what he thought was a queen e5. He thought that the queen on b8, a7 cannot move because okay. of queen b8 check. Exactly. So when he played queen a4, it was he thought g he thought he will win with queen a with queen b8. But bishop d8 he had missed. Yeah. In, he told he, he missed bishop d8. So Amruta, the winning move here, and when Vidit saw it, and I I think he asked me, I showed it to him okay. through the engine. Was instead of queen e5, king c2. Very nice move. Because after queen a4 check, yeah. king d3, and now your king is not c3, king d3, and now queen c4 check, king e3. And the king is absolutely safe. There is no counterplay here for black. Kuch bhi nahi ho hai. And you are totally winning with h5 pawn. You can push your h pawn down the board. It, uh, did so you this ask is... him, it reminded him of uh, Ali Reza's game. I mean, it was yes, I told game. him. I told him that this game reminded me of Ali Reza. He was actually he was quite upset today because uh, uh, he he was completely winning, and you know this was his chance to get back in the tournament. Uh, uh -huh. He was sitting here for quite some time, but I feel that Amruta uh, and me, this is what I told him that he managed to outplay. World number two, right from the opening, which is yeah. actually not a common thing, right? Like he, this, no, like he played Fabiano, like. Fabiano, not any world number two. Fabiano theoretically like so powerful. Yeah. So that was yeah. Amazing. No. No. And also, also the thing is, it was no theory. It was basically hardcore chess uh, play on the board because with it was already out of prep after eight moves. I think Bishop F four was already over the board. So. It was really a big thing. So, but Sagan, and no, coming... I, I had a, I have some opinion here because no matter yes. how much ever uh, I I the reason I talk, spoke about the move H five was more easier, you know, as a winning thing is why we were looking at this Harshit and I and King C two is not like a normal move. It's not like suddenly oh you can play that. Not at all when you have such less time on the board at that point to calculate King C two. You need half an hour on the clock you can't do that with True. such less time so practically you it, it, it's not a point to be sad at this point of time because i think you cannot find it harshit was struggling to find a good move sagar everywhere black had a counterplay at some point queen a4 at some point we saw bishop c3 there was b4 counterplay so it was no very i mean difficult. overall the position was not like one sided yeah it, it was Little bit complex and yeah, so on. After but after Bishop D four, no, I'm telling you, it might be a blunder, but it was still with complex. Here, if you don't play this Bishop D four, H five is practically much better chances than the position where you have even Queen E five and much better winning ideas. But to find King C two is way harder. Okay, then going is just a matter of uh, choice. Like at the end of the so day, if you, you told this to with it. Uh, he will disagree. Time. He will say he will say King C two is a very easy move no, to find. Time, so time, time you cannot exactly play. that you is know, that, you that can, is. It's I a mean, whole thing. exactly the time usage was not Harshit, very ideal because, in this game. Yeah, given the, the time, time usage, situa given the time situation, I'm talking about H five is a better practical continuation. Yeah, sure, could be, could be. Mm. Um, but yeah, with it, uh, missed this, and then we come to Prague's game and Pragnananda was yeah. completely better against Nepo after this move. Uh, if we go back to uh, knight f7. Wait. So he sacrificed. Yes, knight f7, king f7, rook d3. So all his prep, he had seen this actually. Rook d6. King g8, queen d5, and he mentioned that here he saw queen e5 in the game. Okay. Uh, but he did not Bishop. find a good to queen a2. He did not like queen a2, rook h6, king g8. 
and here he said and uh, but later on when he said rook g6 he saw with an engine here he was trying to analyze queen f7 bishop f5 he said that i should have gone for this mm. because rook a8 and i think we analyze this queen b2 and here also it's showing a very sizable advantage to white so prague was unhappy that yeah. he did not find this but he was not at all unhappy on not finding if we go back queen e5. The, not here no. bishop f5 no it was sorry uh, bishop e5 sorry bishop e, queen e5 queen a2 bishop f5. and bishop f5 he was not at all unhappy on not finding this because of yes queen f7 sorry not queen f7 no, there is rook h6 king, king g8 eight. king g8 bishop b1 yeah this is queen f7 and king queen b2 and he said that finding these two backward moves is a very good training exercise hmm. but not a very possible thing to find over the board okay. in a practical game so, so this uh, yeah these two uh, games which were missed had a very differing emotion i feel for both players hmm. which uh, like prague after not finding this was more um, you know, uh, more relaxed with it was a little bit more upset but uh, both of them played quite well today and I think uh, yeah, maybe Gukesh, let's see how he goes and Vaishali by the way held a very tough game right against uh, yeah. Anna Muzichuk which was a great result and we have uh, Humpy also drew uh, hey, all women Humpy players drew. Drew, actually all women right, right. Was playing, so, yeah, it's ended in a draw. so I think I think not a very Ideal day, Amrita. But let's go to Bukesh's game. And he did he take on D3? Yeah, he took on D3. B5 was played. And Queen C3 on the board. I I mean, it would be only tiredness and the pressure uh, that you... If at all, Queen C3 was the move which was missed, you know. Then that is the point. Otherwise, he might have thought yes. of Queen C3 yes. sometimes. Blind spot. I think, I think overall, Bukesh will convert this. Especially because he has such willpower. Also now an extra pawn. So I don't think that Gukesh will miss it now. What do you With think? Five minutes, how, how do you assess this? I mean, he has 30 seconds. No, but now 30 second increment. Yeah. Yes, now he will manage it. He will, yeah. Oh, that Actually, is... that will make him a joint leader now, Amruta. This Whoa, will. Because, I, I, yeah, I because the... yes. Oops. Nepo, Nepo drew. Hmm? By the way, today, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Tomorrow, Vidit will take on Abbas so because all Bukesh's opponents are going to Vidit, right? So tomorrow Gukesh will play uh, Vidit will play Abbas so Gukesh will play against uh, tomorrow. I don't know who is he playing. Tomorrow, uh, tell me one thing, Sagar. Uh, Nepo right hmm. now was on three and half, right? No, three, three. He drew. Ah, so he's so on three and a half out of five. Result. So Nepo on three and half, Karwana on three. Prag on two and half. Gukesh, if he goes on three and half, he will become the joint leader. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, so great chance for Mukesh. This is such a critical yeah, game, yeah. man. Actually, no, it's a game. very, very important game, and we need to be very, very focused mm -hmm. on this and see what are the possibilities, how Nijat is going to defend, because this might really determine Gukesh's chances in this tournament. Yeah. Tom and tomorrow for Gukesh, he will be white against Nakamura. Mm, so, wow, that is epic. <laughs> and Vidit will be white against Firuza. Prague will be white against oh. Nijat. So all of them with, again. Vidit, Vidit right won't here. play Nijat. Vidit will not play Nijat. Sixth round, Amrut. Are you checking seventh round? I'm checking sixth round from candidate uh, from leeches. But wait, let me check on the official website. In fact, and bring that. To oh, by side. the way, few moves have been played, Amruta. Let's just focus there one second. Okay. So rook d3, d5, queen c3. What happened next? Knight f4. Just right now, he played knight f4. Where he made rook, 92 forced. check is a threat, yeah. So you have to force go here uh -huh. and now rook g5. Oh my god, big blunder because this is attack knight s3 is not threatened because this is there. But uh, one move by Gukesh, I think what just went wrong. I let, think Nijat would be very tired, it seems. The kind of moves he's made in the last few possible, possible, but also like uh, Gukesh is very good at this, you know, to keep up the pressure. Um, also, Nijat thinks right right now he's attacking g2 and also threatening knight to d5 with a fork, Amruta. 
so it's a very tricky move that nichat has played here actually the move for white here sagar what do you think are you thinking yes. or you i'm i'm thinking, thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking i don't have engine by the way even in my previous commentary i was without engine i know and you are looking so, like a like you are like a grandma <laughs> you yes, have to play yes. no i There really am friends. inspired 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 here in my life um don't hold the phone in the hand na keep it far away because how long it no it's fine it's fine know. how about amruta yeah, if we chat, take we queen take c6 Whoa. because because rook g2 king f1 it's not impossible to see this no or king h1 where should we go wait one second i think king f1 looks safer yeah because if you go king h1 then rook takes f2 is happening and yeah. you don't yeah. want to get into something like this so king, king f1. f1 so in this assessment sagar maybe what nijat did is not even a blunder he likes such a position because the king on f1 doesn't feel uh, good with no, the knight no but amrita now you can't you with, like with no more with such ideas about mating it. ideas is... if you don't if you don't do anything i'm going queen e8 check trading the queens and playing rook e4 to win material so hey, let's wait, say if you go rook g5 i can't move the knight because you have king g ah yes, wait yes knight h3 there is king queen g2 queen, queen g2. g2 forget about king g2 yeah and if rook so f2 now, check there is no disco no disco no disco no disco so amruta now here what black may do is go back with the rook so that rook g5 so that now rook uh, the rook is not hanging no to but go maybe rook h2 no at least you are attacking this and possible. keeping our pressure possible hmm. and so, now now a human will think we need to trade queens and go into a pawn up position i think it's a nice idea but it just loses to king f7 and now rook h1 is a mate and the rook is hanging so it's a terrible thing mm. so here if we go back you don't go queen e8 check you play rook to e8 check king g7 and queen here c3. maybe something queen c3 check queen f6 rook e and the point one second one second, one second. why rook e7 ah rook e7 yeah finish Ah, no, no, how no. finish in g8 in g8 you can't take the queen no but 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 now what no finish it well amruta it's very important king g1 no then rook g2 how about queen b3 check oh queen hey, d3 queen, queen c8 queen c8 queen c8 queen f8 oh no play play it play it queen c8 Plate from the plate, queen f8, and now you can't do. Yeah, queen e6, knight e6. Ice. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. So, so what is the move? Ice. Not queen c8. Queen b3 check. I, I mean, queen b3, king h8. The e8 check is winning, but king f8. Ko kya? Queen b3, king f8. That's the no problem. Check, so man. we can't give this check. So here, here you need to find the move, Amruta. What is the move? Should I see? No wait. Ah, I thought you. What is the chat saying? Rukesh missed miscalculation. Guys, can... What happened in the game? Oh my God, he went ninety four. So he has not taken queen c six. Agar it's difficult to assess. Rook g two, and he went king h one. So this game still. No, but let's just finish space. that analysis yes, because the, without that, win. without that move, you can't go queen c six. That is that the only is. reason why he didn't play. Like, can you go back? Can you go back? Let's let's. No, sorry, no, no, yeah, be... no, no, no. That is good. Cool. But queen c three is not the only move, by the way. But yet, I got it. Okay, I mean, I saw it. So after queen f rook seven, rook seven, king g eight. No, here you have to give this check. At this point, is the move. Yeah. Oh my! No way. Is it queen f six, king f six, rook f eight, and then? You can play takes, takes. Rook f eight. Rook f eight. King g five, knight f three. King g five, knight f three. King goes back. You take. Oh my! Uh -huh. uh, nice. But but no. But one more thing. Very easy. Queen c seven check because you have to go queen f seven and. Now this check again. You will have to go queen f six, and now rook e seven check. Take. Will it be? You have to take. No, queen f six. You have to take. Yeah. Yeah. Same. So basically, you have to go for that. 
So, uh, Queen F6. So, so Gukesh didn't see this, yeah, this line. So he thought that right now, because of the dual threats of rook takes pawn, let's go back, rook takes pawn check. Can you draw the arrow? And knight d5, fork. He therefore decided to play the move knight e4, attacking the rook. And he, Nija took rook g2. And king h1 was played now. I find it dangerous and for Nijat white has, somehow with the rook. Nijat has taken rook f2 or no? He cannot take. There is a knight defending no, no. it. So now what is Nijat's move, move? Only move for black to play. Oh, by the way, if you say, if you take a knight f2, there is a... Uh, okay, that it works. Got it. Only move for black here. Live board is stuck. Okay, yeah, let me just click there. Only move for black. Oh, Shubha yeah, Narendra because... Bhai, thank you for your for, for becoming a help chess uh, contributor. Believer, Amruta, not contributor. Oh, help chess believer. 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 Live board, live board. Aagaya, aagaya. Nahin, live board update in your SMO. Wait, wait, wait. I'll just refresh it. I guess I can do it. What, what will you play now is the question. The black has no threat as such, Amruta. So, in a way, I mean, black has to figure ki what is white's threat, actually. This is a very tough position, yeah? With just few minutes on the clock. Very, four minutes. That's the point. I think it is complicated. Now, we don't know whose king is weaker. Weaker. But the move here for black to find only move, guys. Yeah, what is it? Knight d5. Oh, wow. But you know you have to calculate so much because the if you start with the candidate move calculation, of course if king g2 then there is knight c3 so you just discard it. Uh, there is knight f6 check, Sagar. Yeah. Which is interesting where if you take with the because queen. Because queen f6, queen f6, knight f6, king g2 you are exchanged. Absolutely. So, so knight takes f6. Knight f6 you have to. And now oh, king, king g2. g2. Knight but d5. this position again, knight d5. And if you enter in the queen endgame, I believe this would be a draw. With chance. No, yaar. This is some chances, yeah, for white. This queen endgame doesn't seem like that easy for black. Yeah, so this one will be there. Okay. So, but not sure. Still the game. We don't know what will happen. Because after rook d3, first I thought that it's like a great, it's a blunder. But then Nijat did have some trickiness here with knight f4 and everything forcing happening here. So in a way he really played amazing that way. Knight e4 was a miss but queen c6 was also not very easy calculation and assessments there. Rook g2, king h1 played in the game. Somehow I just felt queen c6 should work but yeah it was just intuitive and maybe calculations were tough. Mm. Sagar, you're very tired, I think. You should not be your... Take some rest. No, it's fine. What should I do? Yeah? Like right now, only game left and they will come. That time I will switch off. I'll get to know 15 minutes in advance. And we will get to know 15 By minutes the way, in the thing is, thing is, when uh, with this game, I just left. Immediately in two minutes, I got to know it's a draw. And I wanted to tell you guys, but then they entered and I couldn't. Kraken says that Zabasov gets low on time. Gukesh may be able to still trick him. Yeah, Gukesh, that is one only advantage if Nijat thinks. So we will see. Here actually, he he's thinking, which means he's calculating more things. Because otherwise, knight d5, you would start with, right? But what are, what are the more things? Because his rook is trapped, Amruta. <laughs> Queen A2 is a tempting option because you want to ah, give a checkmate. checkmate on the back in, rank. But I think you will get checkmated, no? After knight f6 check. Yeah, that's true. King f7. King f7. Uh, queen e5. So oh, and if queen b1 check, there is rook back. Ah, brilliant. So I think uh, for Queen A2, so maybe he's maybe he's singing ninety five only, but making sure of uh, what's happening there. Because if Gukesh doesn't yeah. find knight f six here, then it's like what will you play? Queen d four, knight e three, queen e three, 
the rook is still trapped oh. in Bolivia. But then I can just go even save the rook, no? Like rook g5 and it's a... No, rook g5, knight g5. g5. No, but that's what you will have to do. It for. Oh, he played. By the way, he played. Queen g5 and queen f2 is the problem. This is happening, Sagan. Oh, knight oh we five, reached this position. Knight, knight f5, f6. queen takes c6. No, no, no. He took yeah. queen c6. Ah, he did this. Ah. Exactly. Knight e3. Now knight e3, yeah, right? Yes. Fe3. And this Samrata is still chances, no? For great chances. Sum? I think great chances. Mm. Because, okay, firstly, FE3, it's going to be a long game, first of all. Guys, it's going to be a long night. Yeah. No, maybe long morning. <laughs> half of you. Half of you. Anshuk, thank you for super chat. Says, love you guys. Thank you, guys. Actually, at this time, to have 2,500 people completely engrossed in the game. What is the time, Amrita, over there? Is it like 5, 4, 10. 5? It's 5 a.m. I think 5 the first time the games are going so long. 5 a.m. I am, I am just amazed and I am just amazed at the love that people are showing for the tournament, for our players. Over here, today someone gave me uh, cookies here. Someone came here. There are people with so it's just brilliant. I I simply am in awe of how the chess scene is developing with so many people contributing to it. Um, I think we are lucky, Amrita, to be witnessing all of this, to be witnessing such amazing players, their stories so closely, their disappointments, their victories. It's a uh, it's a golden era, right? Like because imagine when I was growing up. Vishy Anand was like uh, uh, this, but we could never get these glimpses yeah. so closely into his life. Totally, like here we get to know, oh, this is actually the novelty happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so all of these little, little things, because we are observing the game so closely, it's amazing. Sahishti says, watching from USA, came back. Pro came from work early just to watch us with India stream. Aray, Sahist, Sahist. Thank you so much. Oh, Sahist, Sahist is the one. Uh, Sahist, are you the one who gave the cookies to uh, someone here, uh, one of the view person, and he gave it to me. And I think he's the one. Ah. Someone, someone gave, and then he said he will super chat. So maybe he's the one. <laughs> And Thank you so much if you are Ta the one. Tanya, Tanya says Sagar Bhai woke up early today for Samaj stream too. Samaj stream. What is his second name? Sahishth Chhabra. No, Tanya. V. Okay. No, I'm not talking, reading because super chat. Had... I just, I'm reading random comments. No, no, we had one. Uh, we had one contributor to help chess. Yeah. Tanya Chohar, who was who had given fifty thousand, big believer. By the way, mm -hmm. Amruta, very soon after these candidates, I am very much positive that mm -hmm. with one of these candidates, we will do the big believer simul, which we were talking about since quite some time. All the people who are big believers of Chessbase India will get to play against one of the top players here uh, mm -hmm. in the simul. So then that means, you know, that is one of the things we had mentioned that if you become a big believer in Chess, which is more than 50,000, we, you will get to play against a top player in a simul. So we will organize it, I hope, with one of them. Amruta, there is one more game going on. We shouldn't forget. And by the way, we have a huge contributor in help chess. Vipul Kothial. Vipul oh. Ji, thank you so much for contributing 5,000 5, rupees. 5,000 rupees, five unbelievable. minutes ago. Wow. Unbelievable, Vipul Ji. And Amruta, you are not at all focused on all the things happening on the screen. <laughs> live boards, I say you don't forget. No, live Chessy. boards work well. Like because live boards, the sagar, how is it? You know, uh, it's it's through browser. It should work well. So when it stops, only people will know if at all. It's nothing to do with me. I don't have to click there. I, I know, know. I know. So they say, and then I can do it. Uh, you know, I can make the Brilliant. changes. Brilliant. Can I? Can we also check if Hikaru versus Firu? Yeah, because that because game Hikaru is going on. Was... Let's just look at it. Ooh. Actually, it says Whoa. unclear, unclear, and we like it will end in draw. But the point is, it's very no. complex. Let's analyze. Amrita, how can we immerse in a position? Let's just talk about it. So, firstly, last move played by Ali Reza Firuja is to push his pawn to f5. Now, if you look at it, there are two central passers, and if we count the pawns, it's equal. But 
black is attacking the A4 pawn, right? The A4 pawn is hanging by the knight. So can we just snatch it up? That is a big question because if you snatch it up, white is winning. How? This is very, very important like because F6. now King if F6, F6 check, E7. F6 check, King F6, E7, E7, E7 rook E8, E8, very important. Rook now rook F2 check. check. And King, King G7, King G7, it's still not over. What's the move? I, I, I Very tough, no? I think the move, Amruta, is rook E6 with the idea of rook G6. Then what? If King King H8. Just winning. Ah, King H8. You go. Oh look at wow! It, yeah. Sagar, that's the only move. Amazing. Yes. So so if we immerse in the position, we realize that black has white has a massive threat, Firuja, to play F6. But but, Hikaru can go maybe King F6 to block it. And then if you go E7 now, Rook E8. This time. Very nice, Amrita. Very nice. Rook e8. This time, I thought this is hanging, but there is... Oh, rook e6 check again. Again, rook e6. King f7. King f7. No, no. Ah, king, king f7. f7. Amrita, why king g7 is... We go king f7. Now, rook takes h6. And then g5 is hanging. And then this endgame might be some chances for white. So... Actually, Ali Reza Firusha is going to make Hikaru's life not easy. So, you know, Bruta, by just analyzing few variations very quickly, we get a feel that who's pressing here. I think Ali Reza with white is pressing. Ooh, wow. That's really good to know. So, that's why the safest way for Hikaru to continue is to simply take his knight back and... Uh, oh, yes, block on F6. Ah, this is such a brutal move, actually. But still, d4 is weak. This rule. Ah, but then you have 93 ideas. So, Hikaru will defend well. But the, but what I understand from your analysis is this is not a draw yet. There is a lot. Anything no. can happen still if you go wrong. There's some juice. There's yes. some juice. And if we go to Bukesh's game, he has just play, pushed his pawn to b3. What a, what a weird move to play b3. But what an interesting idea because... Bukesh is saying to his opponent that you have no checks here, Amruta. No check on e4, no, no G5, check on c2. G5 is on ah, G5. Is on. But, but he wants to create a passer with a4. He wants to create yeah. a pass pawn. A4. Yeah. Take, take. He will create an outside pass pawn. So if you give a check now, King, H5, Queen G5. H5 is playing. Oh, Nijarat is oh, very smart. Very he's smart. Because he's going resource. H4. Yeah. Yes, because see, Amruta, if you had gone queen g5 check, just to show, I mean, before this move, I can go king f3, right? And then slowly, let's say if you give another check, king queen f5, I can now play king e2, queen takes h3, queen takes b5, right? G6. No, queen takes g6, queen takes g6. And then I will round up the b5 pawn, and I should have some more winning chances mm. there. So, I think Nijat's move. F5, H5 is such a such an epic move. I think Nijat might be able to hold another game here, which is amazing because he is uh, being pushed and pushed to the limit, but he's uh, hanging in there, yeah? You know, if uh, Magnus Carlsen was here in the Queen Endgame, we would know that it, Magnus is going to win, yeah, with the white pieces. No, no, Amruta, but this is not easy. Yeah. Magnus Maybe will Kogu win can. with the white pieces, no? Could be. Slow and steady, he'll have all his soccer stamina. Can we have a, Amruta, can, can we have a poll on our channel? Will, will Bukesh win this endgame? Yes or no? If, if Let's oh, see what our chat idea. thinks. Because we had a poll earlier where Prague wins brutally after the sack had 68%. We had got 13,000 votes. But wow. I should have ended that and uh, put a new one. What should be the question? Will? Will Bukesh win this endgame? Yes, no. Uh, Maybe. You know, in a tournament like candidates, it is always like it has been that players have to really work for every half point. 
and this we are seeing here like every half point that you get you earn the victories every victory has its worth in gold actually here in the candidates and uh, somehow it's um, not been easy today for gukesh he could have he could have won the game because you gukesh be i think had a, comparatively he got the position which had the best least complexities in uh, in terms of calculation but, but uh, time, time was his issue time was a big yeah. factor but he survived which was important because it could have gone wrong also at some moment yes. if he would not have by the way we have a cricket enthusiast super chatting in love and support to all players and you guys are cricket enthusiast becoming a chess enthusiast so thank you thank you sir thank you thank you i have put and poem. gukesh pushes a4 amruta gukesh pushes a4 his a pawn is in past now Whew, guys this is very exciting because engine is showing around equal but gukesh i know that he will not agree to a draw okay amruta amruta yes can we go h4 uh one second one second i got it yeah oh yes when the natural move is bad i like to dance mm -hmm. dance then i danced itna hi kar sakte ho sagar i'll release your i've released your dance video by the way a made one compilation that one day we fought and i'm like okay now i'm releasing your uh, dance where you look like <laughs> but amruta i get your uh, excitement about my dance video but i'm very excited about gukesh's game um, check he gave after check after h4 ah he gave check king f2 right yep king f2 wow slight okay i am predicting let me also vote no sagar i also have some right to vote Yes. What is the vote yes, result? Yes, for forty-eight percent, no, thirty-three percent, maybe seventeen percent. But oh What? yes, me forty fifty percent got it. But the bar is a little bit more. So yes. No, but Amrita, now he checked and he has gone back. Okay, maybe he's gaining time. Queen F five, King. Yeah, yeah, thirty seconds. Queen G five check. Come on, Gukesh, don't repeat like you did in Tata Steel with Prague. No, 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 he won't. He won't. He won't. He won't. King F two, let's go. King F two. No, King F three. Go, go, go. Okay, okay. King F two, play, na. Abhi. Ah, King F two. Now for Queen, queen F five, we will have to go King E two. And was, now was, Queen yeah. H three. Ah, then Queen G three. Can we can we just tell our chat? Can we tell our chat if Queen F three instead of King E two? King, sorry. Ah, queen okay, F three okay. instead of King. King, I got it. Queen C two check, and Queen takes A four. Hmm. Oh, Nakamura won. What? Hikaru won. Hikaru won. Wow! Huge oh. news, guys. Huge news. 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 is very happy is very happy let yeah. me let me just go there amrita Absolutely. you continue bye. this bye 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 oops oh that's a uh, we getting breaking news in advance there so Oof, but that's like uh, an important result because uh, as we were looking at the leader board, Hikaru was on no Hikaru was on one and half, so it doesn't impact that way. But Ali Reza, Ali Reza's chances gone. One and half means gone, yeah. You you gone for championship chance. You are out of the league. So I think. Oof. crazy so gukesh what are the chances what's our vo voting saying 54% okay that's increasing so you guys have all the hope that gukesh can win let's see king e2 on the board with 2 minutes 44 seconds actually if it gets into time pressure for nijat maybe it's harder for him to play because he will constantly have to uh, dodge the checks which will aim at queen exchange and a king pawn end game 
because king pawn in game white would be winning in most of the cases so time pressure would really help so for nijat if he comes to equal time with gukesh may become very tough Ra oh you can what is the good move for black right now guys it's impossible you can't make such a move what's the move black to play let me ask i don't know how many of you will answer but in 2000 people maybe at least 20 try to answer i am sure zero will get it right but <laughs> what's the move for black Kevur says Gukesh is good with less time too. I played against him one minute versus five minute, no increment game, and he won with thirty seconds. When did you play? Wow, that's very nice to know. Rakshit says, "Socha tha, so jo, so jaunga, but so ne hi nahi deri CBI." Acha, Rakshit, tumko neen nahi aane wali hai. Ye game khatam hone tak because we are all so attached with the emotions over here. King Achit, Jay, Venkat, Rakshit, Shivam, Abhishek, Ayush, Chirag, Shivam, Vishal, Kavita. How did you guys find this move? Tell me, because I can't. King H eight. Why would you tuck your king in that corner? Yes, really. Arey. <laughs> इंजिन देख के नहीं बोलना है बाबा इज देर एनी इंक्रीमेंट आफ्टर मूव एटी ध्यान इज आस्किंग दिस ध्यान दो भाई अगर एटी मूव के बाद भी इंक्रीमेंट है तो इधर मैं तो सो जाऊंगी आई विशाल से इज आई सो द चैट ओके आई गेट इट गाइज आई एम नॉट एट ऑल आई अंडरस्टैंड एट फाइव थर्टी ए एम कुछ भी हो सकता है सब के दिमाग चलने बंद हो गए जैसे मेरे बंद हो गए जैसा मेरा दिमाग चलना बंद हो गया है मेरे को एक ही दिमाग है ना So King A two has been played. King A eight. Oh, see, King A eight he didn't play. He played G five because because King A eight. If it is the best move in this position, you are not going to make it. That's for sure. Just impossible at this moment because you in fact think that the Queen D four check is going to be much easier with the protection of this pawn. So G five way more natural. Another move would be H four, which is also similar. So G five played because here he keeps in hand. Whether he wants to create a G passer or whether he wants to uh, play H four may not be something he would want. Here he wants to make a passer, but it's a bad move. White to play. What is the best move for White? Let me try to think. Five thirty a.m. At this point, at this hour of five thirty a.m., I should be awake every day after sleeping. You know, normally after candidates. But normally I am like in deep sleep. So uh, e four. Who can say okay, Amrita? I know that. That's why let me just make the move and save you from all the energy of calculation. He finds the best move here. That that means he is super alert because at which point you are committing to move your pawn. He knows that he could have given a check. He could have gained time. He had this idea, yeah, queen e eight check, where after king g seven he can win this pawn. But in return, he loses this pawn, so he doesn't want to reduce the material. He goes e four. He says, "Yeah, you can definitely capture my pawn." And this time, there is no queen g six. But what Nijat has missed, or not really missed, is exactly there is check, and then anyway, I collect the pawn. But wait a second, can you really collect a pawn? Because if I take queen g five, I, I I'm not losing any pawn. Yeah, see, you can't collect the pawn. If you collect the pawn, then there are number of ways. First of all, check, and I think in some checks, if any pawn will be lost, because you see, if you go here, of course, this will be lost. If you go to e three, 
check if you go here check and this will be lost so all these checks are very irritating so not queen g5 but then what to fir kya yaar what what is gukesh having in mind why the bar really loving gukesh's position here what's the move ah the move i get it the move is you want to take this but without giving him a move without giving him a move yes so many people are finding it sab jaag raha hai yaar queen h6 check king g8 check me khao that's the point don't give him a chance don't give him time which is which is what has happened in the game gukesh alert king goes back to h8 that's why guys now if we go back i understand why the move king h8 was important over here for black to fight the idea is that this is not a check and then you have all these checks yeah winning the pawn so that is why you are threatening queen h3 isiliye it was very important move oh king h8 was almost as good as a like very powerful move so he missed it well that's good for us king h8 right now happening on the board okay next what next because you have to make sure that if both the pawns are defended if you want to start moving with the king or you have some checks in hand do you want to continue giving checks like queen check here king moves there and can i can i just let's say i do nothing and i first support these guys i'm worried about the move h4 yes that does exist so this is a tough end game for 1 minute 43 seconds it's a tough so he will definitely gain some time with some check check king g8 can i push the pawn if i push one of the pawn let's say this pawn then comes check i have to defend this here then comes check and i can go king d4 there is no check there is no check there is queen g1 check which is possible but then for black he is very clear once the queen moves like this keep going h4 so queen h6 check king g8 queen g5 check gukesh is still not found how to continue when maybe it's not easy king h8 he is go in 2 minutes can you even find something because in terms of timing you, it's not like you can keep playing slow and steady black has a very direct threat i don't even know how you can win this position we need to trade queens that is for sure but ab to neend bhi nahi aa rahi hai sleep cycle hi aisi kar di main sone ja raha hu says devru e5 bhi nahi chal raha because if you play e5 same problem h4 there is no time you have to be fast oh my god in 1 minute can we let's just play the let's just let's just play the best moves what did he play a5 oh he's made a mistake but actually this is defended and the king will defend it even if if it is not the best move i would not call it a mistake maybe not the right thing yet h4 if h4 happens it's going to get tough it's going to get tough i still don't know what was the best way to go go for queen e5 check king g8 how do you progress queen d5 check let's just check the computer and see what was the idea there because maybe the computer also doesn't understand and here the computer says you have to find king f2 are bhai kahan se yaar king f2 khele hum so tough no i i don't believe it h4 is on the board after a5 this is just too hard i don't think whatever the computer showed i believe it would be either too deep which is completely engine like and impossible to find for a, how many times today the same thing happened with our guys you have to find a move but it's engine like it's not human like and yes it's not like they can never find it but with the less time and to find those kind of moves was very unrealistic so we are maybe maybe going towards a draw maybe a reputation soon 
I would really applaud Nijat for his uh, resourcefulness actually. By the way, Naka was winning. So let's quickly have a look here. What changed? Ah, this was all okay. Where did Ali raise a blunder? Oh, the knight and too many pawns here. You already can't keep playing perfect chess. This was the blunder. Rook f8 check was important move to be played. And if king g5, rook g8 check. King h4, now king d3, but it feels like you have helped a king to come here. So he played directly king d3 and g3 check. This is happening in the game. And now g2, g1, how do you stop? Because if king, now if you go rook g8, the problem is the king is on d3. So g2 and the typical fork idea. So that's the point. That's the blunder in Gukesh's game h4 queen h6 check check and gukesh goes a6 he has both the pawns uh, protected that's a good thing and here nijat is at a moment where he must find the right move only one move everything else is like super lost so nijat will find it because it's a natural move Rakshit says, draw ga Gukesh ka soja ho Amrita di. Nahi yaar, hope to hai. Hope to rakhenge end tak. Yes, Hikaru winning completely. We have the, we have it on the live board. It's getting updated. Oh, the result is there. Actually, Nakamura won. The result is already there. Nakamura has won. Ali Reza has resigned. Uh, only decisive game of the day and it feels looking at this game might could become. Okay, this is an important moment. Will, will he give a check? Nijat. If he doesn't give a check, if he plays anything else, let's say queen g3. Queen g3. Okay, this is a quarter. Queen exchange. Sorry. Very sorry about that. If he plays. See, the move is very natural. If he plays a move like queen a3, then you can give a check. King g7, hundreds of ways, check, check, hundreds of checks you will have to give, eventually by giving checks, the pawn will be pushed, this will be lost, so queen h2 is just so natural, zero doubt that he will not play this, he will play queen h2 check, important move, and then for king uh, e3 let's say, can you go h3, or is it a blunder, oh it's a blunder, h3 if you start because you can't later stop the queen look at this very important you would have won the pawn but the queen controls the square and you can't stop the pawn with queen b8 so you will have to go queen a2 but then queen a8 and in queen so a6 as well it's put nijat into a thought he will give this check gukesh will go king e3 and now he will give this check again not to push the pawn and now when king d4 happens nijat has to think again which checks this is the only check you can see and when the king goes near the pawn now is the time to push this pawn to h3 guys this is the time to push to h3 defend your pawn stop his pawn and to be around a king so if king goes to b6 with the idea of you can play h2 the reason is if you give a check there is also queen h7 x-ray defense so queen h2 check given and yeah now I, I now i can say maybe not i have no hope let's see king e3 Hikaru, Hikaru won. The game is over, guys. Hikaru has beaten Ali Reza Firuza. That's the only decisive and the result on the bars. Exactly. Gukesh, only game. In fact, in the whole candidates, this is the longest game going on until now. Five At 5.39 a.m. We started the stream at 11.55. We will be close to, I don't know, almost six hours. 
but the bars are working beautifully rakshit zero issues Shubham says two minutes silence for those who have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I agree. Ankur says six hours and game still going. I applaud the players. They have to come back tomorrow and show hundred percent. They will check on the board. Neil says, "Hey Rakshad, I watched your work for the UI since FIDE World Cup. Brilliant work." Nakawan. Rakshad says, "Dekho, kal tak blunder alert implement kar diya to. Trying to implement. Oh my God, that would be epic, Rakshad. That would be epic." Mr. Nation Maker says, "My son defeats me every time. Kya baat hai?" <laughs> Kingy two check. Rajni says I have to go to work at seven a.m. with no sleep. अरे बाप रे. Arman says इतनी रात तक तो मैंने अपनी girlfriend से तक बात नहीं की. चलो अच्छे से सोई वो. Yes, Shah. Do you need to pay if you need a ticket inside at some uh, place? They have this VIP and this all, but uh, or and this fan zone and all. But if you don't have a ticket, you can still go outside the hall. I think there are some people going there and they get the glimpse of the players and all that. It's a hard work. It's effort. Yeah, but take care. They're not paying the money, so that can be an idea if you don't want to. Can you please show the faces of them? They're there, there on the thumbnail. The faces. <laughs> okay, it was a joke. King D three. He's trying. Seventy one moves. Five hours forty two. Five forty two. Oh, Kanish says I'm in Toronto near the hall. Kya baat? You might see Nakamura. Abhijit says that's why I sleep till three and then watch the stream. I get four hours of sleep and the game start to become interesting by three a.m. only. Arey Abhijit today you cannot believe the opening. Pragnanda played. You would have gone mad. It was insane preparation. Amazing. Maza gaya. There were so many things happening in the live stream. You know there is chess. There are the players. There's opening preparation, novelty, sacrifice. Kya pragnana na na, maza aya. And then there was all this chat, which was all pumped up. We got a lot of super chat messages. Then we had so many members. Maybe the highest. Maybe I'll check and let you know tomorrow. We had got so many help chests, like a train, as Rakshit says. So it was, it was a different vibe with the whole thing coming together. We had Shri Nath. We had Harshit. समय सागर गोकुल थैंक यू फॉर योर सुपर चैट फर्स्ट टाइम यू डिड सुपर चैट दैट्स अमेजिंग गोकुल वन मिनट फॉर गोकेश नो यू कैन मेस दिस अप लाइक दिस पोजीशन एट लीस्ट यू आर सेफ दैट हाउ मच एवर यू मेस अप यू कैन लूज दैट इज अ गुड पार्ट ऑफ दिस पोजीशन बिकॉज़ आई थिंक इट्स स्टिल नॉट इजी टू हैव सच पोजीशंस Rakshit says, "Being a VD fanboy, I was seeing how he can reach nine point five. Nepo, <laughs> draw. Fabi, draw. Firuza, draw. Abasa, ah, you mentioned Abasa, two wins. Nak, baap re, Rakshit. Prob probabilities and uh, permutation combination, tu hi kar sakta hai, baba." Smith says, "I'm also in Toronto, but just came from college."
Magic Finger says my office is two hundred meters from the venue, but I never get a chance to visit there. Why? Why do? Why you don't get chance? Sahil Batra says just woke up. Arey Sahil, chalo, you got a good sleep. There's a lot to catch up for you then. Kaur says I've started streaming. Jess and jokes. Next C O B tak pakka grow kar lunga. Hope samay takes me. ओरिजिनल कंटेंट बनाओ बस देन तो आई थिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल विल लव यू सागर भाई से पूछो ना वहां रिजल्ट आ गया रहेगा हाउ कैन आई आस्क हिम ही इज बिजी Needs six wins and three draws. Needs to win all white games and beat Abasa with black. Basically, that's what Rakshit says. For VD to become ah and with the other results, but that is a good one. That is a good calculation that makes it simplified. Did Sagar see solar eclipse? Six. Oh my God! What an important question. We didn't ask him only. Literally, and I didn't. No, we also I we didn't get to speak that much about. Other stuff. So much was happening about the tournament itself. To work, there's so much work. Maz Gunda ki super chat says I was at the venue to watch round one. I got to watch them play from the balcony. Also met Sagar Bhai. Glad to see Gukesh and Prag do well. Hope Vidit makes a comeback. Oh Maz, that is amazing. Thank you for sharing with us and for super chatting. How was the experience? Uh, you know, watch it. Like, would you say must ticket is a must buy? Would you say that there were other people also who were able to enjoy? Otherwise, for many people, have this question. Yes, Harshit, definitely amazing. King D five guys, what are the st still H uh, three played? How do I take this pawn again? And there's not much time. This is actually going to hurt Gukesh here. This game because because he really played well. He found some amazing moves. He was right there, but the time pressure. I think our our players love to think. Is it? If I'm observing, I'm not hundred percent sure. But is it that our players are coming more under time pressure? Not sure because in that means that in India do we overthink? <laughs> That's the question. H three happens happened on the board. Gukesh with forty two seconds. Have to figure out. Maybe he'll give some checks and then. Seventy three moves played. Such a long game. Gokul says, "I'm a student right now. Hope to contribute more to Indian chess when I land a job." Arey, thank you. अच्छा नाइन एंड हाफ स्कोर विल ग्रांट यू द फर्स्ट प्लेस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दिस सो दैट इज गुड कुणाल से आई एम वॉचिंग थ्री स्ट्रीम्स एंड लाइव बोर्ड अरविंद से आर यू गोइंग टू गुड बुड अस्ट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू फॉर श्योर लेट सी Mr. Nation Maker says thanks, Sagar sir. Acha for suggesting good chess coach. He is six and defeating everyone at home. Yeah, what? Mas says it was awesome. I had a V. I had a VIP, so I got to catch the players and get a few selfies. It was nice, but you can also enjoy the with the normal ticket. GMs and streamers do come and visit the fan zones. Oh, wonderful! Lovely. Ah, refresh the live board. Ah, is it this one? You mean this one? 
Oh, why did it not make the move? So sorry, guys. Queen d6, check. King went to e6. H3, uh, he's very much alert. Yeah, his, his timings are very alert. But the king has gone to f7, but now black has to find the only move, which he will find because in such a scenario, when you have to find the only move, you will not miss it. Oh, actually, what is the only move? Black to play. Can you guys find it? Oh, this is an important moment. Oh, he finds it. Queen A2 check is important. Not Queen H5 check. Because of Queen G6. Where you have no check. No time to push the pawn. And if takes takes H2. Then you Queen. Then you Queen. And the point is it's a checkmate. So that was the idea. So Queen A2 found on the board. So Nijat very alert. Gukesh trying hard but Nijat very alert. Also now this defense uh, for h2. If I go king of 8. Uh, then there is. So he goes queen e6. Once again if h. Oh but now. Now. Yeah this is the simplest origin. h2. You go into. An, you make another. You exchange these queens but you make another queen. But then after queen, you are also losing this pawn. Okay. Ah, no. Queen. Queen, you supporting this. Oops. Wait. Wait. It's gonna be a long game, guys. Nothing. Doing. Kuch bhi nahi khatam ho hai. The queen is closed. The chances of the queen exchange is still there. Black can still go wrong. Gukesh can still keep fighting. You, you guys will still have to <laughs> not sleep. I'll have to maybe get my breakfast now. Maybe I'll make some tea. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> At least it's not perpetual and he keeps trying. So I'm happy. Very happy. Okay. Once again, where does the king go? One wrong move and you're gone. No, I think this is... Maybe I was wrong, yeah? Maybe anything can happen. Shall we put it like that? By the way, while Whipple had uh, become a believer on help chess with uh, giving 5,000 rupees, we also had Shubha Narendra Bhai Doshi, who were also contributed. Travel with Nikhil Roshan also had contributed. So, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, he finds the move king h6. If the king would have gone anywhere, here, 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 it was a blunder. If king f8 mate, if king g8, check, king h8, queen f6, king h7, and now king f7 with the idea of mate. But okay, this still needed calculation. But basically something like this which helps the pawn. So he made sure. Okay, if king g6, then again queen f7 was a check which helps white. So what was played was king h6. Oh my god, he's blundered. He has blundered. All of you who have waited until now. This is the moment. Will Gukesh find the move because he is two minutes on hand? Come on, Gukesh. Blunder. This is what we all were waiting for. At 5 a.m., 54 minutes, the move is. Guys, why is it a blunder? Let's not get excited because today is so many things. They have not been able to find the best moves with so many checks available. But why is this a blunder? But, oh my God, we all are here. 2,000 people. We are also lucky to witness this. If Gukesh finds this, it would be epic. Queen C5 check. Everybody is saying Queen C5 check. Now, why is this winning? Suppose I go back to King H6. Now, how will you continue? Ah, now Queen F5. 
fate check because the idea is if king or near then check you win the queen if king here then check no if king here then what then check the idea is to give a check so you have to go back to h6 and then again king f7 the idea is to check mate Ooh. okay one second so queen c5 check what if king where can i go where can i go actually If king g6, queen f5 check, this is what we were looking at. If king g7, queen g5 check. If king h7, basically you, you are not caring about the pawn. There is a mate and for black to save the mate, he can't exchange the queens because king pawn and game is lost. So he can't do that. Oh no, 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 he didn't find it. Oof. Oh my goodness, what was his time? Ah, he's down to 51 seconds. It means he had 20 seconds on his clock. So to calculate all of this, why Queen C5 is so powerful? Not easy, guys, not easy. But TK, but this endgame, that means a lot of ups and downs. I think we'll get many such moments where Gukesh will have to find a move, where Nijat will have to make the only move. And finally, with the whole roller coaster, Gukesh will win. Let's let's predict that, guys. Queen F1 check. Three minutes to Nijat. Queen F4. Very tough endgame, first of all. And let's give it to these guys. Six hours they are playing. Six hours. Intense calculation. We are going to see some blunders. I'm not at all uh, doubtful of it. You have to go Queen E5. He goes Queen E5. Where is the Queen moving now? Queen H8 is the checkmate. So Queen H8, Queen H2. Oh, he can't see both. Finish. That's a big blunder. Now it's clear. Kukesh is winning. Big blunder, done and dusted, all for something guys, 2000 people, all for something. Wow, Gukic is going to go into a joint lead with Nepo. The 17 year old guy, the youngest guy after Bobby Fisher playing candidates and after 5 rounds going into a joint lead, hats off. Salute. Guki OP ho jai. Guki for the win. Guki FTW guys. As Samai says. Gukesh the grinder wins. You know Harshit was always there saying ki he felt it. He felt it. Rakshit, dekho. Soya nahi tu. Polina. This is, this was amazing. Queen end games are never easy to defend nor easy to find a perfect moves. Was worth it absolutely. Imagine just a few moments ago, people who were like, okay, kaam pe abhi jana hi padega, six o'clock, I need to leave, I need to get ready. And they just left. Anyway, it's gonna end in a draw. And they just left. And then the last five minutes, <laughs> it's like the end completely. You know, you're watching a movie, you're predicting something, and then it's completely different. That way. Queen E5. He gives a check. Okay, now king f6, king f4. It's not a mate, but it's fine. It's a check. The king f6, I like king f6. Aage hai. King f6, where do you go with the king? If king h6, king h6, again the problem. So you have to go, if king g4, again queen e6 check. So you have to go king h4, only move. Now, destiny super chats, Gookie for the win. Guys, tweet kar do. Like Samai says, like we did for Vidit. Gookie for the win. What's the poll saying, by the way? Uh, we would put it. The poll is 63% yes for the win. Kya hi? Maza All 2000 people voted. Queen G5 check. So, forced king h3 and queen f5. Resign! Resign! Gukesh wins! After a marathon, 83 moves, 6 hours. Exactly, it's going to be 5.59 a.m. 
they start at 12 almost 6 in 10 hours gukesh beats nijat and goes into the joint lead let me just let me just first of all take a moment and hats off to this guy because uh, it ended the queen endgame uh, at which point at at this point he entered the queen endgame 50th move the queen endgame started and from there he completely first it was not an easy queen endgame with it was always with a lot of chances but nijat was playing really good chess he was defending very well gukesh kept being alert you can see some weak moves some bad moves but Honestly, you cannot play a perfect queen end game anytime. It's just impossible with so many tempting possibilities of checks and uh, pawn pushes. So that's not possible. This all happened. But a classy idea which Gukesh did was to take his king to f7 where he got this practical chance of mating attacks. And this one along with one pawn up really mattered. Finally, the queens got exchanged. He had one pawn and such a position with the king so near is very difficult. Generally, the king has to be far. So, uh, the best move here, king at 6 was played. Gukesh gave a check. This was a blunder with queen c5 check. But Gukesh did not play queen c5. He went king f5 with the idea, with many ideas actually. But queen f1, basically the main idea was to not lose on time. Queen f1 was a blunder, but to find the only move was queen g2. Very tough to, to play such accurate moves. So practically, I think we can say maybe with this queen and game, Kukesh was always winning. He resigns here because check, then queen f5. Well done. Maza gaya, yaar, Gukesh. Kya maza gaya. Abhi to bilkul hi. Actually, now it's very hard to sleep. Because Gukesh has given so much energy after this win. What to do now? What to do? Let's look at the leaderboard. Let me just quickly show you the rankings. Uh, broadcast, FIDE, leaderboard. Here you go. Can you see the? Maybe you can't read it. But Nepo on 3.5 out of 5. Gukesh on 3.5 out of 5. Karuan on 3 out of 5. At today, if Vidit would have won, Vidit would be... No, she's still on 2 and half. So, Karuana would be also on 2 and half. So, in a way, Gukesh and Nepo would have had a 1 point joint lead. That would have been crazy. So, Karuan on 3 points. Nakamura won the game 2 and half. Otherwise, that he would also be on 2. So, these guys are right there, you know, like trying to get in. Prague on two and half. Prague would have been on three today. That that would have been epic. Uh, nevertheless, with it on two, Firuza and Nijat having a tough tournament in until now. But Firuza, I mean, he was playing really well. It was towards the end. It went haywire for him. So uh, let's see what happens now. So Gukesh on three and half. Ooh, the meeting. Why did it end? I don't know. I don't know if Sagar would be joining us. What would be the scene there? Uh, the Zoom meeting just ended, but I'm just sending him a new link. Also for the women's section, guys, if I have to see the leaderboard for women's section after round five, leaderboard. Tang Zongi leads with three and a half. She's the sole leader. Then we have Katerina Lano with two, uh, Goria Chkin on three. Lano and Vaishali and Nurgil on two and a half. Humpy, Muzichuk and Leiting Ji on two. So nobody on one and half in women's section. They're having a slow tournament. And Vaishali on two and half. So one point behind a soul leader. So if we look at the pairings for tomorrow. Gukesh versus Nakamura. Gukesh in joint lead with the white pieces. He will be playing Nakamura. Then we will have Vidit versus Ali Reza. Actually if today Ali Reza lost it would be a very good opportunity for Vidit but uh, 
we're just looking at in this result perspective not in strength perspective prague versus nijat um nijat today lost so again a long game lot of energy used by nijat so an advantage to prague with the white pieces and nepo versus karuana so nepo versus karuana would be an important match because karuana is definitely the one who can stop nepo and if gukesh versus hikaru maybe maybe these boards two boards will end in a draw maybe vidit and pragnananda tomorrow with the white pieces what they lost today the winning games they may be able to win tomorrow and be very close to the leader board so that was about hoof maza aa gaya hai sagar how are you feeling there i can't believe it you witnessing it there you seeing gukesh many of you are there i think near the hall also so shubham because gukesh won because oops because the king pawn end game is winning and that's where his opponent resigned and we had the final position here with queen g5 king h3 this was the check which was incoming whatever you take the pawn cannot be stopped so that's why the resign happened Yes, Arnan says an important point. Kudos to Nijat as well with broken leg. It's very hard. Totally agree. And he was very resourceful. I was already mentioning about him number of times. Played really well. Part says check tomorrow's women's matches. Ah, I have to check the pairings as well. The meeting ended. Arvind says the watching dropped. to one k as soon as go no to more than 2000 people were only 500 or something left because i think it's still sinking in you know it's still sinking in we it was such a long night for all of us and we were like what's going to happen whether it will win whether it will be a draw at some point it would feel like okay now this is ending in a draw no chance some point it would be like okay gukish has some chances so it was really difficult to know uh, but if i have to show you tomorrow women's pairing oh why are they not having having it here okay they're not having it here but i will still help you with the women's pairing by uh, checking the main website Ah, yeah. So, 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 pairings for tomorrow. Lerting G versus Katerina Lano. Vaishali versus Anna. No, this was today. Vaishali versus Lano. Humpy versus Lerting G. Tan versus Anna, and Nurgil versus Goryachkina. So these are the pairings we have for tomorrow. And. what else guys also check out the joke contest today himang actually wrote an article i wanted to show it to you but uh there was just no moment to show so do check that out because some very nice jokes are being made maza aa raha hai guys maza aa raha hai try to make keep them respectful and also original so world cup final rematch in the women's Yep, that's true. अरे समय को तो आज भी बुलाया था वो आए भी थे डोंट टॉक अवर जोक्स वूड हैव थॉट बट सच अ लॉन्ग गेम एंड ही इज वन एंड इट्स वर्थ कम्प्लीटली टू सी हाउ क्वीन एंड गेम्स कैन गो इधर वे एंड नाउ ही ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड uh magnus you know converting the, the queen and games so gukesh for sure these guys have been inspired by magnus who would not be uh you when queen and game comes you always remember the first person is magnus yeah who comes to the mind the grinder so uh, it's it's just amazing the way gukesh is playing also not any elegant opening preparation or something he just manages to 
somehow get into the get into a fresh position some way he's not fearful of opponents opening preparation he is not fearful of getting into some slight deviation here and there uh, so that his he's not have to he doesn't have to spend too much time on opening preparation only rather than that he can work on his other skills so this is how uh, i believe gukesh is until now in the five rounds that is what we are seeing we are never seeing in his game something tremendous opening preparation elegant something but he's always able to oh my god look who we have hello asim bhai hey. मीडिया रूम में He he went to the fan zone. Oh, they must be very very tired. tired, no? The players would be very tired, I think. Ah, but fan zone like people asked him some question and then sab cheer kar rahe the. Nice. So, uske answer pe cheer kar rahe, so it was very nice. And in fan zone, like how many people? Like you would have had clips, but there were a lot of people, or how was it uh, towards the end? Because yeah, yeah, there were like at least fifty to seventy people. Cool, that is amazing. मजा आया एंड यू गॉट द क्लिप्स या यू गॉट द क्लिप्स हां पूरा रिकॉर्ड करा क्या बात है यार सही है ए बाय द वे गुकेश इज नाउ वर्ल्ड नंबर 10th इज दैट ट्रू एक सेकंड ओ चेक करना पड़ेगा लेट मी चेक दैट इफ गुकेश इज वर्ल्ड नंबर 10th बट आसिम बाय वो रील व्हाट वाज दैट रील व्हिच यू मेड विद सागर कहीं से तो वो गिर है वो गिर गया था ना वो वाला इट आजकल ट्रेंड चल रहा है अरे सो सो यार मजा आया यार नो नो नॉट दिस वन ये नहीं ये हमको उल्टा पुल्टा हो गया है <laughs> कैमरा जैसे पकड़ा है ना उसको पूरा अच्छा ये मतलब ऐसे आई थिंक मे बी यू डोंट हैव ऑटो रोटेट नहीं नहीं ऐसे नहीं फिर वैसे ही रख दो अच्छा वैसा रुको एक मिनट करता हूं नो प्रॉब्लम व्हाट्स आई शुड हैव ऑटो रोटेट दिख रहा है चेयर पे नेम वुड बी देर and they would only switch the chairs yeah 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 ha huh, because Plans i was like lagera. every day if they write the name on the chair it is oh nice are jai hind <laughs> sagar shah sagar shah ki itni khushi itni khushi i it changed like in the last hour it looked like a slow day but then suddenly uh, hikaru wins gukesh wins Like amazing. हाँ रा भी तुम सदन थके हुए नहीं लग रहे हो you look so fresh and you know energetic. Yes, I have a lot of work to do. I have to. Gukesh का एक fan zone में interview हुआ अभी did you say? Yeah. It was. मैं आपको phone कर रहा था आप पता नहीं कहते हैं. I was shooting Hikaru, so आपको phone आया to cut. हाँ. हाँ यार. So me, me and Asim are kind of dividing the roles. You know, I was covering Hikaru, he was covering Gukesh. Thank you, so Asim. Thank you, Thank you for uh, being there, helping Sagar, being with us, no getting such new ideas. वो reel तो super hit था. 
मजा आ रहा है अब एक और बनानी पड़ेगी गुकेश के लिए न्यू आइडिया आई ऑलरेडी हैव इट फॉर अ चेंज आई हैव इट सो आई विल शेयर विद यस आई विल शेयर विद आसिम एंड गेट इज अप्रूवल बिकॉज ही इज द रियल बॉस हियर ओके ही हैज ऑल द रियल आइडियाज रियल बॉस या done that. so but Shankar, it's it's amazing the queen end game he converted i think it was overall practically very difficult for nijar or how was it yeah maybe maybe tiredness yeah at some point of course after so many hours and gukesh kept his energy he kept trying so mm-hmm. it was like a victory of uh, tiredness yeah. is at the time ka bahut issue tha like when ali reza blundered i saw he had like 2 seconds left. yes yes yeah. ali reza blundered because he had 1 second 2 seconds nijad blundered uh, actually i didn't see the end but i think yeah, mukesh I somehow was very happy today also he's moved into the lead along with yan nepomnishi which is a very good thing and tomorrow gukesh versus <laughs> nakamura <laughs> tomorrow you know and they both Ooh. won today gukesh versus nakamura tomorrow Ooh. and they both they both won today sizzling game <laughs> sizzling game and who which is the second uh, who is uh, prag playing who is what prag na i think prag versus uh, karwana versus nepo is it then prag is playing nice. with nijat okay yeah and and vidit 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 versus versus ali ali reza. Reza. Yeah. Ooh, ali reza. Nice. actually vidit has a good score with ali reza. And also today Nakamura said something very important that ali reza does not have the best of nerves so maybe let's see tomorrow it will be interesting because Guk- uh, vidit also is uh, missing out on his chances ali reza is also missing Fine. out so tomorrow will be fun so what you should do you know what we should have done actually uh, samay should have been in canada क्योंकि सब एंटर होते वक्त सबको एक रिमाइंडर होता है समय प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर टाइम प्ले पास यस नो आई एग्री टाइम बट आई थिंक अमृता सेकंड हाफ एवरीवन विल टेक टाइम केयर ऑफ टाइम मोर देन द फर्स्ट हाफ दे आर गेटिंग यूज्ड टू इट यस आई आई कंप्लीटली एग्री दे विल दैट्स व्हाट आई टोल्ड रक्ष लाइक गुकेश टोल्ड मी दैट for the last six moves he had one minute left so naturally he would make mistakes and you know harshit was all the time calculating every move now gukesh has 18 seconds per move now he has 12 seconds per move and harshit was like he just came from his finance class <laughs> and then i like okay kaam aa raha idhar kuch to aisa something like that you know guys amruta has actually shifted her schedule now officially to canadian time because we both are waking up together sleeping together <laughs> like at 6 <laughs> right now yesterday was a rest day She was awake I, till seven a.m., eight a.m. Yeah, I was awake till eight. I just wanted to make sure. And then sure she woke up at four p.m. Indian time, so she is officially in Canada. Absolutely, Sagar. And Sagar Rahul Goshal, super chat. Sagar, boy, kuch daring ho jaye. Hashtag Gukesh FTW. Uh, people would have tweeted, I believe FTW. Boy, baad mein karenge. Abhi aaj mere ko reel banana. Haan, abhi they are not just reels. Guys, this is just one step. We have a long way to go. No, But Gukesh also support. said the same. he said that uh, you know it's good that he won but it's a long tournament and he should keep playing one game at a time and i think that is the right approach because nine more rounds it's like you know um, huge event Absolutely. like a long event rakshas is not okay, only guys. you both hamara bhi time schedule change ho gaya <laughs> and krishna you can get the tickets i think to the event still or you can anyway go there no just come yeah, here just if you get there. the tickets good if you don't get it you will stand outside you will get to meet the player it's epic here just come to great hall कल सब करवाना को सपोर्ट करेंगे किसके लिए के नेपो के पॉइंट्स हैं थोड़े <laughs> नहीं नहीं <laughs> क्या पता इट इज लेट्स सी टुमारो या इट विल बी फन आई एम प्रेडिक्टिंग ड्रॉ ऑन दोस टू बोर्ड्स एंड विदेश एंड प्राग विल विन बिकॉज़ टुडे दे हैड अ विनिंग पोजीशन सो टुमारो लेट्स ऑलरेडी माय प्रेडिक्शन नॉट श्योर नॉट श्योर लेट्स सी देखते हैं बट टेक राइस एंड आई वांट टू सी सागर द वीडियो टुडे सम वीडियो व्हिच इज मे बी प्राग्स ओपनिंग मे बी गुकेश इज I, I was thinking of uh, doing a, a video open. on yeah maybe that uh, really right is. now on Gukesh's victory like a vlog but to analyze for the, you will take a long time not the analysis not the analysis like vlog. him entering hmm. then him going out uh, winning Perfect. then him going down to the Perfect. zone Perfect. then meeting the fans then meeting Vishy Anand on the way then Vishy Anand and them talking but then Vishy Anand suddenly looking back seeing I'm there camera so he says we'll talk later you know it was very interesting <laughs> nice Asim Asim bhai Asim bhai ऐसा कुछ करो कि ये सिर्फ simple सा डाल किचड़ी या कुछ simple सा खाए so that नहीं नहीं इसमें आएगा पोहा for me पोहा पोहा wow I have very sweet पोहा तूने बनाया I'll eat now हाँ अभी घर पे जो लंच में बनता है मैं ऐसा टिफिन में ले आता हूँ मस्त सही है ठीक है चलेगा खा लो बाय बाय गाइस मजा Hello, आया bye. मिलते हैं
Oh, and guys, 1,500 people. You are still here. Uh, just to hear what Sagar and Asim had to say from there. So nice of you. Wonderful. I think exactly a lot of people. Posted ornament, will these chairs be auctioned? What a great idea. Should definitely tell Fide to do that. But so many people's time has changed to Canadian time. And okay, we'll do it. It's just one time. Asim Bhai ka Insta is Canada PR. Canada PR bhi hai, unka, I think Kutka bhi hai. Do check that out. And voting 73%. You won finally. The answer is correct. Gukesh wins. So, theek hai. Tata, bye bye. Tomorrow come with a lot of excitement. Khana wana leke aao. Masta. It's gonna be a long game. I think one of the game will end for, a, for, for maybe until 7. Today it ended sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see Sagar Shah this much happy. Yes. This is never easy. You know, right now you're pumped up and all of you now are thinking that, okay, now I'm going for sleep. All the best. Chalo, dekhi lena ki whether you are, you'll be able to sleep or not. Why not? Just try to see. Okay. For now, until now, I'll take your leave. Good night, guys. And thank you all the supporters, help chess contributors, believers, super chatters, uh, nice commenters, everything. One of the thank key you. aspects that stops the progress of many chess players and puts them in an extremely difficult situation is finances. Over the years, thousands of chess players have left the sport because of lack of funds. This is the reason we came up with the Help Chess Foundation. There are people out there who want to support Indian chess players and there are chess players in need of funds. We at Help Chess wanted to act as a bridge, a transparent and accountable bridge where every single penny that the donor contributes is put to use in a way that it powers Indian chess. Over the last four years of activity, Help Chess has raised over 60 lakh rupees. We have had many scholarships like the MKG Scholarship, Pursue Your Chess, Murlidhar Jalan Foundation, Sadhna App Sponsorship and many more. It has benefited more than 50 players from getting good training to being able to travel to tournaments to working with better technology. Help Chess tries to ease the lives of the chess players and supports them to move in the direction of their goal. All the amount that is raised for chess players is then transparently updated on the Chess Base India website. But we have always wanted to improve the experience of our donors. That's the reason why we ensured that our charitable trust is ATG compatible. The donors now get tech tax benefits. And with that in mind, we are launching the Help Chess website. When you visit the website, you will see two ways to contribute, Believer and Big Believer. Why did we choose the name Believer? That's because each of you who contributes believes in Indian chess. As soon as you donate, your name is updated in the recent Believer section. At the bottom of the website, you will see all the initiatives taken up by Help Chess that have been transparently mentioned through the linked articles. If you click any of the articles, you will get an update of all the people who have contributed. I hope in the coming years is to support more than a thousand chess players and ensure that no talent in Indian chess is wasted due to lack of funds. We hope that you will join this initiative to power chess in India. Chess is becoming very popular and we are always asked by parents what is the right age to start chess and what is the best way to teach chess to their kids. We at Chess Base India have always believed that even a very young kid can learn chess if it is shown to them in a fun way. We feel that a beautifully illustrated children's chess book will be a perfect fit for kids to kickstart their chess journey. Chess Park in Chess Adventure Park is your first chess book. The book introduces you to the character of Chespa, a fun grandpa-like character who absolutely loves chess. He takes you on a journey in a chess adventure land 
where the kids learn all about the chess board, chess pieces, the rules of the game and much more. The text in the book is in the form of a poem story which can be read out to the kids. Chess Base India's vision has always been to popularize chess and we hope that many more youngsters fall in love with chess and take up the sport thanks to this book. This book was conceptualized by Amruta Mukul and Sagar Shah. It has been brilliantly illustrated by Kirti Kulkarni. Order your book now from the Chess Base India shop. In a world that is going increasingly digital, it's sometimes nice to hold things in your hand. The Chess Base India Premium Chess Set is our attempt to give you a great feel of playing chess in real life. The first thing we wanted to ensure was that the product was of the best possible quality. When you buy the Chess Base India Premium Chess Set, you get a chess board, high quality chess pieces, a bag for the pieces, a bag for the chess board as well. All of this is carefully packed so that when we courier it, you will receive it in the best possible condition. We take pride in the fact that the chess sets are manufactured in India. Here are some features of the premium chess set. It is 96 mm standard weighted and felted set of Staunton design. Fine crafted, high class plastic pieces of 3.75 inches high. Total weight of the pieces is around 800 grams. Usual pieces are around 300 to 400 grams. It has two extra queens included. 55 mm by 55 mm high quality vinyl board with notation with Chess Base India logo in the corner and a leatherite finish. You have two flat nylon cross things for the board and pieces. The Chess Base India logo. It is also a perfect product to give to your loved ones. We also have gift wrapping options in the Chess Base India shop. So, what are you waiting for? Get your hands on the Chess Base India premium chess set and challenge someone to a game of chess in real life. Link is in the description. When you walk down the street, you blend in with the crowd. No one gives you a second glance, you are just another face. But when you step up to the plate, something shifts in the air. A spark inside you ignites and you become a force beyond compare. Unleash your inner passion. Let your true potential take flight. For in that moment, you are not just a common face. You are a fierce warrior, a master of your craft. And nothing can stop you from reaching your goal. Unleash your inner champion. Chessbase 16 is a powerful software where you can save your games and analyze them. You can also create databases and manage them. It's a powerful tool for any serious chess player and is used by all the top grandmasters in the world of chess. Team Carlson, Anand or any other tournament player. The best database that works along with Chessbase 16 is Mega Database 2022. The database opens inside of Chessbase and has over 9.2 million games with over 100,000 of them being analyzed analyzed and annotated by top grandmasters across the world. The biggest advantage of this database is that you can search any position and get to know who has played it before with the reference feature. You can also prepare professionally against your next opponent which will help you to gain precious rating points in your next round. Get the Chessbase 16 and Mega Database now. Link is in the description. Wait guys, those were the ads. I believe you enjoyed it for the first time I played it. But maza gaya aur gukish kya hi tha usme. I believe you guys saw that. Must tha. Abre aopi ho jaye. Okay, good night for now. See you tomorrow.